And now, another episode of Crit Camp Gaming. Tweet, tweet. Yo, tweet, 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 tweet. Yo, tweet, tweet, Lyle. It's time <laughs> for some wingspan. And now, <laughs> Whoa, that's another... the wrong button. There it is. <laughs> and now, it's time for oh, wingspan. I should have I I brought binoculars, dude. <laughs> I know, dude. I actually thought about that. And I was like, dude, how can we dress up as, like, bird watchers? I was like, I don't have yeah. one of those, like, dome hats with the, the circle brim. Oh, yeah, yeah, you yeah. Know, yeah I don't yeah, have yeah. the, I don't have any binoculars. Like, 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 a, like a safari vest. Yeah. Like the khaki safari yeah. vest. And you know why I don't have any binoculars? And I think this might be the same reason you do. Because I think when you live in New York City, and, yeah, safari hats, that's session, yes. And, like, when you live in New York City, if you own binoculars and someone comes over and sees your binoculars. Yeah, you're a creeper. You're instant creeper, so you can't yeah, own binoculars, dude. <laughs> <laughs> no, so um, we actually we actually owed a pair of binoculars now uh, mm -hmm. because we we got them from Casey's granddad. So um, so we have his pair of binoculars that are like common like they're like super heavy metal binoculars, oh, like really nice like, ones from like the freaking like forties. You know what I mean? Yeah, and, yeah, like, yeah, yeah. In a vintage leather case Ooh, yeah. and like. They're the kind of thing they're like we don't we don't touch them because like we don't want to like break them like yeah they have <laughs> they glass like shelf. really thick glass in them yeah yeah we they just go on the shelf and they just stay right. there yeah th those are oh, oh etg with a oh, sub so much. one year <laughs> there's your official one year sub etg's been here for every one of our awesome admins thank you man um yeah dude it's springtime guys it's 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 time to play some wingspan and we were recommended this game by the good folks at board game geek themselves they came into our yep. chat what were we playing probably keyforge odds are we were probably uh, playing we were playing keyforge. something not wingspan yeah we were yep. playing something not wingspan more than likely keyforge but uh they popped in and we started having a chat with them and trasherama i think was there in chat and we were talking about that's bird right games. and then we started listing all the bird games yeah uh, ever made well then we asked what's your what's your favorite game right now what's the game we should be looking for i think is what we yeah. asked them so I, before the bird game session happened again and then they said wingspan we we're like what was that when my first intention was you hear wingspan and i talked about this at the flgs uh, when we were talking about wingspan and how we all thought about it it's like when someone says hey we're gonna play wingspan i don't think you think bird watching like i was thinking it's like a an airplane game like i was like oh is this some sort of airplane game where we go around and when battle when each i other when i first heard wingspan I was thinking, I was thinking like dinosaurs. I don't know why. Oh, dinosaurs? Okay. I um, mean, yeah. Yeah, like like pterodactyls, like wingspan. I don't think. And most then I was think thinking to myself, like, it could also be like some weird basketball game. <laughs> oh yeah, all right. You know what right, I mean? Right, when right, people right. like talk about like how big players are, their wingspan. You're just like, okay, yeah, okay, yeah. yeah. No, that that's exactly right, and that's what everything everyone's been saying. And then when they see this box, which is amazing artwork, and you can dude, I it. love the art in this, yeah, in this whole game. Yo, this it's cover, beautiful. Man. This it's cover so just well gets done. me. Uh, big props to who's that? Big props to Natalie Rojas, Anna Marie Martinez, Hamaria, Hara Mio, and Beth Sobel. Oh, okay. oh Beth Sobel here, here did some go. of the art for this. Here, awesome. Here Beth go. Sobel does a lot of awesome artwork. Um, but this game's originally designed by Elizabeth Hargrave for Stonemeyer Games. Stonemeyer put out uh, the likes of Scythe and so forth. Um, so we're excited to get into this awesome engine builder, like we said, with an awesome bird theme that looks amazing. It looks beautiful. Um, don't let some of the other comments I've heard is that people see this. And if it's not an airplane game, they're like, what is this? What did you just give me a bird game? Are you serious? And then you're like, yeah, but it's amazing. Doesn't it look great? They're like, this looks like a, a game for like my parents. And kind of, we talked about this, that I believe. You know, tweet, and, this, and then you say, tweet, tweet, mother effer. Yeah, then I say, tweet, tweet, bird points, Saikatsu, get wrecked. Oh. <laughs> bird like, points. Yo, what up, owning toaster? Yo, in toaster, the chat. what up, toast? How you doing, my bud? How you doing? Um, so so the thing is, we had this conversation kind of about Saikatsu, right? And uh, there's like pipe mats came out from Eagle Griffin, um, those kind of guys. I've played games at Unpub that were glass trading and stuff. And I was sitting there going, yeah, I think people miss, you know, they, they put this game off. If they see it on the shelf, they go... Uh, yeah, I'd rather play Scythe because they think that they're I like don't know. cool, but just, just based biased. on the cover alone, if I saw this in a oh, store, yeah, but we're biased. I would just buy it. <laughs> we, we, we grab the game that no one else is going to play and then have a blast with it. Like Saikatsu, it's beautiful. We love beautiful artwork. So this is awesome. Don't be put off. All I'm saying is this is an awesome themed game. It's a bird game. Apparently, and this is what I was told secondhand is that, and this might be correct, that the designers of this game, they made this game because their parents were all bird watchers. They were really big into bird watching and they just happened to have this like knowledge of birds because their parents were huge into birds and they were like No, I totally I totally get that because it's like you have to have sort of a base knowledge of it to even I think to even come up with a game like this, mm -hmm. right? To spark something in your brain. Yeah. Because to to have to do all the crazy research from from base zero of no knowledge 
It's oh. like you could you could choose any kind of other thing, right? But right. it's just like, yeah. So it makes sense to me that they would have some prior sort oh, yeah. of life experience with it. Oh, yeah. There's amazing bird facts in here. We'll definitely be saying every time we play birds, we're going to be going over the bird facts and all that good stuff. Um, but, I mean, th- what I guess I'm getting at is in no way am I saying that the, the game was not a huge seller. Uh, Oliver's saying there's they can even get copies in anywhere. Exactly. I was lucky to get this copy yeah. on Friday because – the two first print runs are completely gone. Well, Lyle, you just looked it up, right? What? What is yeah, it? Yeah, I, I just looked it up. Like you know, I've been following. It's on. It's on a, a, my board game list on on Amazon. Yeah. And like, it never goes below like eighty five dollars. Um. And and so like, I was like, I'm not gonna buy a game for eighty five dollars. Like, I'm not buying Wingspan for eighty five bucks. And then so I checked their the website uh, at Stonemeyer, and it says that they'll. It'll be back in stock in late July, and you can reserve it from your retailers. So yeah. basically what, what what Chris got over there, the reason he got his, he was talking about it, was somebody else reserved a copy of Wingspan, never yeah. picked it up, and then Chris was able to grab it. So it. that's a, that seems to be the way that you can get this game right now. Reserve it at your uh, FLGS, uh, and then it'll be in in, uh, in stock in late July. Yeah. Or you can or you can grab one off eBay for five hundred dollars. Apparently, if you want it now, <laughs> get it then. <laughs> yeah. Um, uh, Sifu saying, "Have you all watched the big year with Steve Martin and Owen Wilson? It's about bird watching." I haven't, dude. Good I have not. <laughs> I will now. I will now. We'll have to get some cool quotes from that for the show. Um, but yeah, this game is super popular. I was super excited to grab it. Played it. Um, it's definitely one of those games where you play it once and then you'll get it right. And then the next one, you're like, I got to play it again. Cause now I know kind of what I'm looking for. Um, it's an engine building game. We don't do a lot of them on air here. I don't even know if we've done more than one. Uh, we usually do a lot of miniatures games, adventure games and stuff. So getting some new stuff on air is a lot of fun. And this one is a, uh, definitely a way to do it. And, uh, we're excited to play this game. It's going to be hype. So we're here for the learn and play. It's going to be exciting. Lyle, uh, I will be doing a quick tutorial through it. Um, and then we'll be playing the game a few times and having some fun with you guys and making having you guys help make sure we're doing the, doing it right as well. And if you're learning, yeah. uh, ask questions. We'll do our best to answer them. Yeah, um, and, and like like we said, because this game was was tough to get, Chris is the only Chris has the copy. Chris has been able to play a couple games. I have not played any games, so yeah. basically, Chris will be sort of uh, showing me the ropes a little bit. Yeah, um, but I'm still on, new on to this, it too. on this game. But you know, it, I I, yeah. I did watch a. Watch a played video by Watch Rodney, Rodney Smith. Yep. Oh, uh, yo, what up, Rodney? He does a really um, good job with it, yeah. and he did he did a good job. So I I, I feel like I have a good fundamentals yeah. uh, on on just the elements of the game. But you know, as we know, as you start to play, things start to unveil themselves to you. So this this first round, this sort of tutorial round or game that we're going to be playing, will be me figuring out what strat not to do because I'm probably going to go for that strat. <laughs> And that's exactly what I did the first game I played. Uh, Maize said, thought, Chris is going to be destroying me, said Maize. <laughs> thought he was going to say. No, so so chances are I probably won't. I've only played through one full game of this. And uh, even watching Rodney's Watch It Play video, like you said there, uh, like he clarified things that weren't clarified to me. Now, this game is really easy. Um, you really only have four actions per turn. So you can almost let the game, you just do one of your actions, kind of just see what well, happens. You only right? do you only do one action per turn, right? But you have four yeah, options. But you have right? four options, right. There's only four actions you can take and once uh, per turn. There's only four rounds to the game. So the game, once you know this game, um, one of the beautiful things about it is it's very quick. Uh, it can be played very, very quickly once you kind of know the motions and you know how to do all the stuff and then you just score it up and see how you did. Uh, so it fits really well, I think, for the games we really enjoy playing. Um, when it comes to like the King Dominoes and so forth, it's it's one of these. It can play up to five players, uh, and there's different modes. There's even a single player mode for the game, uh, which maybe on stream when we're solo mode mittens or solo mode Lyle, uh, we may even try the Atama, the Atama version of the game. So. Uh, get excited, get hyped. If you haven't seen it, we're going to show it to you and it's going to be a good time. But first we have some announcements and we have a wheel spin for ETG. Um, before we do that ETG wheel spin though, I do want to promote that on Monday. Lyle, are you ready for this? It's kind of already, sn- it's already been leaked, but it's already, it's already been leaked, dude. <laughs> but in, 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 in the classic crit camp style, it's already been leaked. <laughs> yes. We're going to debut our announcement of the partnership of Inked Gaming. Yeah, what up? Inked Gaming? That's a... Uh... Yes, we leveled up Ink Gaming, who made the playmats for our last giveaway. Um, you guys helped us make this connection with this relationship, recommending their products and getting custom-made bags, uh, mats, stuff like that. Um, we're going to be doing our Ink Gaming Partnership Celebration Show. Um, it's going to be sick. Uh, May, Monday, 13th, 8.30 p.m. like we usually do. We're going to have giveaways. Uh, I think we may even have a special guest from Ink Gaming coming on and doing a quick little interview with us. 
um, to answer questions about what Ink Gaming does, what Ink Gaming uh, offers, uh, maybe even answer some of the questions we have uh, for him as well. But they've been super awesome company, already supporting us immensely. Uh, we're going to be doing a cool thing there just to debut and talk about what this relationship means um, and yep. how it can help you guys out and how it will help support the camp as well. And I and I believe, and Chris, you can correct me if I'm wrong, but they will ship to the EU. Oh, yes, they will ship to the EU. That's right. No. That's right. Crit knows to Jonesy there asking it right there. Get it to freaking Europe, will you? Yes, they will ship anything on their site to Europe. I mean, you're going to pay the shipping cost. I mean, yeah. we can't, uh, I can't Unfortunately, say. Unfortunately, you'll, you'll, yeah, you'll, you'll, <laughs> you'll pay a little extra for that. But <laughs> yeah. uh, And it's not prime or nothing like that. But um, the cost, so they have great prices over there for all their products. We ha we have, we're going to have a whole Crit Camp store available to you guys. Uh, we'll have discounts for you guys um, by using our Crit Camp uh, information there. We'll be able to do giveaways through them. Um, and we're just going to build up all this awesome game stuff. So it's going to be sick. Uh, Jonesy's asking customs. I have no idea. I mean, if we, I don't I, know how that works. <laughs> that, there's no custom cheats, dude. <laughs> we can't, yeah. we can't cheat customs, dude. That's not a thing we do. That's not a thing they do. We can't do that. You're, that's your problem. You know, once yeah, we get it yeah. to the wall, you have to climb the wall and take the black to get the item. <laughs> right. <dude. laughs> yeah, yeah. Take, take the black to get the item. Oh, speaking of yeah. which I, um, really quickly, no spoilers. Uh, I finally watched episode three. God, I haven't watched it yet, dude. I haven't watched it yet. I haven't watched it yet. I watched it last night. Wait, wait, wait. No, that's the. It. I that's couldn't the... watch it because I was in Europe, and I actually we actually even uh, when we were in Zurich, we actually tried to watch. Yeah. By logging on to HBO on our phones, but it wasn't. And then like... I realized, oh, I didn't set up a VPN, and I can't I can't watch it outside the U.S. Oh, so we were gonna wrecked. watch it, and oh. then we couldn't watch it, and then we were thinking about like, oh, maybe at the hotel we can get HBO, but I'm like, <laughs> but then we're gonna be watching it in German, like that doesn't help. <laughs> Well, you could just watch it two different ways, and you'd be like, "Oh, I believe this is no, dude." Uh, that yeah. but, uh, third, but, like, I third just was say, the like, war, I right? Just, I just watched episode three. I have not watched episode four, so nobody talk yeah. about that. Was the that was anything. the battle though, right? Three's the battle. Yeah, four is the newest one. I haven't watched four yet either. Yeah, yeah, yeah three, three, three is the battle. It's yeah, it was a long episode too. Yeah, dude, super good, dude, super good. It was super fun, super fun to watch. <laughs> I mean, I had some stuff. I put up some questions in the Discord channel. I was like, "What?" I was like, "How dude, is this I've been, I've, been, I've, I haven't been in the the GOT channel." on our on our yeah you can't do it if you for if weeks you can't, for weeks you can't. not allowed to go in there if you uh if you uh, if you're not caught up you got to catch up um cool yeah so we so it looks like a bunch of people haven't watched four yet either okay yeah sean's okay, saying good, starbucks good, good, just good. saying i don't do that it's funny have you seen that meme at least have you seen that about the starbucks cup i did see i did yeah. see but <laughs> it's hard good. it's hard to miss i mean trying not to like look at twitter or like or you know or like when i look at news and i see anything that has this game of thrones like related i'm yeah. just like scrolling really fast past it so but it's yeah. hard to miss the coffee cup stuff yeah so before we get before we get further away from your your mention of the european trip um lyle's going to talk about it more but we're going to talk it more to more during what lyle we have a special series starting tomorrow what is it lyle the special series okay so the is a special series it's called international keyforge seal yes that's right, because because while on vacation, and I'll talk about it in more detail on these things, but as you can see, I bought three decks uh, in three different languages from three different cities, and I sent three decks to Chris. Uh, I bought a deck. I bought each of us a deck in Paris. I bought each of us a deck in Zurich, and I bought each of us a deck in Florence. So yes, guys. On my vacation with my wife to Europe, <laughs> I spent some time hunting down board game stores. <laughs> so red. Making her walk with me to board game stores, asking for Keyforge <laughs> in a different language. <laughs> <laughs> and buying keyboard decks and then putting them back in my suitcase and yeah tsa did look at them <laughs> oh yeah they hate keyforge man they do not like the keyforge that's so rad dude that's this is going to be so exciting man so what we're going to do is the next three keyforge shows are going to be us opening a different country's deck um and 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 then we're gonna lyle's gonna talk about his journey to that board game shop in that country uh talk about the trip anything else funny that happened in that country or cool that happened in that country and then we're gonna play our new we're going to open those two decks in those different languages and then we're going to play those decks so we'll have the like italian yeah. battle and the french battle and the what's the other one uh german battle i guess yeah in in a in a, in a in a german battle yeah uh, yeah so yeah. They, they speak swiss german in in uh in zurich yeah dude it's gonna be awesome so i'm excited man thank you so much that was a there was an amazing birthday gift from lyle to me guys so yeah. I'm, I'm super excited that's probably the best gift <laughs> Possession <laughs> saying is she's still talking to you. How comfy is your couch? Listen, she was excited to go to these two because I like, like we were talking. She was surprised because in New York, she was like, you know, if we were back in New York City and you're looking for a board game shop, like there's very few. 
right? And yeah. you'd have to travel like 45 minutes on a train to get so, to Taiwan. Right. It's so stupid. Like you'd have to be like out in like Carroll Gardens in Brooklyn or like, you know, There's down in NYU or up, up by Columbia to like go to like a board game shop, right? That would like stock Keyforge or something right, like right, that. Right. I would, when I was in, when I was in Paris, we were walking around and I just did a Google map search, like, you know, local board game shop near me, boom, one, one and a half blocks away from Notre Dame. We were standing at Notre Dame. So we, I was like, boom, it's right there. Easy peasy. <laughs> and then when we were in Zurich, I was like board game shop near me, three minute walk from the hotel. There was a board game shop. I was like, okay, this is great. And then also in Florence, it was like, it was like a board game shop. Like half a block away from the Duomo, dude. <laughs> I was like, this is crazy. I was like, it was the most convenient. There were the most convenient board game shops I've ever, I've ever been in, like, or I've ever found. Like, it was yeah. one of those things. Where it was just like, I'm just searching. We're like, by me, anything near me. And I'm thinking to myself, oh, it's gonna be like a 20 minute thing. We're probably gonna have to take a lift somewhere. Yeah, you right. know, all this other stuff. Like, and then we're gonna go there. We don't even know if they're gonna have it. Like all this stuff. But boom, in each of the stores. Keyforge display right next to the magic stuff on the counters and like that's it dude that's nuts that's nuts it's just nuts dude I mean, it's, gaming, it was awesome gaming in eu almost easier and uh bigger and better than gaming in a i think uh some of the people in chat would definitely recommend yeah <laughs> <laughs> um oh yeah so zession's asking once you were in notre dame uh, was it pretty hard uh, to, with everything so going on there what was going it on? was it was tough because they had it blocked they had all the streets blocked off so that you couldn't even really get close to it. Um, yeah. And so, um, and I didn't, I, was, I wasn't around the side of it where the main fire was. I was on that other facade and that, and I mean, but it looked like they had quickly cleaned up a lot of it. And there was, there was a lot of scaffolding already up for like prepping to, right. to, to take care of it. Yeah. And so a lot of it was already cleaned up and blocked off and like nice. made tidy and, and all that stuff. So from so my vantage point, it looked pretty, pretty okay you know what i mean and and you know and i was talking to other people and everyone was saying sort of like the main structure of the building is fine you know and a lot of the stuff that was destroyed was actually stuff that was um sort of uh redone in the last century sort right. of like updated and all that stuff so like you know it's you know people were sort of just saying it's a, it's really a shame it's it's heartbreaking but at the same time like this building has been around for so long and it's been through so many like iterations of renovation and restoration that this is just another step in its in its lifetime in its journey you know and as long as like people are willing to you know donate money and like and 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 you know want to restore it it will be restored sort of thing so there was a there was a nice from a few people that I was talking to locally about it but um yeah and i just saying weren't they already in the process of repairs and scaffolding up when it happened yeah they were i think the fire happened because it was electrical stuff from from the construction they were doing so and a lot of that stuff too was they were doing restoration so a lot of like statues and other things had been moved and moved to um a safe place because they were already doing construction so a lot of stuff has has already been saved hmm. in in that sense um so um, I think everybody was just trying to keep it in like a positive light that like, you know, this is this is Could a tragedy, worse, but or... like they it will be rebuilt. It will be restored and, and everything. And, and yeah, so I, I wish I could get a little closer to it. I wish I could take I was able to like really see it and all that stuff. But, you know, they really had it blocked off and they didn't want anybody get, getting close to it. Understandable. Well, that's, well there yeah. you go. There you go, guys. So. Yeah, my uh, sessions even saying my aunt cried while watching it. Yeah, it was affected a lot of people for sure. So it affected a lot of people for sure. I mean, that was crazy. And and um, dude, like the video of it was just nuts. It was yeah. just nuts. That stuff's crazy, man. That's just crazy. Yeah. Well, um, yeah. So come come check out the three part EU series. It's gonna be starting. We talk about more stuff like that um, over that thing. So let's get into some wingspan, man, because we have a lot to learn. And then we want to play a bunch of games for you guys. It's gonna be sick. But before we do that, let's head over to the cam here and do the spin for uh, our buddy. Our good bud, um, ETG, man. Let's fire off his spin and do that this thing for, you, for his ETG. year sub, man. His year sub. Thank you so much, dude. I need, I need to turn the pan on. It's getting warm in here. Oh, it's getting warm. That's right. Spring's here. The pollen's in the air. It's destroying my butt. It's awful. Yesterday was so sick from pollen and all that good stuff. Yeah, Lyle, oh. get some push-ups. Better get them done, Lyle. Get that blood pumping. Because we're going to be doing yeah, let, me, let me get, just get these done. Watching. Yeah, man. He's doing it. <laughs> Game of Thrones diversion success, right? There we go. So he's doing it. It's going to be sick, man. Hope you guys are excited about Wingspan. We're excited. It's going to be a lot of fun. I'm excited. 
All right, Lyle, you got the blood pumping for your bird watching? Crushed him, Wing dude. Man. Wingspan, dude. Your wingspan <laughs> sick now. Now you look like, uh, after doing those push-ups, you look like uh, Phelps, dude. When you do what, this. And you got, like, oh, I thought you were going to say my <laughs> You got giant. Oh, yeah. <laughs> you got those giant underarm. Uh, what are these things? They're tries or your, what are these? Like, what you, are these? Triceps? Are these the tries? Are these triceps? Yeah. You now have wing-like triceps because you're so, like, shredded, dude. You're so yoked. Yep. Uh, <laughs> let's get into the bird watching game, man. That's super rad. Extreme bird. Let's get ready for some intense bird watching. So, so this setup here, guys, obviously it's a tabletop sim mod is what we're going to be using here um, for the game today. Uh, not an official mod by any means. Tabletop sim you can go get, and this mod is actually not publicly available. I actually had to find this and dig it up on the internet. So if you want to do the footwork and get it yourself, um, fans of the game created the mod. Uh, developed it up for the five-player build. We've edited it down to a two-player build for the show uh, and uh, that kind of thing. So just, just to be clear cool. what's going on with the moddage, um, this is not an official mod, but it's a great way to show you guys the game. We own the game. It's right back here behind me, but um, it's going to show up pretty well. It is missing. The only thing it's really missing is like I had to make my own scoreboard up here. <laughs> so it's kind of, so excuse that. Yeah. <laughs> but this is for later in the game. This is the scoreboard that would usually be on a little pad of paper you get in the game. Um, and then we don't have the awesome bird dice tower. It's like a birdhouse yeah. dice tower that the game comes with. The components in this game are great too. I mean, these are all like cardboard chits and stuff like that. And the dice are cool, like wood dice. They're big, chunky wood dice. But yeah, the, the bird feeder looks pretty awesome. Yeah, the bird feeder is an awesome, I think it's cardboard. I don't think it's wood uh bird feeder you piece together and then it's a it's cool ti it's titanium and carbon fiber yeah it's titanium and carbon fiber and uh that kind of thing the uh yeah, yeah. um but the dice tower makes the game says maje i know so it's not in the game here it's not in the tabletop sim mod but these are the dice so this little white box will be our dice tower <laughs> right. sadly this is our dice tower and we're just going to be rolling the dice like this in the box and uh, yep. if you're not familiar with the game and i'll talk about this later when we take food from here we're just going to put it outside the box just so if you're uh curious about yeah. what's yeah. different but what's in the box what's yeah. out the box so that's those are like the two major differences uh then you'll see in like the game also it has a really cool component way to store the materials of the game in these plastic boxes that are also like um the marketplace where you put the cards all the cards fit inside that marketplace for storage and all the pieces come with little storage things so it's really cool i um, do like that that they do that and just to be clear the uh automa section you see right here uh in chat if you guys see this here uh this will not will not be talking about this today it is a single player version of the game that does come with the game it has its own rule set and everything its own rule book for the single player mode just ignore this for now today um we may bring this up with single player streams later but this will not be relevant it's just there because it's there okay <laughs> cool so that's my first clarification so now in done with that it's time for wingspan wingspan now lyle knows some stuff about the game so i'm gonna be moving kind of fast if anyone has any questions or clarifications please bring them up in chat um, but the whole goal of Wingspan in this engine building game is to get the most VP. Uh, you get the most VP by collecting uh, various bird cards that have VP amounts on them. Uh, you get bonus cards at the beginning of the game, which are kind of like your in-game goals you'll get points from. Um, end of round goals, uh, which are right here. You have an end of round goal tracker. So multiple goals that you can try to achieve. Uh, you get it from laying eggs on birds. You get it mm -hmm. from food on cards, which is also called caching in the game, just yep. so you know. Uh, and then tucking cards, which is basically, you'll see on cards, they'll say tuck. You put cards underneath certain cards. Yep. Um, so you get points from all those things to equal your total final score. Person with the highest score wins the freaking game, wins. dude. Amazing, right? Yeah. Um, and then uh, these end of round goals over here that, that um, Chris was talking about, it's because uh, in each game of Wingspan, you play a series of four rounds. And yeah. each round will have a very specific, you know, sort of round goal that we can try to get go for. Yeah, for bonus points. And you see you score first, second, third, or fourth place. Um, so, yeah, how do we get these VP and what are what where are the birds? Uh, <laughs> right? So the hmm. birds are yeah, part where, of this where the birds, though? bird deck, as you see right here. So this is like, I think, how many cards are in? 150? 170 cards in 170 this bird deck. 170 cards. That will be shuffled up. Um I'll just go over the bird cards right now. Uh, the autonomy of a bird card. So here we go, the ruby crowned kinglet. Um, at the top left of the card, you'll see where the bird can be placed on your player board. So these are your player boards. So kind of talk about these things interchangeably, okay? Yep. On the player board, you have three different rows. Uh, as you can see, you've got like a forest, which are the trees. You've got fields, I guess, the grain looking things. And then you've got water or marshland, which is the water at the bottom. Yeah, wetlands. Yep. Yeah, so these are the places birds can live. Um, 
as you can see on the top left corner, that's where the ruby crown kinglet can live. Birds can also live in multiple places. When you see multiple symbols, birds can live in those different places. Yeah. So, so this this particular bird can only live in the forest. Right. So below that forest symbol, you'll see there's a worm, there's a grain, there's some berries. Um, to play that bird out, you have to pay a cost. And those costs are these different um, types of things here, these food costs. So you've got berries, yep. worms, grain, fish, and mice, right? Yep. Um, a bird costs a certain amount to play, and those costs are right below the ruby crown kinglet. Now, the ruby crown kinglet can actually be played for either one worm, either one uh, grain, or one berry. Yeah, not all three. Just when not you, all when three. You see slashes, it's, one, it's, a, it's an or. Right. So, worm, yeah, exactly. If you see a plus sign, that means it has to be like a worm and a mm -hmm. whatever. Um, so, uh, and there's also a little uh, wheel, like a um, rainbow wheel, which means it could be any food. So, that's that. Yep. Um, below that, you'll see a little feather with a number next to it. That's what the bird, once it's on your board, once it's been played your board, what it's worth at the end of the game. That's, yeah, a, that's, that's a bird that points, bird dude. Gives, yeah. That's the two bird points, dude. Bird points! Yep, two bird points. So this bird is worth two bird points at the end of the game. Uh, below that is where it lays eggs. That'll come into play with certain bonus goals or in-game goals. Uh, in particular, this one lays eggs in a bowl. It just means it's yep. a bowl laying egg bird. There's like, it lays them on flat surfaces. There's ones that lay them on the ground. Ooh. There's ones that are star, which means it can be laid anywhere. Um, that kind of thing. Below the bowl, you'll see three little egg symbols. That means you can place up to three eggs on this bird. So that's basically, yeah. it's, it's it can store three eggs. It's uh, it's, a, it's, it's uh, capacity for it's eggs. It's an egg capacity. Eggs. Yeah. You can shove three eggs into this bird's body. It's amazing. Um, so right there. And then to the right of that, the bottom right area of the card, you'll see there's 20 centimeters. That is the lore, dude. That wingspan. is what oh, shoot is its wingspan. So this bird has a wingspan of 20. That comes into play when other cards ask for that information. It's not a huge deal in the game, actually. Um, predator cards uh, work with that wingspan. What'll say like, oh, this bird can eat a bird with a wingspan of less than 75 centimeters. That's when you would look at the wingspan. That's the only time I've seen the wingspan used. And there might be yep. other bonuses. There might be some other bonus that says collect nine birds that have over 20 centimeters wingspan or something. Yeah, I mean, we'll, we'll, we'll have to see. We'll yeah. have to see it's just what, another what comes stat. up. It's another stat on the card. Yeah. Um, and at the very bottom, or at the next row down on the card is win played. So this this section of every card is going to have um, various... I'll flip some more birds here. Oh, there's something different. Good. Uh, various things. This one says when activated, all players draw one bird card from the deck. Okay. This one says when played... Play a second bird in your four section, and you pay its normal cost. So it's a trigger on the bird. Yep. Um, I'll talk about the win activated when we get down to the play board. That's when that comes into play. But those are like the bird's abilities, if you if you want to think about it that way. Yeah. Um, and then the best part of Wingspan, or one of the, the most amazing parts about Wingspan, is every bird card at the very bottom has awesome bird facts, dude. Bird facts, dude. When a, This is the crit camp rule. When a bird is played, Lyle, when you yep. add a bird to your bird engine... When you put your yeah. bird in your bird house, when you bird your bird, yeah, you have to read the bird facts. Yeah, no. when I, when I buy when I buy a skateboard from Bird House, I have to read the bird facts. When you when you do a kickflip with Tony Hawk and you're do, and you hit that coping dude and you yeah. do the the Mick twist, you gotta yeah. you gotta read the bird facts, dude. You gotta read your bird facts. Okay, that's the one rule of the game, guys, and it must always be played. All right, is the bird facts. Got it. And you will hear that noise no. for bird facts. There's also no good burner emotes in chat, but you can throw up wings. We'll see. We want some wings in chat. Um. So yeah, that's basically the anatomy of a bird card. So for instance, here's a good thing in the top left. This one lives in the marshland, this duck. But it costs a worm and two different things and there. And two grain, dude. So what I it will say, hungry, dude. since we're talking about the grains and the things to play birds, if you ever need one, right, and you don't, yeah. have, um, you don't have a worm, you can always pay two of the same kind in your inventory to get one of a kind. It can be any two equals one at any time to play a bird okay so you can see that at the very top of the player board yes very top up there it, it says, says play a right bird next to play a bird it says two wheels equals one wheel <laughs> right that's an ability you can do there when you're playing a bird so that's just a fun side fact um uh we'll talk about how we get food uh real quick how do you get food you get food uh by using these dice over here this is like would be in the bird feeder you'll roll these at the beginning of the game so this let's say it's the beginning of the game now this is mm -hmm. the public marketplace for bird foods um, for instance, you've got a grain and a worm. That means it can be a grain or a worm, not both. Uh, this one would be like a berry. This one's mm -hmm. a worm, mm -hmm. you know, whatever. And that's an action you can take later is gain food. Um, cards will be discarded here if they're ever needed to be discarded, but this will ultimately be a marketplace up here for your bird cards and where you yep. get your birds from. If you ever take 
draw a bird option. This is where you'll take it from. These will be the three birds that'll be sitting out here. Cool. Um, how else do we get points? Bonus cards. Let's talk about bonus cards. So one way, you get your bird points. Three bird points, two bird points, seven bird points, etc. Bonus cards. I'm just going to go down the list here. Bonus cards are another way you gain bird points. And those are these backed cards here. So I'll flip one over. So for instance, this is a large bird specialist bonus card. We'll be given two of these. Or I believe you're given how many at the beginning of the game? Was it two or three? Two, I think. I think you get two and you choose one. Oh, you choose. Yeah, yeah. You get two dealt to you and you choose one. Right. Yeah. So you get you get two and you get to choose one. So let's say we chose large bird specialist. This gives you an in goal in game goal to go to yep. aim for. Right. So this says birds. Oh, here we go. Here's a wingspan goal right here. Birds with wingspans over 65 centimeters. If you have wingspan. four to five of them, you get three bird points. Hey, um, yep. if you have over six on your board, you get six bird six points. Bird points. And, I, and I like this helpful stat there. 35% of the cards have birds with wingspans over 65 centimeters. So so it gives you a little information there about like how likely it is for you to grab that. I like it. Yeah, and that is that's actually very nice. Rather than um rather than just kind of YOLO and not knowing the game, this is uh, a yeah. very easy to jump into and kind of get some statage, right? If you're like if it's high risk, is this high risk? Maybe. Maybe a little bit higher it's risk. Like, I was like, you? Uh, it's probably medium risk. There are times in the game where you may be able to get another bonus card. Um, and have multiple in-game goals, you're never penalized for not achieving an in-game bonus goal, okay? Um, if, you okay. Don't, if you don't achieve it, you don't achieve it. That sucks. That's yeah. your penalty, all right? Um, and that's yeah, basically bonus cards. That you're not good. You're yeah. not good. You're just bad, and you have to live with that. So that those are those are the bonus cards, okay? <laughs> I'll put these back so they're not distracting. Yeah. Back in the bird yeah. pile. Um, we already talked about how we get food. You roll it into the bird feeder. If you ever take a food action, then you get a food action, and we'll talk about that in the actions here. Um. The other thing is end of round goals is mm -hmm. right here. So in 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 wingspan, you're going to play four rounds total in the game. Yeah. Um, you get at the beginning of the game, you get eight actions per round, which are these little red things we'll be placing for each of our yeah. actions here. And Lyle will be blue. Um, but in each round, you'll have a certain amount of actions per round. Once each of us have taken all our actions, you move to the next round. Now, this round tracker up here um, gets these little tiles put on it for each round randomly at the beginning of the game. We'll, we'll, we'll draw four randomly, and then they get placed. Will that show them? No, of course not. So these can be like, how many birds that lay their eggs in a hole of a tree with an egg on it do you have yep. on your board? So let's say that was round, or that let's say round one here is total birds on the board. So if Lyle has more birds on the board than me, at the end of the round, he's going to take one of his action markers, and he's going to put it, boom, on the first, first yeah. spot. Which means that we're going to have one less action on the second round. Right. So at the end of the game, we'll see who was in first place for each round, right? Second round, right. it says here how many birds in the forest. Whoever has the most birds in the forest gets first place. The third yep. round will be most birds in the field. And then the fourth round is most birds who lay in a hole with an egg. So these yep. are more in-game goals you can kind of keep an eye on and uh, look to try to achieve throughout the game on top of your yep. bonus card, right? All right. So that, that's good there. Um, that would be in-rain goals. Another thing we have here is this egg. You see this egg up here? This egg would normally Yo, just egg. be a container. But you get these little eggs. They look like an egg. You'll be placing eggs on birds like we mentioned at the beginning of the game. As you can see, this owl can store four eggs in its body. <laughs> yeah. So when you store an egg on a bird, boom, you just laid an egg on a bird. Yeah. Anytime a bird has a lay slot an egg available, on a bird, dude. you lay an egg on a bird, dude. Uh, anytime you can put eggs on any birds you have in your possession. If you, you can't put more than four eggs, though, on this owl, for instance. Yeah. Um, if you don't have spots to put eggs and you lay eggs and you have no birds to put them on, the egg is just lost. Okay. Egg lost, dude. Uh, each egg at the end of the game is worth one point. Yeah. Okay. Uh, that's basically the egg laying. Kind of like we mentioned at the beginning, caching food means just putting food on birds. Certain birds will say like, oh, he stores food. Okay. You take a food token and you put it on your bird and that's worth a point too. Yeah. Uh, which is what the next section is. Food on cards. So if you ever, I, in my game, I never got any birds in the game I played through. I never got any birds that cached food. I think one of the guys had one that cached worms. So it. It, it, the card will specifically say, cache a worm token if you have any worms yep. on this bird. It's just like laying eggs. Those yeah. are infinite, though. Also, yeah. food tokens and egg tokens are infinite in the game. If for some reason we we won't digitally run out of egg tokens, but if you were playing yeah. the game and you ran out of egg tokens, you just have to you just got a substitute token. And what I found one good substitute is you just put food on it because caching and eggs are worth the same amount. They're both each one mm -hmm. one point each, so it doesn't really matter. Um the last thing here is tucked cards, right? Tucked cards, you're going to see predators. Uh, is that owl still here? Nice. Um as you can see on his 
ability section, that brown section, has a little cro- skull and cro- a bird skull crossbones. <laughs> that means he's a predator. Um, so this b- says right here, you roll dice, not in the bird field. If any mice gain one mouse and cash it on this card. So there's a cash example. So you'd cash a mouse on him for this bird. Some birds will actually say, draw, at, when activated, draw a bird off the top of the bird pile. If that bird is under 20 centimeters, tuck him underneath the owls as if the yeah, owl just ate that hole. bird, dude. Yeah. So that's like the predators <laughs> eating birds. So you would tuck a card under the bird. Bam. There's some that say tuck a card under and lay an egg on another bird if you're doing egg strat, stuff like that. Um, so when you tuck a card, you're just storing cards under the under cards, and each of those cards is worth one point at the end of the game. Yeah, baby. All right. So they're kind of simple scoring, different ways to gain points. Like we said, it's an engine building game. So there's various ways you can try to get the max points right you can use the round tracker here you can use your bonus trackers here you can go mm-hmm. for max bird points you can go for egg points you can go for cached food you can go for predator points i saw yeah. four different strats played and it's not even all the strats you can win with um other than that the last thing we should talk about and this is the first player marker if anyone's wondering this awesome yeah. bird and this thing's huge too in the game you get a big cardboard image of this which is pretty sick i love this bird dude. um the last thing I'll mention is it's kind of like, where are we putting these birds? Okay, so we have a bunch of birds. Where do I put my freaking birds? Is what everyone in chat's asking me right now because chat's yep. going crazy. <laughs> chat's um, nuts right now. <laughs> on your turn, so how do, I, how do I get these points? What do I do with all this crap you just told me? I don't understand. I'm lost. You're going to be playing on your board here. The board tells you everything you need to know. On your turn, you get the choice of one of four actions, and that's it. And then you go back and forth. First yep. action, one of the first actions you can take is play a bird. And that's at the very, very top of the, the player board up there. It says play a bird. Um, yep. And you can pay two. Here, I'm actually going to zoom in this way so I can point at things easier rather than just blowing up the board. Yep. Look at this. Next level plays. Next level. Okay. Tabletop sim, digital live. Future is now. So you've got this play a bird action. So play a bird, like Lyle said, it's two food um, to play. Or you can pay two food to get one food is the conversion. But basically, if you do the play a bird action... That's your whole action. You place one of your tokens on the play a bird, and you've played a bird. And then you take a bird from your hand, you pay its food cost. And then if you have a bird, let's say here, I would pay one, I would pay a worm and a and a rat for this guy. And then you place it wherever you want to play that bird. You well, you have to place it on the leftmost on the leftmost column. section. Right. Of, Where, the, of the proper territory that they can let Right. In. So here you can place a bird for free. If you try if you have a bird here and you place a bird here. It's going to cost you one egg. You got to pay an egg. And that egg can come from any any nest and any bird. Yeah, it come from any your, bird. So project. you have to have laid eggs to even play a bird on your second column. Why am yep. I moving my birds down the column, you might say? Well, the reason you're going to be playing these birds is to gain bonuses for the other three available actions on your turn. So if I play, you play this bird right here. Okay, so before you play the bird, right now, if you were to gain food on your first turn of the whole game, you're only going to get one food. Yep. That's it. That's all that thing means. Yeah, so that dice means that you grab one dice from the bird feeder. Let's say it's your second action. In the first action, you played a bird. You played your burrowing owl. Not there. He can't go there. But let's say say he's there just for science. He wouldn't go there because he's in the field, right? Bad example, but whatever. Ignore that. So there's a bird here, rando bird. You want to play. So you put that there. Let's say you're. Oh, thanks. Consistency. Okay, so let's (laughs) say you play this mountain chickadee here. On your second turn of the game, you could say, oh, well, because I put a bird in the forest, I now have a better gain food action. Right, so now you can take a food, but you can also discard a bird from your hand to get another to food. Get food. So now you can get two food per turn. What yeah. nuts? The old food as, economy. Yeah, and as the game progresses, yeah, um, it gets it gets better and better. It gets it gets better and better. Okay, so further along with this, um, actually, I'm going to leave that bird there for now. So the other three actions you get. Another action. So that's the play a bird action, right? Why you would play birds down the line on the on the track. Um, you can leave that bird there, I guess. Okay. Um, so so the next action you're available to take is called gain food. And like we talked earlier, with the gain food action, we're going to be able to pick what's available up here from our bird feeder. Okay? Right now it's like a worm and all this different fruit and stuff, but you can pick. At the beginning of the game, you're only able to grab one food, which we talked about up here, right? Yep. Um, you can gain a food and stuff like that. Now, let's say I cheat the gain a food action. You would put your thing right there. I gained a food. Um, you can technically say, oh, I gained a food. So you get the leftmost or the the left most empty slot availability. Yeah, that's where that's where you put your token. Yeah. Yeah, you put you're supposed to put your token yeah, like on the thing or there or something like that. Yeah. Saying what you did. Then you move your the game says you move your token down as you move back to the beginning where you'll eventually place your token. The reason yeah. you do that is because you have your win activated abilities, like on these bird cards. So let's say you take your gain food action, you gain your one food. And this is later in the game. 
and you have yeah. this mountain chickadee sitting here. Well, when you pass over the mountain chickadee, it says when activated, you gain one wheat from the supply and cash it on this card. Boom. So you yeah. would go up and you would gain a wheat. You place it on the yeah. on the chickadee. You just cashed yeah. and got a point, and then your turn's over. So that would be a yeah. gain the food action with a bird yeah. on it. And so this is this is your bird engine, basically. So the more birds that you put in a row, the more you'll be able to activate all those birds every time you take that action. Yep, as you go down the line. Exactly. And that goes for every other action. Um, the next action available is laid eggs. You take the most open action here, which would be lay two eggs. And you can even yep. pay any kind of food and get a third egg. So you can place eggs on birds that have availabilities. Um, and then you just move down the line and you say, when activated, you know, if this owl was here, you'd get to roll a dice and see if you get to cash some mice on him. Right. Yep. Um, and that's lay eggs. So you just kind of move down the line and lay eggs, place eggs on birds so you can do future actions. And the third yep. action available to you on your turn is draw bird cards, straight yep. up draw new birds, dude. And when you draw birds, you can dra draw bird doesn't mean just from the deck the whole time. There's going to be this marketplace of birds up here. Yeah. Okay. So when you draw birds, you can draw either of these three birds, right? Or you can take a random draw off the top. You can YOLO, wild swing it. Yeah, you can wild swing. Yeah, if you don't like... Yeah, you don't, you don't like, like these it. birds? I don't know you why don't. you wouldn't like these birds. Now, but, uh, yeah. Now, let's say on your draw birds action, you're further along, you can draw two birds. Let's say you draw this one into your hand, and you're like, ah, I don't like these other two birds. I want to swap it. You can't do that until the end of your turn. If you take two birds from here, these two are empty. Yep. At the end of your turn, when you're done, then they replace, okay? Yeah. Um, so they don't get replaced as you take them. Just FYI. I want to play a game that is making engines and using birds. Exactly. Dude, that's what yep. we're doing today. Uh, and then once again, just like the row, you would go to the left and activate any birds you have in the row. And that's about it, dude. I, I don't know how how, uh, how a guy would, would draw at you, draw a bird at you, uh, Xbox. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, he, drew it, he drew it right at me, dude. Dude, he just straight up he drew like, birds at me, bro. Sketch pad. He was like... He was nuts. <laughs> So that's basically it. That's basically kind of how the game goes. You get four actions um, on your turn, and we go through in the first in the first round of the game, we'll take eight. Uh, the next round, after we place our thing up here at the end of every round, you'll lose an action cube. Mm -hmm. um, so you're only going to lose four. By the end of the game, you're only going to, by the fourth round, you'll have four, only four actions to take on your turn. Uh, at the end of that fourth round, it's game time, dude. Boom. That's it. That's it, dude. The last rule I will say, just so people know, uh, is that let's say in the bird feeder we've taken all these food um let me see if i can find like another worm okay so let's say we've taken all this food and you want to take a food action but you don't like you don't want two worms you don't want worms you don't have birds that eat worms in your hand if the bird feeder ever has any of the same kind even just one you can say i want to re-roll the bird feeder yeah that's when you can re-roll the bird feeder if the food if it ever runs out of food that's when you re-roll the bird feeder as well otherwise We'll just roll this at the beginning of the game and be good. That's just one yep. rule. Otherwise, that's it. That's it. For food? Okay. That is it. So if um, anyone has any so, questions, definitely and so ask. The, yeah, we're going we're gonna to get started in a bit. Um, and the, the opening is I think we each get five bird cards and two bonus cards. We can, we can choose to keep all five of those cards, but if you wanted to discard some of those, car, those birds, you have to give away um, – food from your supply and i think we start with one of each food supply is that right yes you start with one of each of the five foods yeah uh it is yeah. two object two bonus cards at the beginning right i just want to confirm that two that's... i think it's two bonus cards and you choose one yeah um and so yeah you get yeah you're selected from two random cards okay i just wanted to confirm that that was uh yeah accurate. so i'm gonna yep. i'm gonna grab myself one food of yep. each draw one food of each we'll place these off to the side over here uh, i believe you guys can still see my food yeah, hold on. Set up. Shuffle the deck of cards and populate the bird tray with three face-up cards. Place food and blah, 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 blah. Um, give each player a mat, eight action cubes, two bonus cards, five bird cards, and one of each food Do we type. Do we we put out the uh, marketplace before we get our bonus cards? Yes. You okay. put out the marketplace now. That's the only thing I was concerned about. Okay, so I'm going to play yep. out the mar marketplace and then draw two bonus cards, dude. Oh, oh wait. Let me shuffle it. All right. Now draw two. Okay. Why is it? Oh, I never picked and a color. I'm dude. draw five <laughs> bird cards. I never picked a color. Okay. I was well, like, you can't draw right. cards. Okay. Um, and so basically, what happens is you can discard a f um, you can discard one food token per bird card you wish to keep. To keep. Yeah. Discard the remaining fruit uh, exactly. bird cards. Okay. So now we'll look at our card. Like after we draw five bird cards, right? Did yeah. you draw five bird cards? 
Yes, I did. Okay, so I'm going to go over what the marketplace has in it so people know kind of what the marketplace okay. has. So the marketplace has a Baltimore Orioles. Yo, what? The Orioles. Camden Yards. Camden Yards. Um, so we've got Baltimore Oriole. We've got the Great Crested Flycatcher. Okay, okay. Interesting. Gain some food. Okay. And then we've got the American Robin. The American Robin. Batman's uh, Broheim right here. That's Yeah, that's a Broheim. Yeah. So looking at this, don't expect any high-level strat, guys. We really don't know the game that well yet. So you're going to yeah. probably see some bad plays. <laughs> so let me, let, some me bad plays. See. Oh, let me start the tabletop ambience from Tabletop Audio. We need bird ambience like we're out in the field, right? Yeah, yeah. There we go. We got our bird ambience as we're doing this thing. So on top of that, we need to set up the round tracker, right? The round goals? Yeah, yeah. Um, do I do that now? Or do I do that last? Uh, hold on, hold on. Um, shuffle the deck, place food, whatever. Lay out the goal board. Yes, you lay the you lay the the goal tiles now. Yes. Okay, so I'm just gonna randomly. Okay, this is what they are. I'm gonna go four, three, two, one, and we'll say show chat what the round goals are. Round one, it'll be birds on flat grounds <laughs> with an egg on them. Bird that's in the water. Uh, Bird birds on the water. that lay eggs in bowls with eggs on them, and then okay. birds in the forest. Okay. okay. So those are our round goals, guys. So the first round's birds, nests on whatevers. So we kind of look here. We can kind of see what birds are available right now. If there's any birds with nests, those kind of nests. No, okay. not yet. Um, I got to check my bonus. Do we draw our hand and then look at our bonus as well? I didn't draw five bird cards yet. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I drew, I drew my cards, dude. So I can look at my birds that I have. Okay, I'm going to look at my birds that I have. Ooh, pretty birds. I love the birds, dude. All right, so I'm going to uh, discard a bonus card, right? I can only keep one. Yeah, you have to pick one. Yeah, let me see here. Okay, so I'm going to discard this guy. Interesting. And then I choose how many birds I want to keep. And for as many birds I want to keep, I have to discard a food. Discard Whoa. one food token per, per bird you want to keep. So. It's interesting seeing these percentages. <laughs> I'm like, I don't know yeah. what a really... Uh, now I'm looking at it, and I'm like, wow, 35% is actually really good. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. I like I like the 35% odds a lot better. Um, let me just see what's... Uh... Oh, is that considered that? No, that's not a, that's not a part. <laughs> I've got a weird one, dude. Okay, so I'm going to discard this. Yes, and you discard them uh, face up. Yeah. You do discard. Discards are always face up. Time out, time out. Let me look at your discard pile. Yeah. Okay, so, um, yeah, we've got our birds. We've got our uh, in-game goals. Body parts in their names. <laughs> what? Yeah, I know. That's what I was looking. I was like, is trumpeter a body part? <laughs> Where's my trumpeter? I'll show you where my trumpeter is. Oh, okay, wait. So I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to discard some birds here. Um, Dude, you're really leaning I'm... into your camera today, man. Is that where no, you're going to be sorry. sitting, bro? Is that where you're going to be sitting? No, that's where, this is where I'm going to be sitting, dude. All right. If you're going to be sitting like that, dude, I'm going to do this. I'm going to open. We got to open Lyle up. We got to get some production value here because we can't. Yeah, open open me up, dude. We can't have Lyle sitting here being all in his face, in the zone. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, dude. I don't want you in my face when I'm birding, dude. I want I want my bird space. Bro. Bird space? I feel like you're <laughs> in my face, dude. I feel like you're in my face. I don't want to. I want to. I don't want your bird in my face. You know what's really hard for me right now? It's, um... Okay, I'm so, gonna discard this card. Oh, yeah, I gotta pick what birds I want, right? I'm gonna discard this card in the beginning here, but it's really hard for me because... I'm gonna discard... It's lore card, dude. So, the birds you keep are the amount you have to throw away. No, that's... Oh, is that the discard? Oh, it's lore card. Throwing away the lore card, dude. No, the scissor tail flycatcher. No! He's so expensive right now, dude. Dude, he is expensive. But he's worth eight bird points, dude. I know. That's why he's so good. And you can get us I'm all a bunch of worms, this, bro. And you're tossing the Western tan Tanager, Tanger, Tanger. Damn, he's expensive, dude. You're right, dude. He's too expensive, man. All right, so I'm gonna be ditching the Trumpeter Swan. I'm gonna be ditching the Warbler, and I'll be ditching the Mountain Chickadee. I'm also gonna be ditching this guy. So I have to throw away two food. So I gotta throw away two food. Yeah. So there's one. Uh, uh, and I'm gonna two. throw away. Okay, two food gone. Oh, dude, this is hard now. Tanner grabbed a toy bird and he's using it to eat all the food. Yeah, man. What's going on, Tanner? How okay, are you? We're gonna get rid of this guy. Oh, by the way, Xbox. I was telling dude, my I wife dude, how I don't we, know if I'm making right moves already. How we beat out Ryan's toy review show the other day, and she was very impressed by that. So, 
<laughs> I can relate, dude. <laughs> she was like, wow. I was like, I know, dude. We basically are Ellen right now. We're Ellen level celebrity if we can beat out Ryan's toy review. All right, dude. Are you ready to do this? Um, oh, we got to figure out who goes first. How do we know who goes first? Lyle? Oh, you're there. Are you just in the bird tank yeah, or yeah, something? Yeah, I'm just reading my bird card. Hold on. Oh, you're like in the bird tank. I was like, Lyle? I was in the bird tank right there. I don't know if I made the right move already. Oh, of okay. course not. Of course we didn't. Okay. So how do we determine who goes first? Oh, we also have to roll our food dice in a sec here. How do we determine who goes first? Uh, uh, last person that was a bird. <laughs> uh. <laughs> Anybody know who had you know who goes first in this game? Let me look. I'm just going to look here. Can we, uh, can we just get a, uh, a die? We, we always have to see how it determined who goes first. Um, come on, there's, gotta, there's always some sort of themed who gets to go first, right? Anybody know what the official ruling is on who gets to go first in the game before we can even start the Here, I got to die here. Highest, highest person. No, dude, that's not, that can't be right. It's got to be like the last person to go birding or the last person no, to see an in African. The, in the rules, it says you just choose. Choose oh. a first player and give them the first player token. That sucks. Okay. So, so highest, highest roll goes first. Where did you throw it? So, boom. Beat, beat a five right oh, there. Oh, up here. Oh, oh, crit. oh, oh. Wingspan. Tweet, tweet. Okay. Who has the biggest beak, says Xbox Bear. <laughs> I like that. <laughs> Get a measuring tape out loud. We're measuring our noses. I think I would beat you. I think I got a bigger nose than you. Yeah, probably. Someone get, get up I'm, to the screen. I'm, and... I'm, I'm Filipino. We don't really have big noses. I have a pretty big nose. I'm part bird. I'm part <laughs> trumpet or swan. Okay. Dude, we're going to learn some bird facts, dude. Are you ready to go? Tweet, tweet. Tweet, tweet. <laughs> I wish I had a bird sound effect. It would be so annoying. Um, okay. Um, do what? Where do we start, dude? Um, I'm going to play a bird, dude. I'm going to make a bird. Yo, you're going to make a bird right now? My first action is play a bird. I'm going to play a bird. I'm going to pay his food cost, which is um, food cost, which is a worm. Worm. And one wheat. And I am going to play out the horned lark, Lyle. Did you know that Yo, horned what? larks from large well, you, nomadic you paid, fields? You paid a worm and a grain right now? Yeah. Yeah. Dude, did you know that horned larks are from large nomadic fields mixing with other bird species? Wow. There you go, dude. I mean, that's pretty crazy, dude. No. Okay. And because I played that, that's it. That's the end of my turn, dude. So, boom. Get wrecked on. I played a bird. Okay, you played you played a bird. Played a bird. Um I'm gonna... We're not in the tank, we're in the bird cage, agreed. This is tough, man. Ooh, once between turns when another player plays a field bird or whatever, tuck a bird card from your hand beneath this bird. What? I know what my next action is. Okay. Okay. Okay, Lyle's turn. Dude. I am going to I'm also going to play a bird, dude. Okay. Play a bird, dude. Tweet, tweet. I'm going to play a bird. I'm going to play a purple martin. And oh. Native Americans hung gourds as houses for these birds because they eat so many bugs. Oh, dude. And I now I could have placed that. this in the wetlands or in the no. fields. Yeah. All right. Now I got to pay myself a... Uh, One worm. A worm. When activated, tuck a card from your hand beneath this bird. If you do draw one card. Whoa. Dude, Yo, cycling. It's, dude. A, it's, a, it's a bit of a tuck and roll. Dude, cycling. But you know what? Because you played that, between turns when another player plays a, a field card, I get to yep. tuck a card from my hand beneath that bird, dude. I know. I know. That This this is the this this was like... I didn't want to do it because now he can do he can do Chris Tucker right here. But Yeah, so I'm going to do it, dude. I'm going to do it. I'm going to tuck this guy. Yo, tucked? How do you pick all this up, though? Uh, I guess we're gonna have to face. We're gonna face up it so that they can stack. Okay. Okay. All right. All right, dude. One bird beneath my duck. Woo! Getting rich. That's one point, dude. Um. Now it's my turn. Um. I'm gonna play. Ooh. Well, I'm gonna. My next action is gonna be draw bird cards, dude. So I'm gonna draw some bird cards. Okay. Uh. Right now. I can only draw one bird card, according to this thing. Right? Okay. 
So let's yes, see. Yes, one, one bird card. You're right. What we got up here, dude. Ooh, interesting. I will draw this American Robin. Yo. Okay, and then that's my turn. Robin. Replaced okay. with a red winged blackbird. Oh, oh my. Oh. It's your turn, dude. And this is the whole game, guys. This is this is <laughs> this is it. This is the game. Um, I'm gonna I'm gonna play a bird, dude. Okay. He's gonna play a new bird, guys. New bird incoming, new bird. New bird. New bird, who dis? Oh, oh. it's Clark's Greb. <laughs> Grebby. Rebe. <laughs> Rebe. Yeah. Uh Clark was a nineteenth century surveyor who collected specimens for the Smithsonian. Didn't know that. And I'm gonna play a fish. No. I bet my pay a that. fish, not play a fish. And look, he gives me five. Five. Oh my gosh, points. dude. Clark Greb is insane. Grebby? Grebby? R nest with two eggs, 61 centimeter wingspan, and when activated, draw a card. If you do, discard a card from your hand at the end of your dude, turn. Dude, this is value card, dude. One fish for five freaking bird points? That's value bird, dude. So this is value town. Bird dude. value right there. Um, Interesting. Okay, I got to get my I got to get my engine going, dude. Okay, my turn. Yep. Um I will I'm going to gain food. So I can only gain one food this turn. Um and I'm going to gain a berry. So I take it out of there and I take a berry. Yep, that's correct. Your turn, dude. That's I it. I am going to Simple game, guys. Beautiful game. All right, I'm going to draw bird cards. Okay, so you can draw you can draw one bird card. Or Actually, sack an on. egg to get... Yeah, what does two. that mean? That means I, what pay one bottom? egg. Pay one egg to get another card. So you can get one, and then pay one to gain another one for this action, and then you move over here. Okay. So first you do this. First you do this. Okay, first I do get one... Wait, oh, so wait. You can draw I it can from draw any from of these I can draw from the marketplace here. or wild, a wild swing. Okay, hold on. Yeah, this is discard over here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. And activated. Dude, this is all crit nose today, Xbox. We're all going to be bird. Yeah, awesome. It's pronounced grebe. Oh, I like that. Marge. Ah, it's pronounced grebe, Lyle. It's pronounced grebe. There's going to be a lot of crit noses. Like, this is a nice, bird. relaxing day stream, guys, of yeah. bird knowledge. Yo, I'm going to grab I'm gonna grab this red wing blackbird, dude. All right, bro. It's all you. Yeah. Okay. Yo, look, yo black, blackbird singing in the, in the dead of night, dude. So now that you did this, you now activate your Clark's grebe. Oh, so do you have to activate the bird? Or no, you don't have this is this is actually I learned this because of Rodney. This was not told to me the day I learned the game. Is that this is an optional choice? Oh. But if you do, if you draw one, you have to do the rest. Oh, I see. I see. Yeah. So yeah. if you draw one, you have to discard one at the end of your turn. Okay. If I draw one, I have to discard one. Okay. Possession says, can you well, draw I mean, birds I'm from gonna, the deck I'm and market? Swing it then. Yes, you I'm can draw. You can draw it. birds from the deck and the market. Okay, so you're going to draw one from uh, the deck, and now you have deck. to discard one from your hand. Oh. So now you have to make a choice. What up, Jonesy? Welcome. Welcome back, dude. Ooh, Girlfriend came home. Man, I like both Get of the these, Get the birds with dude. the cool abilities? Hell yeah, dude. It's what we're trying to do. All right. I'm, oh, this is tough. All right, I'm going to discard this guy. He's pretty cool. The black oh. turn, dude. The black turn. Yeah, black turn. Dude, he was a good value, too. No, this is hard. One this food is, this for is, four this is getting, points. This is getting hard, dude. Oh, we got to remember what our end round goal is. Birds with uh, the nasty thing. Who's ahead on that? So so because your grebe, see your grebe has a star. That's actually yeah, any. Star? That's wild. So he can Yo, lay that's eggs a wild anywhere. Nest right now? So right now, if you get an egg on him, you'll be in the lead. Because this is birds that have lay nests on platforms with eggs on them. Dude, what? So this counts as a bird I didn't with a platform. That the star was a wild dude. Yeah, there's a lot of things to keep an eye on in this, and that you will realize at like the end of the round that you did. I already, I already forgot about the end of round goals. There by you the go. Way. I know, dude. Until you, until you said it, I didn't realize that was part of the end goal. of round goals. Best goals. <laughs> okay, so uh, next is my turn. So I will be playing a bird. Plop. Oh, uh, did you answer Zeshin? Said, can you draw birds from yes, the deck? Yeah, yeah, and yeah. the market. Yep, I did. Okay. Um, then I'm gonna play. Oh. Interesting. Oh, what's got, what happened to you, man? Interesting choice. Mm -hmm. I guess I'm gonna do this, dude. So I'm gonna pay. Um, I'm gonna pay one, one, uh, berry, to get out this pleb American robin. Did you know, Lyle, that robins have been known to roost in groups of a hundred thousand or more? Wow, dude. Hundred thousand. Yeah. 
Robin. The, Steve, the lone Robin. Robin dies, but the pack survives. There we go, dude. Send a, <laughs> you know nothing, Robin. Okay, so I, I play that, and uh, it's your turn, dude. That's all I can do, because I don't have anything else there. Um... I'm going to do something crazy. Wait, what are the two things you've done? I How come I I'm at four? How come I'm at four actions? How many? You've only taken two actions? How come I'm at four? Oh, no, no. I'm sorry. I drew. I drew. Uh, yeah, I drew see, this card. is so like I was told this at my FLGS. You got to be careful with these to make sure you play all your actions. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That yeah. you place your your little chits. Uh, yeah, it's I important. played two birds and I drew a card. Okay. All right. I'm going to... What do I want to do here? Okay, yeah, yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna lay I'm gonna lay an egg, dude. Lau's gonna lay a freaking egg. Okay, so, so you can lay okay. two eggs. You get to lay two eggs. Yeah. So if I put two eggs on these things, do I get two points from the from the end of round thing, or is it no just no? This one is only end of round. This is this will be a tracker for later. So each egg that is on your board laid on an, on a bird, it will be a point at the end of the game. Okay. And eggs I'm are also like, currency like to pay, right pay for the next level uh, birds, right? So eggs are going to be coming and going off birds. Okay. Okay. So you so got I two got, eggs. I got that. And now I can spend a food to lay an egg, right? If you want to get another egg, yeah. Damn, dude. So you're going to pay a food to get another egg? Okay. Yeah. And you can put eggs yeah. on any birds. All right, man. So then you go down the line. two eggs here. over here. I got one egg over here. All right. So then what you can do here is when then you activate your purple martin. So you yeah, would move well, this I down. I a card from your hand behind this bird if you do draw a card. There you go. Do you have a bird you want to tuck to get a card? Um, oh, I like this card I have, though. Right. It's birds with an egg. It's birds. So the end round goal is birds that lay eggs on platforms with an egg on them. So right now, Lyle is winning with one because this is a star bird. Stars are wild. They lay eggs anywhere. So... So right now he has an egg on this bird, as you can see. So he would have one. I currently have no birds with eggs on them, nor do they lay wild. Yeah, I'm 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 not gonna activate this uh, this purple martin. Okay, he passes. He does not choose. Yeah, so yeah, so yeah, you would yeah. move. You just go down your token and now you lay eggs. Yeah. Okay. So it's my turn. Hmm. I think I have to get food, dude. Or no, you know I need to draw. What do I do here? Tonga. Hmm. Man, this is... I'm sorry to get in the tank here, man. I know. Okay, so I'm going to draw... I need to the draw a bird, bird tank, card, dude. dude. I need to draw a bird card. Oh, you didn't refill the market. Oh, sorry. Ooh, cute little eastern bluebird here. Eastern bluebird? Oh. Oh. Mm. Play a second bird, dude. What? Oh, man. I'm, I'm starting to corner myself in the bird market. Let's see. Dude. This is a tanky game, dude. Yeah. You got some va high value birds up in here, huh? I am not sure how I feel about this whole tuck, the, this tuck um, game I got going on. I need a card, dude. I might have to yeah, wild that's... swing this thing. I think I'm going to have to wild swing you, this what thing. What are you doing, dude? What are you even doing? You're doing tuck. Yeah, you're, yeah. Why, why are we all bird yeah, tucks right now, yeah. dude? I'm going to, I'm going to wild I swing this thing. I think this is the optimal uh, play, man. Okay. Oh, all right. It's your turn. Oh, that's it. Yep, I drew a bird card. Drew a bird card. Uh, what's what we what we got here in the food thing? Games and grub. What's going on? Says Raven and Crow combo early on is really good. Let you convert right. eggs. I'm into going a ton to. Of food. Uh, oh, I'm going to gain some food, dude. I need food. Well, I was going to get food. Okay, so I, I just put food, it and I'm going to grab me a. So I can grab uh, this. This, and I'm going to grab a grain. Okay. Grabs one grain. Okay, my turn. Jeez, uh, man. What do I want to do? Um, hmm. Uh, okay, I think that's what I'm going to do, too. I'm actually going to gain food. I'm going to gain food. So I get, get one. I can discard one to gain two food if I chose. But I'm going to actually just gain a food up here. I'm going to gain... Uh, I'm going to gain this and take a worm for now. Okay. Um, and now you can discard to get a food? Now I can tuck a card behind this bird. If I do, I draw a card. So I'm going to tuck, dude. I got the tuck cycle happening here. Yeah, tuck, tuck, tuck and draw. I'm tuck this guy under here. 
tuck this guy under here, and then I get to draw a card. Cool. <sighs> yeah, I'm gonna take this. Uh, yeah, I'm gonna take this Eastern Bluebird, dude. So then I okay. replace this, and it's your turn. Uh, the black build magpie comes in. Black build magpie is now on the on the thing uh, here. Yeah, when another player's uh, predator succeeds, gain one oh, food from the Oh, the, the, count, the predator counter, dude. Predator counter. Wow, dude. Counters, dude. I wish I had this at the game. I'm going to this. play a bird. Plus two wild food to play him, dude. You can play anything you want. I'm going to play a bird. I'm going to play... Uh... Oh, wait, no. No, no, no. I'm play a bird. Games and Grub yeah, says yeah, my wife tends to go for birds that cash food early on and stockpile them for BP. Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. That's a good strat, too, right? Cash all that food. What are you going to play, dude? Oh, yeah, I'm going to put a uh, this dude and pay a grain. Okay. Tell us about the red-winged blackbird, Lyle. Uh, the red-winged blackbird. Uh, blackbird flocks can include hundreds of thousands of birds, guys. Guys, did you know He's that? He's just a little guy, 33 centimeters. Uh, he likes to lay three eggs in a bowl, dude. Yeah, dude. Uh, but uh, what I like about it is when activated, tuck a card uh, underneath from your hand on this bird. If you do, I also lay an egg on this bird, dude. So so I can do a, I can do a tuck and an egg, dude. Yeah, dude. Tuck and tuck that egg. Oh, oh by the way. And I had to pay. I had to pay an egg. Yeah, you got to pay an egg for this row. Yeah, 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 yeah. So you dropped an egg, dude. Yep. So your your Clark's Grebe just laid a uh, red winged blackbird, which is kind of weird. <laughs> dude, yeah. Dude, you're moving up in your card draw strat. Draw, drawing cards wins games, right? Yeah, I'm trying to. I'm trying to. Yeah, I'm trying to see. I want to get more cards in my hand so I can start do, start start doing some tuck. Dude, you know, right I now to, you're. I need to play into my combo, dude. Your first place for end round goals, though. Yeah, heck I haven't yeah, been I making am, any progression towards that, have I? Hmm. Um. Okay. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna draw bird cards. I'm actually changing up my strat here. I'm going to draw bird cards. I'm going to take this black build magpie. Yeah. Uh, and um, that's it. Replace it with a common loon. The common loon, folks. The common loon, dude. The common loon with this little baby loon. Oh, little baby. Loon. Dude, that that's a big loon, dude. 117 centimeter wingspan. That's nuts. Dude. It's a little expensive for a common loon. It's your turn, dude. We're coming down to our last actions here. Uh, last action hero. Uh, I think I'm going to, uh, draw, draw some bird cards, dude. Well, it goes for the draw bird cards. So I draw two cards. You draw two cards, correct. Um, hmm, what do I want here? Uh, activated players. No, don't want that. Sorry, guys, I'm just setting up my, uh, Good. Setting up my cameras for you all because this is our first playthrough of this, and I'm now seeing how it how it's looking. You know, I'm gonna I'm just gonna do a couple wild swings, man. Lyle's gonna go two wild swings, and then he's gonna move yeah. down the line. So you can tuck a card from your hand behind oh, this. Oh yeah, yeah. Now now hand. I'm over here. Yep. Uh, and now I can, when activated, tuck a card from her from your hand behind this bird. If you do, I I lay I lay an egg. You lay an egg. Um. I am going to tuck a card. Dude, you're on, you're good on the egg strat and the tucking. So, like I said, you got to kind of flip this face up for the, to, to the stack to work in tabletop soon. Oh, okay. Because I'm not really supposed to know what bird it is that you're hiding. You know what I mean? Got I it. I think that's hidden so information. So then I and then I lay an egg, right? Yeah. Sweet. And then then I go here. Yep. And this says draw a card. If you do, discard a card from your hand at the end of the turn. Um, Clark's yeah, I'm going to, I'm going to wild swing. Okay. And then I'm going to choose to discard a card. Jonesy says my mom hates magpies. Their singing sounds are a machine gun as well. <laughs> and discard that. What'd you discard? So I discarded a, uh, American, American bittern. uh, bittern. Oh, he was val Yeah. He was worth a lot, dude. Jeez. Yeah. But like, he's so expensive, man. Interesting. And I have more water cards, water birds than you dude. So I didn't want to, yeah. I want to play him. You can move the bird out of the way first and stack face down. Oh, that's true. You could do that. Oh, yeah. You could do that. We could start doing that to hide the information. I mean, when predators kill birds, you kind of know it because of the way it works, um, I believe. But you can, I think you can see those cards. But, yeah, I guess it's hidden information because you're pulling birds out of the stock, right? If someone was going for something. 
Um, okay, so it's my turn. Uh, let's see. I think, um... I think it's time to play some bird cards, dude. Am I gonna play a bird? Ooh, I messed up. I forgot the order of things here. Ah! That sucks. Because you gotta pay... You gotta pay an egg at this row, huh? Yeah, pay an egg, dude. Alright, looks like I'm laying eggs. Dang it, man. Do I want to do that? Or do I just gain food this turn and hold on to next round? Um. Ah, oh, dang it. I didn't have enough eggs, man. That sucks. <laughs> yeah, dude. That's... Ah, I gotta lay That's eggs. Thing, man. Oh, I gotta, gotta I gotta go eggs. lay eggs. All right, looks I, like I, yeah, it's like I laid eggs, but I don't have any food. All right, I can lay two eggs. I'm just gonna lay an egg here on this bro and lay an egg on this bro. Oh man, I messed up yeah. my engine. What is above his money games? Is money games? Yeah, dude. Wings, right, I'm bird gonna, games. Yeah, I'm gonna gain. Whoa. I'm gonna gain some food, dude. Oh, oh and his money games comes back for 25 months in a row. Yo, thank you so much for the resub. 2,500 beans, he says. <laughs> <laughs> All right, dude. So you did that before we do our final turn. Wait, you just gained food. You gained a berry. Yeah, I gained a berry. Okay, I gained yeah. a berry. Let's spin the wheel for it was Mahdi Games, guys, coming into chat here. Getting the hype on. Getting the hype on. Getting hyped? Yeah, it, it, uh, it, Jonesy clarifies in Crit Camp, we don't really dice and kill hordes of zombies, but today we're just doing something different. Exactly. We're getting food to feed our birds, dude. And it's 10 burpees for Chris, courtesy of his Mahdi Games. Savage, dude. I'll bust those out here after we get out of this round. We'll get out of this round. So, guys, we're coming to the end of our first round. Crit cheers to Ismati Games for that resub, man. Thank you, thank you. Hope, what is your idea of Wingspan, Ismati? Do you enjoy this game? Um, curious what your opinion is. Okay, so uh, end of round. We now go through and we pull all our cubes off. Okay. Okay, we clear our cubes off from our turn here. So we should have eight still. And then what we're going to do... Ugh, clear all our things off. Okay, then I pass the first player token to you. Oh... So you'll be first player next round. Uh, then we look up here, and we're going to look at our round. So you can go right to left, guys. It says round one, round two, round three, round four. It doesn't. So our we look to see who was first place. Who has the most birds that lays eggs on platforms with an egg on it? And I believe that's you. Cause that's both, me, dude. Because my, my birds uh, my grieve, dude. lay eggs in a bowl and on the ground. Yeah, and you're laying eggs. Uh, you've got, yeah, your star. So you have one. Oh, yeah. So you win. Yeah, I'm uh yeah, because my my general Grebus. Yeah. So you Boom. take that. So you're there and I'm second. Okay. So you got first. Wait, I got wait, second. wait. I don't think you I don't think you're second. You're just nothing, dude. You have to have one to at least score, dude. I think you're I think I think you're here, dude. Oh, really? Do I get zero? Yeah. I don't get second place. Oh, yeah, yeah. see, <laughs> try to cheat, dude. Oh, that's sad. You try to cheat, bro. Oh, man. <laughs> Denied, dude. I just want to have points, dude. I want points. Dude, that seems yeah. like that. That seems too close to home, man. That seems like growing up and playing kids sports. I don't even get a participation ribbon. Dude, savage, harsh. You don't even get second place. I'm not even the first loser. Wow, it's like that. All right, Lyle, you're first then, bird bully. Bird bully, dude. You're right, a bird so, bully. So now, now what? It's your turn. Oh, we just we just continue like that. Yeah, now we're in round two, man. It's round two. Oh, round two. Fight. Aaron Air says it's the main reason I like using the other side of the round scoring. That's right. There's two sides to it. Do they, don't they call that adv advanced scoring or something, Aaron? Um, instead of having places, it has uh, tracks of how many you got. Okay, so so Chris, if I if I want to gain food but I don't want this fish, I can reroll all of them, right? Oh yes, up here in the food, yeah, because there's all of one kind in the bird yeah. feeder. Yep. Yeah. Okay, so I have to put my thing on gain food here. Yep, so gaining food. And now I'm gonna grab. Hold on, I need to see what I need. Seeing what he needs. I need this guy. Okay, he's taking a grain. I'm taking the grain, dude. All right, so what am I doing here? Um, so, oh, we got to look at our new round goal. Our new round goal is how oh, many yeah, birds yeah. there What's are round in the water. In the water. Birds in water. Oh, oh, yeah, boy. Yeah. <laughs> Ismani says you must reroll all of them. Why? 
I don't think you have to. You could have, he could have taken that fish and then we would have re-rolled. I don't think it's because I think it's an optional thing, isn't it? You can't even get the fish if you want it. I thought it was optional as long as they're all the same, you can then do it. Like it's just a choice, is it not? Is that true? Like you you can't even take it if they're all the same? Like so if there were like three worms in there, you have to re-roll it? I don't know if that's right. Is it? No, I think you can take the worm if you want it. You could take it, but then it's just gone, right? Managing the bird feeder. If the bird feeder tray is empty, throw all dice back in. If the trace dice in the tray show the same face, including if there is only one die, and you are about to gain food for any reason, you may you may first throw all the five dice back in the feeder. It doesn't say you ah. must. You may. It's a may. Yeah, it's gonna be may. It's gonna it's gonna be may. <laughs> it's gonna be may. Yeah, you're up. All right, dude. I'm gonna play bird, dude. Let's get bird nuts. You gonna play that bird? I'm gonna play bird nuts. You gonna play bird nuts right now? Um. Oh no, I'm not, dude. Oh, this bird is really giving me a hard time, my bro. <laughs> this bird just giving me a hard time. Yeah, this bird just giving me hard times right now. He's, you know, I put out his bird feeder. He's just making a mess of all his food. Uh. Oh, I'm gonna gain food. I know, dude. My birds are starving. Okay, I'm gonna gain food. I did not get, I did not get good food economy going, dude. Yeah, uh, dude. I learned this in the last game I played that I was like, oh, I didn't go. I went hard eggs, and I was like, dude, my birds need to eat. <laughs> like, I don't have any food. <laughs> All right, I'm gonna take this berry. All right. And then I can. So when activated, tuck a card from your hand behind this card. And I, if I do, I can draw a card. I'm gonna not. I'm gonna choose not to do that. You choose not to do it. Okay. Your turn. Um, I'm going to. It sure is, Jonesy. Ooh, what do I do? I want to go hard. I would like the that? I would like this bird embroidered on okay, the back yeah. of a, I'm gonna play a red bird, leather dude. jacket, Jonesy. I'm gonna play a bird right here. <laughs> My, Chris has zero engine building. Lyle almost has some. <laughs> uh. <laughs> Welcome to Crit Camp, guys. Yeah, it's like, come on, it's like our first time playing the game again. <laughs> All right, here we go. I'm gonna play. I'm gonna play House Finch up here. I'm gonna play a grain and a, and a, and a berry. Okay, can live either in any of those places. Put it in the forest. Okay, I put it in the forest. Dude, well, tell us about the house. How? Tell us about house. Uh, finch. These finches um, are rarely alone and can flock in the hundreds. Hundreds again. So, so what I'm learning right now about birds is they like to birds. stick together. No. Uh, birds of a feather. <laughs> uh, so Lyle, what I like to think about house finch is uh, if this was a Game of Thrones house. That yeah, you're house right. Their their house high as honor. <laughs> their house words would be, "Birds of a feather flock together." <laughs> birds of a feather flock together. Um, <laughs> Finch wasn't that also uh, was that a pop punk band? <laughs> Finch was it Finch or was it was it Finch <laughs> was it Finch? I know what you're saying, but now I'm thinking it was Finch. It might have been Finch. Yeah. Yeah. All right, so uh, yeah, when activated, I get to tuck a card from this uh, from you my don't get hand. To do that now, if you do, I draw a card. Next turn, yeah. Um, as Monty says, what show do pine tree birds star in? A game of cones. A game of cones. <laughs> oh, hey, hey, this guy. Okay, so, um, what do I want to do? What I want to do? I want to do. No, I got. I think I'm gonna gain more food, bro. Yeah, I'm gonna gain some food. Um, and I'm just gonna take this worm, worm, and I will choose not to take this action. Okay. I will not tuck a card behind him and draw a card. Okay. I am going to draw some cards, dude. Engine building is for plebs. <laughs> uh, so draw let's two? see. What do I want here? Well, I was gonna draw two. I'm going to wild swing both of these. He's going to wild swing. You're not going to take the Baltimore Orioles? No, I'm not going to take the Baltimore Orioles. Interesting. Interesting. And now I can do... Oh, the writing is really sappy. Ah! Yeah. Wah, 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 wah. Oh, I thought you just went, damn. All right, so I can tuck a card from my hand under this bird. If I do, I can also lay an egg on this bird. Yeah, man. He's sitting on top of a corn dog. Um, do I want to do that? Do you notice this red-winged blackbird loves corn dogs, dude? 
I am going to not do that right now. Okay. But the next, but the Grebe, General Grebus. General Grebus. Uh, I can draw a card. If I do, I can discard a card from my hand at the end of the turn. Yeah. Um, okay. Um, Fun fact, the house. Ooh, that's actually interesting. The guy who lived in this house before me, his hobby was carving fake bird, fake ducks and painting them. There's a crit no. That's a that's a weird out there fact nobody would ever need no. to know, but I know. I am not going to do this with the Grievous. Okay, so you're just going to skip all your activation actions. Okay. Yeah, I'm going to skip skip my activations. Okay, so it's my turn now. All right. I will choose Oh, no. Oh, no. Um I will choose to play a bird finally, dude. You didn't play a bird right now. No, I did not play a bird. Um I will choose to play uh the eastern bluebird which Lyle did you know bluebirds struggle to breed where there is a lack of tree cavities wow. it helps if you build nest boxes to help the eastern bluebird survive Lyle just so you guys know that cost me a worm and a berry so I'll play the worm and I'll play the berry uh, and then actually it's a win played action play a second bird in my field or whatever and pay yep. its normal cost so I had to pay an egg too for that Yep. because of that round um, and then I will play, I will pay two, so then I will play oh. the Black-Billed Magpie, which these omnivores steal eggs and eat carrion, along with a diversity wow, dude. of other foods, dude, of other foods. So I get to pay his normal cost, meaning two food of any kind, which two I got food a worm and, an and a fish, and then I think another egg, technically. Yeah, you have, to, you have to pay another egg, dude. So egg strat going out the window. Wow, dude, look at you. Boom. Look uh, at you, man. Yeah, and that's it. I played a bird, right? So I didn't put my thing there. Boop. That's my turn, dude. Over to Lyle. All right. I got to I got to I got to gain food, dude. Chooses to gain food. So I get uh I'm going to grab this worm. I was going to take a worm. Worm. I'm going to take that worm. I'm getting a jump call. Got to pause so that. So then you can activate your house. You can activate house fitch. Oh, wait, no, no, I can, I can also, what is this, discard a card to get another food? Yeah, man. And at that Ooh. point, you can either take the rat or you can reshuffle the food bank. Because it's all the same kind. It's all discard rats card. or mice or whatever this is. Ka! 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 Ooh, I like this card, though. Did you guys enjoy the tabletop audio ambience with the birds? And the... Well, Isn't this the nice, food? a nice day stream? Yeah. I hope everyone's having a nice, relaxing day stream today with us playing birds learning about birds together guys learning about birds together building engines with birds bird engines you know what i'm going to do this i'm going to discard i'm going to discard this owl even though i really like him gets wrecked and then i'm going to it's kind of a cheap owl dude get another no you know what no 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 i'm not gonna do this, gonna do this. <laughs> yeah. it's asmr attempt yeah i'm not gonna yeah, do that okay. tweet tweet um all right so then i can do uh my house finch when activated tuck a card from under if you do draw a card, now I'm going to put my owl underneath this card, dude. Okay. Like I said, we could do what MyJ is saying if we want. Just move stuff around. Yeah, and then I'll, I'll draw one. I'll, I'll wild swing. You took it from here? Okay. Wow. Okay. You're good? All right. Yeah, I'm good. I'm good. All right, my turn. Um, yeah, what do I want to do here? What's our goal? Birds in the water. Okay. Birds in the water. Birds in the water. Um, what do I get here? Man, it's hard to build a bird engine, man. They're so Well, I've got I've so got empty. counters going right now against you. Um, looks like I'm going to be drawing bird cards, bro. Cuz I'm kind of worthless right now without bird cards. So I'm going to draw yeah, it's, a it's bird hard, card. Man. I'm going to draw a bird card. Um, what do we got up in here? Uh, do we go? Do I go? Oh, that's a fish and anything. Oh my gosh, man, you're high value common loon here. Yeah, common loon. Is oh, plus it right gives now. he's worth a lot, but it gives you a card. Players with the fewest, or gives your opponents potentially, which could be myself, I guess. Interesting. That's kind of cool. So, oh, I like that three actions left though huh um i might take this dude i'm taking this bird dude what's this birds in the water 
Oh, God. You have to remember how many actions you have per turn, though. Yeah. I'm taking him. So he's pretty good, dude. I'm risking speaking. it, dude. I'm taking the common loon, and that's my turn. Right. Next out is the blay, blue gray gnat catcher. Oh, the, the gnat catcher, dude. Oh, dude, he just gets worms. catcher's pretty good, man. Yeah, dude, he gets worms. He's cheap. He's cheap, cheap bird. Cheap, cheap, cheap. <laughs> cheap bird. Cheap, cheap, cheap. All right, dude, um, Lyle's turn. I think I'm going to... I want to play a game with my character a bird, special dude. ability called Wild Swing. Dude, you got to go play some level 99 games. That's where that's from. What was that? The, what game was that? Seventh Cross. Go play Seventh Cross as an uh, action. Yeah, Exceed. Exceed a seventh right, cross. Yeah, I'm gonna play a bird, dude. I'm gonna play a bird. I'm gonna pay. Uh, put him here. I'm gonna pay an egg. Yeah, cost an egg and a, a worm or a and a worm and a worm. Okay. Uh, and so, this is the yellow rumped warbler. Uh huh. Tell us. And about uh, it. birdies sometimes call these birds butter butts. <laughs> butter butts. <laughs> <laughs> Best butter bird back. Butter butts. Oh, that's so good. <laughs> this is the Matt bird, dude. The butter butts. Butter butt, dude. <laughs> Just got a pat of butter on the butt, dude. Oh, that's good. <laughs> I love the butter butts. That's good. Okay, nice. Well, nicely played, dude. Butter butts. Um, okay, my turn, huh? Hmm? Um, I'm going to choose to gain food. I think that's going to happen here. I'm going to gain some food. Uh, I'm not going to take this rat. So I'm going to throw everything back into the thing and reshuffle it because it's all the same kind. Throw them up in the air. Okay. And I will choose... Oh, what am I going to take? I see why this gets spunky. Hmm. I'm going to choose... I guess I'll just take a worm. Okay. And what can I do in my gain food? Um, tuck a card... No, I'm good. It's your turn. I'm not um, going to tuck. I'm not going to tuck. Okay. okay. Aaron Air says, My game group is currently split on which is better, light engine builder like this or gizmos? I've seen gizmos. I tried to get copy of gizmos. That was a really popular one, though. I know a lot of people really like gizmos, but I have yet to pl actually get it to the table myself. Maybe Friday I'm going to be able to get get to it. All right, here we go. I'm going to uh, I'm gonna gain food here. Okay. Two food. So food. I start by getting two from the common supply. Yeah, I'm gonna grab a. Uh, I'm gonna grab a wheat. Wheat. And a worm. And a worm. Wheat and worm. Wheat and worm. Uh, and then I can activate my yellow rump warbler. You could. You could tuck a card. Uh, I can butter tuck. Butt. Can you just call him by his real name, Lyle? Butterbutt. Uh, so yeah, I'm gonna do. I'm gonna do butterbutt. You gonna butterbutt this uh, thing? I can tuck a card and then draw a card. So I'm gonna do that. Oh, you just got Feast for Odin, Ismati? I've seen Feast for Odin played. I've never played it. I'm going to tuck a card, and then I'm going to grab... Gizmos over this. And then I'm going to grab blue-gray uh, gnat catcher. Okay. Dude, I like the blue-gray gnat catcher, but butter butt. And then I'm not going to I'm not gonna do House Finch. Okay. So you're done. All right, dude. Yep. Dude, two food is pretty sick. Um, I think I'm also... Oh, gosh, I'm in a tough spot, dude. With what I have. Two actions left this turn. I'm once again just kind of like grinding again. I don't have an engine at all, like Maje said. Man, I need multiple things. And you're not doing what my engine needs. You're like avoid you're like dodging me, dude. Alright. I'm gonna gain food because you're you're not helping me feed my birds in this ecosystem. Oh, we didn't refresh this either. We gotta refresh the bird supply. We got a California quail. Uh, Maje, I have to tuck first and then draw. If it was the other way around, I would have liked it. Wow, California quail is expensive. Ooh, it is good for laying eggs later, huh? And he's expensive, but I'm gaining food because I already put my action down there. Um, so yeah, California quail is pretty cool. I'm gonna re-roll these. Because they're all yeah, the same. I have to do the tuck first, Maje. So it's not like I can draw and then choose which one yeah, I want. Yeah, it says tuck one card and then draw, right? Tuck a yeah. card from your hand behind this bird. If you do, draw one. Um, Man, that's a lot of the same 
these these ones that cost double, they all count as like the same, right? So you have to have multiple wheat worms up, right? Like these are the same tile, but this is different. Oh no, this is the same. No, it, it's considered unique. So, oh, oh, I see. There's there's three of them. Yeah, so these would be the same, and these two are the same. I think yeah, is what the exactly. idea is. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, a lot of wheat worm going on, dude. Dude, worm and wheat for days. Uh, dang it. I guess I'm gonna take a wheat. Uh, then oh yeah, I can but I wanted to draw. Keep, I wanted to keep the card I picked up. I will not activate my uh, American Robin. Your turn, dude. Oof! I feel like I'm falling apart. My engine's falling apart. All right, I want to um, use I the want card to from the play, first one. To I want to play a bird, head. dude. Okay, playing a bird. Playing a bird. I'm gonna play the the blue gray, uh, gnat catcher. I'm gonna pay an egg. And a worm. And a worm. And tell us about the blue gray gnat catcher, Lyle. Yeah, the blue-gray gnatcatcher, gnatcatcher's breeding range is steadily shifting north with climate change, dude. Whoa, okay. Well, there's a pretty, there's a positive for climate change. We're going to get no. some gnatcatchers maybe up here in PA. Maybe they're coming from your hometown. I can get some little gnatcatchers. Gnatcatchers. Where does the butterbutt live? North America. See, in the bottom left corner, guys, you can also see where these birds live. I was told, actually, that this thing in the bottom left was a way they were going to uh, save the expansion number. Um, but I don't think that's true. I think it's where they just live. If anyone can confirm with that, I think it's just where the region they live in. So we have butter butts in North America. That's good. All right, you're up, dude. Okay. Uh, last that was my action. last turn, man. Last action hero right here. Um, dude, this sucks. Oh, I see what you're saying, Ajay. Yeah, I could have gotten one more point at the end. I'm not getting what I need, dude. What's up? What tuck do me, yeah, tuck my hand, draw one I don't want, tuck it, and then yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, it took me it took me a while. I'm a slow learner, but I first learned. First game, dude, first game. <laughs> and the game will go a lot faster, guys, once we kind of got it down and when we start being less thinky. Yeah. And we start to know the cards. This game I can see a lot of having a big advantage of knowing the birds. And like um like Games and Grub said earlier, his wife has like a combo she really likes to dig for. Uh, to start the game, you know, or look out for. Like, we don't know any of that right now. <laughs> um, dude. This is lame, dude. I'm going to gain food. Ugh. This is so lame. I'm just so set in getting this engine, but it's so late in the game. Gain a wheat. Your turn. I'm not going to activate my American Robin. All right, that's my last action. Okay, we're done. End of the we're round. Done, all right, so the round ends. We go up here. Uh, we take all our cubes off. Cubes. Step on my cubes. Take all our cubes from the board. Take all the cubes from the board. Um, wingspan. Wingspan. All right, now we look up here. How? Who has the most birds in the water? It would be Lyle. Yep. Birds in the so, water. Who's one of our action tokens? I'm once again not second place. Bird, yeah, so the next the next round is birds um, with bowl nests with eggs on them. Bull birds with bull with eggs. birds. Bull birds dude. with eggs. Bull birds, eggs. All right, bull birds with eggs, man. I think these need to be in a bag because they're double sided, and when you shuffle them, I don't think it flips them, and they're double sided. Uh, so I think next game we need to make a bag and throw these in the bag yeah, and yeah, randomize them, them that the way. Because you can randomize these, right? Yeah, you can oh, shake uh, these up. So we both Might have six actions left. One, two, three, four, five, six. Yeah, okay. So then that's it. I get the first player marker, and we go to yeah. round three, guys. So round three, bird, bull, bull birds with, with eggs. Bull, bur bull birds with, with eggs, dude. Bull birds with eggs. Bull birds All right, with eggs. I got a bull bird and a star. Do you have any bull birds? You got three bull birds. Oh, five with a... Jesus, man. Dude. Dude, you got yeah. your bull bird strat. You were ready for this. You is what dude, you I built ready, for. Dude. You built for you. You stratted out for round three. Listen, I I, I stratted out. You had this. I stratted out for, for 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 round goals, dude. I see that now, man. No, it just happened that way, dude. Ah, uh, okay. Well, I'm gonna start by, dude. This sucks. I'm just. I've put myself. I've pigeonholed myself. Hey. Hey. -oh. Like everyone in chat's like, this guy does not know how to build engines. I don't. Um, I didn't say I did. Dude, do I do that and hope? I think I'm just going to gain food, man. I'm going to gain food. It means I get one food. I will just grab one of these and grab a worm. And then I'm uh, done. Your turn. Hmm. 
Hmm. Cube crisis. Step on my cubes. Yeah, I'm gonna. I have to draw some cards, dude. Miss taking need, off a cube. I need bird cards, oh, dude. Oh, Lyle got it. Yeah. I need bird cards. Drawing bird cards. What do I want here? Uh, that can go there. Or there. Got the California quail. Great crested flycatcher. And the Baltimore Orioles. <laughs> you know what? I'm gonna grab. Uh... He expensive, but he good. Well, I want, dude. Could you have re-rolled all of them since they all shared the same symbols? Yes, I could, Canton. I chose not to grab, because I'm it, grab, uh... for what I'm trying to do, it doesn't really matter. For every any two combination food, it counts as one. So I didn't really... Where I'm, I've already ground out and wasted so many turns that now I'm at the point where this game isn't going well for me. So I could, take, I could have taken any food. I'm going to let Lyle decide if he wants to re-roll. I'm going to grab uh, tuck material that can be flipped any time. Yeah. I'm going to grab California quail here, and then I'm also going to wild swing here. Okay. All right. Let me see what I got here. Oh. So tuck a card from your right. hand. Then I can, uh, when activated, tuck a card. Uh, if you do, lay an egg. So I will do that. Whoa. Oh, Whoa, you're not tucking that. You put it on top of them. What'd you do? This isn't the right card. Whoa. What happened to your bird, dude? Where'd my card go? I don't know. Where'd your card go, dude? Dude, where did it go? Oh, is it on the table right here? Oh, it's over here. What the heck? Because you're, you're blue because of tabletop sim. It's on the other side of the thing, so it must have put it on next to you or something. Okay, so it's the red wing blackbird is the one I had on top. Yeah, 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 yeah. All right, so there, I'm going to put this guy tabletop over here. Tabletop sim glitch. There you go. And now I get to lay an egg on him. Yep. Tuck to card, lays an egg. All right. Card, lays an egg, and then I can draw one if you do. Discard one. So I will draw one. Um, a wild swing. Let's see if I like this one better. Go wild Ooh. swing. Ooh. So you like got to discard, discard one. Yeah, I'm actually going to discard this California, California quail. California quail gets got. tossed, man. Dang. Gets tossed. Dang. You're up, dude. Canton's asking, could you have re-rolled all of them since... Oh, sorry. They all had the same or... Yeah, they were all the same symbol, Canton. Because it's, it's a split thing. It's we. These are unique. So there were three of these in here. So I could have said I wanted to re-roll. Yeah. Didn't it cost one egg to put that egg there? No. It just... He had to tuck a card. Yeah, so... Yeah, when activated, tuck a card under... From my hand under these... Under uh, behind this bird. If you do, also you lay an egg on this bird. Yeah, it's good. It's good combo wombo, dude. Yeah. All right, man. I'm going to play a freaking bird, dude. I'm coming in. I'm coming into the ocean. I'm going to play a bird. Uh, it's going to be the common loon. Oh, oh, he got it, dude. He got it out. Uh, I have to pay. So I, what I can do, this is kind of an example of what this is. So you can pay two for any one kind. I can pay one random, and then I can pay two of any kind. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to pay... Um, I'm going to do one worm, one wheat for the fish. That would give me a fish, and I would pay the fish. Um, and then I'm going to pay uh, one. Ugh, I don't even know. It doesn't matter, I guess. Worm. Uh, that costs, covers his food cost, and uh, I'm all yeah. good there. Whoa. All right. Wrong board. There we go. There we go. I played my common loon. All right. It's your turn. Yes. On the next row, the second row, like right here, that's what that designates as Galdu. So if he plays a bird into this row, it would cost one egg plus its bird cost. The first yeah. row is the only one that doesn't cost you an egg. Yeah. So what you're saying is if I say gain food right now, I can re-roll re everything. Because it's all the same. Yeah, because yeah. these are the same symbol. Yeah, you can yep. toss everything in and shuffle okay. it up. Let's do it. And you get two food, and you can discard to get a third food. Ooh, look at all this okay. fish. Here we go. What's he taking? Uh, I'm going to grab... Oh, you didn't re refresh the market. Oh, sorry. Because now we have a yellow, a common yellow throat. All right. I'm going to grab a cherry. Okay. Well, and take a... The... Oh, take... whoops. A yeah. cherry and a fish. Take it out of the thing. Cherry and a fish. Cherry and a fish. Okay. And then you get to go down the line. Yeah, and now I get to, when activated... Gain a worm, bro. That's super Gain a worm sick. from the supply. 
There is no worm in the supply. What? No, the supply is this. Oh, the supply is this. You just get okay. a worm, dude. Cool. Yeah. Let's get a worm. Uh, then when activated, tuck a card from your hand. If you do, draw uh, draw a card. Swap a card out. Um, dude, these both are. Oh, I really nice. like this card, though. This is a but nuts I think cycle. I think I'm in the in the game of. Uh, Tuck, draw? Tuck and roll. You're playing the tuck and roll uh, game, draw, dude. Yeah, draw two. Tuck and roll yeah. strat Lyle's got going here. Yeah, I'm going to do tuck and roll, dude. i got to get some points, man. Okay, so this tuck. guy's coming off. There's going to be a tuck. Okay. And then that means I draw one. Yep. You can take one from here, or you can draw one. I don't want you to get this Oriole, dude. I'm going to... Baltimore Orioles. Oriole is good, though. This man. pays everyone. I want the Oriole, dude. Birds that lay eggs in bowls. Okay, uh, from the hand on this bird. Mm. I'm going to. This is interesting. These are all good, dude. They're all real good. Uh, I'm going to grab. I'm going to grab this guy. And then I'm actually going to activate the house finch. By putting him here. And I'm going to draw one. And I'm going to draw... Your Oriole, dude. Take the Baltimore Orioles. Savage, dude. Yeah, yeah. Okay, I and mean, that's it. Yep, yeah, and dude. now I replenish. Dude, look at all the food and all the stuff you just got, man. That's like a bunch of... That was like a four-point turn right there. Yeah, what do we Dude, got I here? like it, dude. I like it. Got American Kerstal. Interesting. I've got a uh, pleated, pileated woodpecker. Layers one egg on any one whole bird. You may lay one egg on one additional whole bird. Whoa. Dude, when you when you play a bird and you're making food, does it have to be two of the same food to make one food? Or is it? Yeah, no, it has to it can be two of any. Two of any. Got yeah, it, got it, got it. Makes one food. Okay, <clears throat> so uh, it's my turn then. Ooh, yep. where, so where was I going with this? Let's see. We have four more actions. I'm going to want to do that eventually. Let's see, man. I got to decide. Um, I think I'm going to draw bird cards because I don't have any. I'm going to draw bird cards. So I get to draw one or I can sack an egg, which I have no eggs to draw an extra. So I get to draw one bird card. Ooh. What birds do I want, though? Um... Hmm. I think I'm going to go wild swing here. I'm going to wild swing. Okay. Interesting. Interesting. So then I can go down to my common loon. It says when players with the fewest birds draw a bird card. I have the fewest water birds, so I draw a bird card. I'll do another wild swing. That's a pretty good card for you, man, that loon. Right now, yeah. I had to count yeah. everything. But it's a little late. It's a little late. A little late. A little late in the game. All right, dude, I'm done. Your turn. All right, I'm gonna I'm gonna play a bird. We're gonna play the bird, dude. I'm gonna play a bird. Where's he gonna play it? Um, so I'm gonna it's play the fewest Oriole. water, fewest water cards. And so basically, I have to play. Um, I pay a worm, a cherry, and then I'm gonna combine these two for a cherry. That pays right. the food. And then I have to pay two eggs, too. Two eggs, yeah. Well, right. tell us about the Baltimore Orioles. Uh, the Orioles weave pouch nests uh, that hang from tr uh, from a tree branch. Yeah, I didn't know that, dude. A pouch yeah. nest, guys. Pouch nest. Pray. No. no can ask all you want we're here to, this is a learn and play episode lots of questions it helps clarify things for us and everyone else watching so if you don't see something clear enough or want to see something else or ask questions this is totally the the place to do it not at all annoying it's few but uh, yeah i will clarify here players with the fewest water birds it says draw one all right you're up dude to europe um i think i'm gonna lay eggs dude Man, why don't you have any predator birds, man? Yeah, because you got the counter, dude. And you're That's... not and you're not playing any field birds to make me rich. 
You really hurt me, dude. <laughs> you hurt me, man. Um, okay, I'm gonna play gain food. Ugh, do I don't want to gain food. I guess so. I guess this is my life. Um, and I'll gain a fish. Gain food, go fish. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. All right. Uh, and then gain food. I can tuck a card from behind my hand under this bird. And then I get to draw a card. Um, I think I'm going to try to tuck. This sucks. All right. I'm going to tuck this guy underneath. And then I get to draw a card. Right, right. Um... Ooh. I think you've got me beat on this round goal again, dude. Birds with bowls with eggs on them. And you haven't done it yet, but you're probably setting up to do that soon. <sighs> do I... <sighs> <laughs> I kind of like this bird, dude. Um, I'm going to take... Uh, I'm going to take... I'm going to take the American Kestrel, dude. Wow, dude. Okay, then I'll refresh it. Your turn. Okay. You freshed it with the Lazuli Bunting, dude. Lazuli Bunting is coming to the board, dude. All players lay an egg on any one bold, bold bird. bird. Holy yeah. crap. This would be great lady. for this goal. This would have been great for this goal. Oh, my God, dude. We're not at that future view set yet. I want Lyle to take it. Hell, yeah, I want Lyle to take a lot of stuff. I want Lyle to do a lot of things. Yeah, I but he's not like doing any guy, of them. Dude. Lyle's got too much. He's too aware of what I've got more. going on. He's, Lyle's over there just looking at my board, my Jay, encountering it. That's what he's doing. All right. Yeah, I'm gonna draw cards, dude. I'm gonna draw. I'm gonna. I'm gonna take this bunting, dude. You get two cards. Okay, taking the bunting. Why is my? There you go. It's like all weird in my hand. Uh, and then what else do I want? What's this woodpecker doing here? He puts okay. eggs in holes. All right, all right. Um, yeah. Do I want you to have any of this? What's my other guy's? Okay, tank, yeah, I'm going to grab this. All right, then I'm going to activate my burrow over here, my, win my red winged blackbird. Okay. And I'm going to put uh, this boy under here so I can lay an egg. Cool. I can draw one and discard one. So. Oh, then you're onto your grebe. Yeah. You don't yeah, have to. Draw one. Oh, did you take uh, one? From the... Yeah. And then I'm going to discard one. Okay. Ooh. All right. Now I'm going to replenish here. Yeah. Okay, man. Okay, man. Okay, man. Uh, I should have done something else. I like that northern Bob White, dude. Okay, I think I'm going to. Uh, once again, I'm a, I need mo more actions than I have. <laughs> <laughs> it sucks. Um, I'm going to lay eggs. Ugh. I'm going to lay eggs. So I can lay three eggs, and then I can pay a food to lay four eggs if I want. Um, so I, I get three eggs. Do I want to pay a food? Um, I don't think so, man. I think I'm going to hold on to my food. Okay. So I'm going to get three food. I'm going to put one on him. I mean, three eggs. I'm going to put one on him. I'm going to put one on him. And I'll put another one on him. It's hard to. Why do the eggs stack, dude? Okay. All right. Boom. So I'm not going to pay a food. Uh, and then I go down the line, and nothing happens because these are between turns and activations. So it's your turn. Hmm. What are you going to do, dude? What's Lyle going to do? Gonna, I'm going to. I'm going to lay some eggs, dude. Lyle's going to lay some. You can lay two eggs, and then pay a food if you want to lay another one. Uh, I don't have any food. 
Uh, let's lay an egg on this on the star over right here. Stars count as bowls, right? Yep. Stars are wild. Okay. Cool. Oh, man, this sucks. I need I need one more action. I'm not, I'm not thinking ahead at all. I think I'm gonna gain food. Let's gain food. I'm gonna gain a rat. Uh, and then when activate, I can tuck a card from my hand beneath this bird. If I do, I can draw a card. So I'm going to tuck this guy underneath. And then I can draw a card. Yeah. What do I want, though? Uh, what's our next in-game goal? Birds in the forest. Dude, you're going hard, birds forest. Yeah, dude. I'm prepping. Dude, you've been prepping all day, man. I'm going to wild swing because I can't decide. All right, so I have a, I have a question about... Right, so it's your turn. This is my last turn, right? Yep, your last action. I'm, I'm, I've am I'm won the round goal, right? Because I have three different birds that have eggs in bull nests, and you only have two different birds. Yep. Right? Yep. You okay. would be in first place for the round goal of birds okay. that lay in nests with an egg on them. Bull nests. Okay. So Make so. Lyle lose actions from last round thinking he's gaining points from round goals. <laughs> All right. So I'm going to play uh, gain food here. Yeah. Uh, I'm going to reroll everything. Yep. All right. I'm going to grab a... Oh, he's crushing me, Elijah. <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna grab. A, He's way ahead of me in terms of turns. A I didn't cherry. Get a, I didn't get my. He countered um, my field strat for sure. A wheat. And. What do I need? I don't know. What do you um, want? Then I guess I'll get a fish. Okay. All right. So there's that. So now you go down. They go down. I, uh, all players gain a cherry. Oh, get a cherry. I get one, too. Woo! Yeah. And then go down. I gain a worm. You gain a worm. Look at this food, man. Food is uh, then awesome. Then I talk a card behind this card if I do a draw a card. Dude, killing it. I don't it. like this card, though. You don't have to do it. You can Going into last round, though, right? Yep. Yeah, I'll tuck. I'll tuck a card. Draw a card. You going to tuck it away? Yeah, I'll tuck it away. Took it away now. Now I can draw a card. Yep. Um, got some ooh, stuff. When activated, all players lay a... Do I have any more of those? Oh, I guess I have star. Star guys. That guy's pretty we'll good. See. When activated, lay an egg on this bird. It's pretty good. Uh, do I want to get this? I'm going to grab this. I'm going to grab this. Uh, no, no, I'm not going to grab that. I'm going to grab this. And then I'm going to tuck a card underneath this guy. And I'm going to grab this. Okay. Boom. You did that with your house finch. Okay, so that ends the round. Yep. Okay, so Lyle, you take it with birds and bowls, right? Because you got one. You got how many? Three? Yep, three different One, birds. Two, with bowls. three with eggs on them. I only have two, so I get last place again. Now we take all our markers off. No, no, you actually, you actually uh, got second place this time. Oh, because I have some. Right. Because I actually, have some. actually had some to go towards it. Nice. You're right. You're right. Nice. I can actually play. I get a participation ribbon. Sweet. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You get, you get, you get a participation ribbon, dude. I got, I got the sixth place participation ribbon. You get the first player marker for next turn. Yep. And um, it's round four, guys. Going to round four. The round goal will be birds round in the forest. Four. Round four. Birds in the forest. Birds. All right. We need birds in forest. Okay. I think I got that unlock. You were doing, I think oh, I'm you going refresh. to you refresh the market. Yeah, you got to refresh oh, yeah. the market. We got a pine siskin. You gain one. Interesting. Gain food. Discard a fish to tuck two cards from the deck behind this card. Whoa. Wow. That's interesting. Fish to gain stuff. That's pretty sick. That's pretty awesome. Kind of like that guy, dude. All right. 
All right, I'm going to draw some cards here. Um, so you get two bird cards. Two bird cards. I'm bird cards. I think you have the whole game. I'm going to <laughs> grab this guy. I think Lyle's better cool. at engine building games than me. Um, no, we do not discard all the cards in the market between rounds. You're supposed to re refresh at the end of each turn. Yeah. I think I'm going to grab this guy. Okay. All right, now I'm going to tuck a card under this guy. There's just been a lot of cycling. Tuck a card. Tuck a card. Next game, we should do the face down thing. Yeah, you got to hold it. Oh, at the, oh, what was that? Oh, there was an egg on him. Yeah. And then I get to lay another egg on this guy. Yeah. They stack weirdly. <laughs> and then uh, when activated, draw a card. If you do, discard a card in your hand. Okay. I'm going to... I'm going to wild swing. Wow. Dude. Cool bird. He's crazy, man. All right. You got to discard like, one kind of like them, dude. You got to discard one, though. Now I have to discard one. Doe. Ooh. He is just good, though. <coughs> like him. Hmm. I'm actually going to discard that guy. Wow. Look Threw at that. Threw in a double-crested cormorant. Yeah. Okay. And we've got the uh, Sprog's Pippet. Sprague's Pippet. Sprague's Brooks. Yeah. Pippet, Sprague's Pippet, and the fish crow. Fish crow, come at me, crow. Ooh, turn your turn your eggs into food. That's pretty good. Food into eggs, dude. Food into eggs. So you got the birds eggs into in the food. Forest on lock, crushing me in this game, dude. Um, all right, man. So it's my turn. I think I'm going to. Oh, Jonesy, Copenhagen is high on me and Casey's list of places to visit. Everybody that we know that goes there loves it. Yeah, man. Uh, let's, uh, build, I'm going to play a bird, dude. <coughs> Excuse me. I'm going to play a bird. Okay. Um, I will be playing the American Kestrel to the field. Uh, something about the American Kestrel. Kestrels track rodents by their urine. Did you know that, Lyle? And will cache surplus kills for later. Dude, he's savage, wow. man. He smells you pee, and then he stashes your bodies. <laughs> <laughs> Oh my god. No. Um, so I gotta pay. I, I'm gonna play one rat and then two of a kind to get rid of this guy. So I'll get rid of a fish and a wheat uh, and then two eggs. There's two eggs. So I've got my American Kestrel. All right, dude, your turn. Ooh, what do I want to do here, man? I'm still building my thing. I'm too late. I'm too late. What do I want to oh, do? Oh, saying between rounds, we're supposed to discard all face-up cards in the marketplace. Every one? Page nine? Really? Really? cycled out? As you draw face-up cards, they are immediately refilled. Instead, wait until the end of your turn before refilling empty spaces. In the face-down deck, as ever empty, the game, we shuffle all discarded bird cards. At the end of each round, discard any remaining face-up cards and replenish them with three new bird cards. Oh, didn't know that rule, man. No. Market clears between rounds, Lyle. Okay. Oh. Well, if we played dude. this whole game this way. I guess we're gonna do it that way next time, dude. Yeah. That's good to know. Right. Okay. Fact. Right, I'm gonna play a bird, dude. I'm gonna play a bird. We played the first round wrong. Surprised. Play a bird. I'm gonna play this, dude. Essentially, Games and Grub says the birds fly off. If that's how you want to think about it. Ah. Yeah. 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 That does make sense. So I'm gonna play play an egg. Were you paying? Were you paying this bird in the field? Yeah, this guy, this northern uh, Bob White. Okay, I get an activation then. What? I get an activation when you play a bird there. I tuck a card from my hand beneath that bird. Oh, dude. Okay. Do then I, I clear all my time? food. So there, there's a wheat, and I'm using two cherries to be a wheat, and I'm using uh, a fish worm to be a wheat. Yeah, I'm gonna tuck. I'm gonna tuck a bird under him. I get to do that once between turns. Okay. Uh, the, all right. Egg cost. Played, played, I played a bird, dude. Dude, tell us about the northern Bob White. I don't know anything about Bob Whites, Lyle. Do you know any fun facts about Bob Whites? Oh, Bob Whites? Yeah, sure. Uh, Bob Whites are uh, prolific breeders, but their numbers are in decline, though. Oh, so. that's a crit no. But good to know, dude. We got to get the. No. You know what I mean? 
Yeah. yeah, that's right. Aaron Aaron says when Lyle wins, it gets an asterisk because we didn't play the complete game 100% correct. I agree. I think you're right. Also, when when Chris is teaching me this game, <laughs> he cheats so that I don't get an official hey man, rate. I get it. I didn't. I, I wasn't it. told that the first time I played this game, and I was. I did not see it in Rodney's video either. Unless I just wasn't really paying attention to Rodney's video, so maybe Rodney messed up too. Are we right? Someone has to go back and watch that. Uh, watch it played as a refresher. <laughs> we got to go hit Rodney on Twitter and tell him he's wrong. If someone hasn't. If someone on YouTube hasn't caught him yet, I'd be surprised. Um, I think I'm gonna lay a bunch of eggs, bro. I think it's time to lay I mean, eggs. I mean, that would be good for you to lay eggs. I'm man. gonna lay four freaking eggs, man. I'm gonna lay four eggs. Uh, I'm just gonna put an egg on this, bro. I'm gonna put an egg on this, bro. I'm going to put an egg on this, bro. I'm just going to distribute my eggs, man. Yep. Uh, and then I'm going to put an egg on uh, this, bro. Eggs for days. <laughs> eggs for days. Eggs for days. Now, because uh, I have my American Kestrel, when I activate, I roll all dice not in the bird feeder. If any of your mice gain one and cash it on this card. Oh. Wow, so I actually dude. So I get to roll three dice. So these two don't count. So I just have to roll these ones that are not in the bird feeder. These are not in the bird, bird so. feeder. One time. Yes. Oh, you're gonna cash one, dude. So I cash one. Boop. Yeah. So I got a food on my on my Kestrel. Nice. Uh, let's see. Black build magpie doesn't matter. Easter doesn't matter. Doesn't matter. I did trigger that earlier, but that's it. That's my turn. Okay. Your turn, dude. That was good. I, I got like some that, eggs, dude. dude. It's egg strat time. All right. I'm gonna I'm gonna gain uh gain food, dude. Oh. Uh, so the first thing I do is gain three food. So I'm gonna gain gain a. Uh, uh, wheat. Wheat. Uh, and then I can re-roll now, right? You can take the fish or you can re-roll them. Yeah. I'm going to re-roll this. I'm going to take a wheat. And I'm going to take a... In the tank. He's in the tank again. Oh, I think I'm just going to grab a cherry, right? Yeah. And I'm going to grab a worm from from other one. Yeah, so I'll take a fish. Still take a fish. Okay. And then uh, this guy, when activated, all players gain a cherry. Yeah, I get a cherry. Woo! So you get a cherry, too. Uh, then I gain one worm from the uh, gnat catcher. Your tuck game. And then from the uh, butter butt, I... Uh, I can tuck and draw one, but I, I don't want to do that. Chooses to not tuck. Let and me draw. just look. Let me look what, what we got here. When played, draw two new bonus cards and keep one. What? Yeah, so you can swap them out. You can get new in-game stuff. Dude, that's crazy. Pretty fun. Pretty cool. That's pretty good. Yeah, man. No, I don't think I need them though. Fish crow. <laughs> you know nothing, fish crow. You know nothing, fish crow. I know MyJ wants me to just discard. I just, just, he just wants me to discard, dude. Bonus card strat is strong. I have won two games that way, says Aaron Air. Oh. Lyle's deciding on birds if he wants to tuck and mm. discard. Mine just has additional bonus points, not swap out. Do I want this with this with the spray eggs pivot? It's the end of the game. I don't know. If you have something you think, if you, because you're going to get two new and then you get to choose which one. You could hope to get something that's like, you know, four or more forest birds. I mean, I don't know what your current bonus is, but. You know yeah. I mean? No, I, I think I'm going to keep, dude. You're up. You're good? Okay, my turn. Yeah. Um Dude, I think uh I think we're gonna lay some eggs, bro. I'm gonna lay some eggs. Uh I mean I feel like maybe not. Maybe I won't lay eggs this turn. Maybe I get some birds. You've got me crushed in birds. Do I want I think I'm just gonna lay eggs, dude. I'm gonna lay some eggs. I'm gonna lay four eggs. Just to stack my eggs in a, in a thing. So there's one, two, three. You can't put more eggs than are allowed on the yeah. birds. Uh, and then this guy, when activated, roll a dice not in the bird feeder. 
Uh, if any are mice, I can cash one. So yep. mice one time. Two dice. Oh, okay. that's a miss. Dang. That's a whole bit. Okay. And then that's it. All right. I'm going to uh, play a bird. Okay. Uh, where do I want to play him now? I have choices here. I mean, I could tell you where you want to play him. <laughs> I'm gonna play him up here. Um, so That's right, Mike. But I wouldn't. I wouldn't be able to answer you on that game because that game's awful. What? I'm gonna play wheat. Wheat. <laughs> I wouldn't know, Mike. A wheat, wheat, cherry. Okay. And two eggs. Two eggs. Dang, that's an eight-point bird. Point yeah, he's eight. an eight-point bird, dude. That's I went, a huge I went for turkey, the, bro. The high-point uh, wild turkey, dude. Huge turkey. Went wild turkey, dude. What is uh, tell wild us about turkey, the, dude? Tell us about the wild turkeys, man. What do you know about wild turkeys that we we should all know? Oh, wild turkey. Uh, wild turkeys are domesticated in the Americas before uh, European contact. Ah, did you know that? I didn't know that. I did not know that, dude. They were no. they were uh, they were pet birds before we even took took over America. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. All right. Move down the line, dude. We all get a cherry. Yeah, we all get a cherry, dude. No, 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 no. I played a bird. I didn't gain food. Oh, you played a bird. Sorry, sorry, sorry. Yeah, I played a bird. Okay, that's right. Bird. Okay, my turn. Yep. Um. Hmm. Two action cards left. Uh I could do that. I could do that. And get that. And then I have to do something. Um, I think, yeah, I, I, dude, I think I lay eggs, dude. I think I lay eggs. This is what I built up to. Two, three, and then four. So this bird's maxed out on eggs because he has three eggs. This one has three eggs, maxed eggs. Yeah. Uh, um, then I reroll these. Hope do you get points for food in your pool or no? Um, I don't believe so, no. No, it's just it's just food that's cached. Two fish. Dang it. Missed it. All right, your turn. All right. So I'm not banking here, get... guys. I'm not banking. Yeah. I'm I'm gonna lay eggs then too. Okay, laying eggs, three eggs. You know, one. Uh let's do there two and let's do uh one over here. Okay, and then you get to lay an egg on this bird. And I get to lay an egg on this bird. You can do some more tucking. Tuck a card. I don't have a card to tuck. Tucker Cards. Tucker Cardson. That's it, dude. All right, dude. Uh, I guess what I'll do is uh, lay some eggs. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to lay some eggs. Uh, I will lay... Okay, I can't put one here, and I can't put one so here. You're maxed out on egg there. Yeah, yeah I'm, there. Egg, I'm at egg max here. So I can yeah. go here. Yeah. He's almost at egg max. Uh, I'm trying to poop out an egg over here. Okay, so that's one egg. That's two eggs. Where's my two eggs? Well, you're, you're, you're dropping a second egg, right? Well, where did I put my first egg? On this uh, eastern bluebird. Okay, so he's got four eggs. I put five eggs on him. <laughs> Look at that. That's awesome. <laughs> God. Okay, so that's two. <laughs> yeah. Physics, dude. It's three and four. Okay, okay, and then I can roll these dice up here? Yep. Okay, last chance to get a cash some food. Ah! Oh! Yeah. <laughs> Okay, savage dude. All right, your turn. Oh, that's it. That's the end of the round, that's guys. It. That's, that's the it. end of the round. Yeah, wingspan. All right, that's our first round of wingspans done. Now we got to look over here and see uh, who had the most birds in the forest for the round goal. Lyle. But I got second place <laughs> because I had one bird in the forest at least, right? Yep. Okay. Um, I don't think I get any points for that, do I? I guess we find out, huh? Oh, you do. You yeah, get you four have, points. You have a bird in the, okay, in the so first, yeah. okay, so now we come to the next level. Whoa. Yeah, end game. That's right. Mission close. All right, so I don't have any end end level stuff. All right, but um, okay, we have to come up here to the scoreboard, dude. Woo. Yep. Scoreboard time. I don't have a thing. So we're, first, we'll just go down the line. So how many you get a point? So you go. Uh, <laughs> yeah, this is gonna look real good. Oh God. Yeah, delete that crap, dude. <laughs> delete that crap. Yeah, I think we're gonna have gonna to just good. yeah, delete that and put a use just use the the um vector pen and just write it with your mouse. Don't try to type it because it's gonna take you forever. So we go, oh, we're gonna God. go by uh we're gonna just go down here for bird points, dude. Add up all your bird points. Okay, so three, four, five, fourteen, fourteen, twenty-two, twenty-three, twenty-four, twenty-nine. 
34, 36. 36 bird points for Lyle. It's pretty good. I have 1, <laughs> 6, 10, 13, 18, uh, 24 bird points for Chris. 24 bird okay. points for Chris. <laughs> Lyle, a lot, Chris, not a lot. Are you going to write that up here, or I'm going to write it? No, can you write oh, that? Uh, yeah, I can. 24? You don't have to keep changing the color. Yeah. 24. Oh, yeah. Okay, so bonus cards. So did bonus you get cards. your bonus? Reveal your bonus card. Well, I got it. What was it? It was birds with uh, oh. those types of, with rock yeah. nests. Well, it's like lay them on the ground. So how many yeah. birds do you lay have? Lay on the ground. Have and so I have it with my, uh, my Grebus. Um, that's one. Two. My Northern Bobwhite. That's two. One, two, three. Four. My Baltimore Oriole, that's three. And my Wild Turkey, that's four. So you get four bird points for that. Yeah. Four bird points. Mine was Prairie Manager. So birds that live in the fields. So I've got one, two, three, four birds that live in the fields. Now, um, that can only live in the fields. So they had to only live there. This one lives in both. So he doesn't count. And neither does. So one, two, three, four. So I got four. So I get eight bird points. You get eight points. Look at you. I'm the Prairie Manager, dude. I manage the prairies. So I killed you in bonus cards. All right, end of round goals. That's this up here. So so you were first place across the board. Yeah, so I got four points. So that's nine points. 15. That's 15. That's 22 points. 22 points for you, and I get seven. 22 for you, seven for me. Look how next level production this is. (laughs) (laughs) So good. All right, here we go. Here we go. Um. Okay, eggs, dude. Count Egg all your in, eggs. Dude. One, two, three, four, five. I have five eggs. One, two, three, four, five. Yeah, five eggs for Lyle. Five eggs for Lyle. I have one. Uh, this would be five plus one, two, three, four, five. That's 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17 egg points for me. 17 dude. egg points. Corner of the market on egg. Okay, eggs are cornered. Uh, food, food on cards. I don't have any. I have one. And you have one. Okay. So zero, a big old goose egg, Lyle. Ah. <laughs> big old goose egg, dude. Dude, bird jokes for wins. A Chris won a category. Woo! All right, tucked cards. So we're going to have to figure out how we're going to do this. Um, yeah. It doesn't say the stack, does it? Oh, it does. It does. So if you just hover. So like here, it says four. Oh, so I have, uh, I have three underneath this guy. Yeah. I have three underneath this guy. So that's six. And, and then four underneath this guy. So I have 10 points. 10. You have 10 10 for your tuck. You got 10, 10 on the tuck. I got six. I get six on the tuck. Six points. Six points on the tuck points. Six on the tuck. Now we do math. Who can do math the fastest, Matt? Uh, chat. So 40. Plus got your calcs. Uh, 62, 67, 77. 77 points for Lyle. Lyle's first game gets 77 points. That's pretty gangsta, dude. I got 32, 39. 49, 56, 57, 63. 63 points for Chris. Looks like Lyle takes the win. <laughs> Lyle's the tweet tweet with 77 points. 77 points, but, you know, you know what we have to do. Uh, we have to do this. A big old asterisk because, <laughs> <laughs> because we missed that turn. We missed that turn. That minuses you. 14 points means we tie game. <laughs> it's a tie game. It's a tie game because of that, right? Because of the big old asterisk and us uh, messing up that rule. Get not realizing. Here, dude. You had advantage, you know, constantly being able to see those birds and not resetting. So dude, we had the same we had the same advantage. <laughs> <laughs> just saying. I'm just saying that's it. But uh there you go guys. That's the first game. First game, dude. First game um, of uh, Wingspan. So, wow, what did you think of your first game of Wingspan, dude? Well, uh, I liked it, dude. I, I liked it. Um, it's tough to, to get your head around what you're what you're really supposed to be doing in those early <laughs> in those early turns. Yeah, I obviously did not do well. I uh, I think I went too a little too off on uh, going for my Prairie bonus card. That like, well, you countered me. Because I was all, I was sitting here getting all nice and killer with trying to get you to do this stuff, but you just did the opposite and didn't do anything. Yeah, well, once I saw that you did that, I was like, well, I don't want to give you value. 
Yeah. Besides it, like I wasn't really, we weren't really picking up a whole lot of predator cards, you know? No, I, th- we, I think we saw a couple owls and stuff yeah. like that, um, which I think are good at the beginning. But um, what was your card here? Oh, just get bird with those type of nests. So it was just yeah. kind of like a bonus for you, right? You were like, ah, if yeah. it happens, it happens. Um, what did you think about the round goals? Like, what what was some of your first strat here? Just kind of play it out and see what happens. Well, yeah, in the in the very beginning, I was sort of just like, I was just playing out. I was just trying to play out a lot of birds that cost only one food. Right. Um, in the very beginning, just to get them on the board. Yep. And then good. I figured I wanted to either um, do the draw bird cards first or the gain food cards first. Yeah. Is, is, is where my mind was because I was like, because you can always populate that first column for free without eggs. Right. Um, and then that way you can start getting your engine going and it's just like, it's rough with the food and the, and the draw because it's like you need to draw, right? So you can know what food to get, right? but then you can't play them unless you get the food. So, so those were like what I was thinking about in the very beginning, just like play out birds quickly, um, with what you have without taking up much resources. And I wanted to build up resources to, yeah. to play expensive birds or anything well, like it's that. Basically like deck building, right? Yeah deck building engine building kind of stuff so yeah i like that strat it's good that's good it's a standard strat i mean we're not like you know i think you are better at like engine builders for sure than i am my brain doesn't really work that way i'm kind of like yolo and what yeah. happens happens sort of style but yeah um it was a lot of fun man you like it yeah it was a lot of fun and also the end of round goals for me weren't weren't something i was really going for but like once i saw that i was sort of setting myself up for them then it was just like okay well now i can I can like really, really go for it. Um, yeah. yeah, it's fun, man. I really like it. Um, I think the game is easy to learn. It's quick and all that good stuff. Uh, hold on. I'm, I'm doing... Oh, right. No, no. We want this. Uh, I'm adding some elements here and going to set up our second game. But chat, if anyone in chat, did you see anything, uh, any questions? Does anybody have any... Uh, I mean, we definitely learned that, yes, we will admit that we sort of played uh we didn't clear the market every turn so we did mess that up a little bit yes um and that's on us oops is this infinite now oh wait how do you do this i'm trying to i'm trying to uh yeah and you have to make the the box for the bird feeder again yeah i'm gonna make the box for the bird feeder in a second uh, here, but i have to put my name back in here hold on i just want to see sorry. if this makes sorry sound. guys we're, we're setting up we're setting it up <laughs> setting up this Whoop. okay I actually realized what I've got to do. So because we're using this mod, guys, um, I have to do something just a little bit different here. But yeah, we're going to play another game. But if anyone's curious or has any comments about what they've thought about in their playthroughs, let us know. MyJ says an easy strat is to think of action economy. Birds that give you bonus actions like free food, eggs, or cards are generally good. Yeah, totally. I saw that. Lyle was pulling that way better than me. Yeah, um, I was relying um, yeah, on. You I really to do wanted things. to get the the birds that give you more food in the beginning, but I, they just weren't they weren't popping. Uh, and the and the and the tuck strategy is pretty is pretty cool for just cycling. It's yeah, it's all about denying. It's like hate drafting birds, <laughs> so you can just tuck them. Yeah, and dude, get what that you really want. Okay, boom. Okay, just moving some stuff around the board here, guys, so we have it uh, in a place. Oh, we need the uh, the box, right? Oh, and yeah, and that I, I totally feel that as Madi. He says, uh, a fun little game, very good gateway for people just getting into games who want something a little bit more than light games. I could see, yeah, I could see like playing this game with, with my wife and her liking it a lot, but I don't think I could pull this game off on, um, like my beginner's game group. No, um, that has never played an engine building game. Um, yeah, I don't think so, huh? I don't know. I think it, I think it's a, it's just a little. You know, I might be able to just because the the uh, the flavor of the whole thing, right, just feels really nice and relaxed and bird watching sort of thing. I think it's easy. I mean, like we did a quick tutorial of it, right? Yeah, um, it's just like this, like end of round goals. There's a lot of stuff to like consider. Yeah, but I, I what I think about it too, and what I what I think is really draws people in, and what kind of drew me into. Um, it looks really good, so it's easy to kind of, like, access, right? It's not like you're yeah. looking at a bunch of spells and a bunch of, like, crazy, like, fantasy stuff that I think can scare some new players off. That's just like, whoa, I have to build some crazy, you know, like a deck builder, I think, sometimes can be easier to get someone into. You're just like, hey, just draw and then buy and then try to make a deck and I don't know. 
Um, there's less going on, but in this, it looks like there's some stuff, but it's like, hey, you, you look at this player board and it looks a little crazy. Like if I jump back over here, it's a reset game. Um, yeah. It can be a little daunting, I guess, but then when you're like, you have four things you can do, just yeah. do it. Yeah, no, it's just, it's just, there's a lot of components on the table, right? And there's a lot of like visual thing that's going on. And and I, I disagree. I, I, I agree that like, because of what the game is and it's about bird watching and there's this whole like calming sort of thing about it like yeah. it helps you feel better about the game um yeah um yeah. Isgaldo says yeah there's no counter spell yeah there's no attacking like i think like my friend john's wife who's not into like screw your buddy stuff she would enjoy this because of the theme and the whole like you can't do something to really screw me over it's like it's more everybody benefits like more of the cards are like hey if you do that i get a benefit which isn't like a screw you're not screwing your neighbor but it's kind of like hey cool you know, everybody kind of yeah. gets better. Uh, as Monty says, the flavor goes a long way. It's similar to Terraforming Mars in that way. People could mm. never even come close to something as complex as uh, Terraforming Mars can play it because it's rich in theme. Oh, yeah, see, yeah, exactly, exactly. And, yeah, um, it's definitely a new player could enjoy the game. It's a higher skill ceiling, and they could get destroyed by an experienced player. So, yeah, just to go with what MyJ is saying there, it's like one of the comments and, and critiques I've heard about this game is that there's no comeback mechanic. Um once you kind of like in the sense in the game we just played uh you dominated the forest right uh and yeah. we're looking at the board and it's like if i didn't make the choice uh to do something about that i'm kind of out of it yeah. um i need to look ahead right and if there's no chance for me to look ahead there's no um there's no way for me to get back in it and it's like well now i feel like there's no way i'm gonna win um I, yeah. well no i mean I, I think that. the the comeback the comeback comes in your drafting of birds right so it's like you start to either go for birds that have high victory point totals um, or you go for birds that are going to give you extra actions and extra stuff. So like basically it's like, yeah, like, like I like the birds that lay eggs, you know what I mean? Cause it's like, that's like an extra yeah. victory point yeah. every time like you, you, you activate that round, card right? or, yeah, yeah. or the cards that you tuck, it's like, you're just getting more points. Um, and then at the very, very end, when I was just like, oh, I can kill two birds with one stone, I can get a wild turkey out that's that cost eight victory points, right? Um, that gives me eight victory points, plus I, I for sure get all the forests, uh, you know, and a round goal kind of thing. So, like, so, I mean, yeah, it's just like you could have went all – because you were already hard egg, <laughs> you could have went even harder egg, you know, and, like, drafted – birds in the, in the fields to like lay more eggs and things like that i don't know i don't know i mean it's our first game it was your first yeah. real game um uh and there was only 14 points between us i mean my first game I yeah think, no I no yeah it wasn't wasn't it wasn't like a stomp or anything yeah and major major was making this point uh <laughs> the comeback mechanic is play better says games grow right um the <laughs> the the um the thing my uh, was saying earlier is that a, a two-player game is going to play way different than a four-player game based on things that are oh, triggering. Oh, sure, I can, I can imagine. Things that are happening around the board. If you can even pay attention more to things happening around the board, right? Like, what is he doing? What is he doing? What is he doing? And everyone, when I played my first game, was four players. Yeah. Um, it was like, I didn't, you know, I saw this guy just getting points every other turn. Like, I saw this guy just using all kinds of, everyone was doing something different. Yeah, and yeah. And yeah. I, I scored 50 cool. points in that game. This point, we were only 14 points away from each other, so it wasn't a complete blowout, per se. Yeah. I would be interested to know um, those of you in chat that have played this game multiple times and with like multiple amounts of people, like where did you feel like the game was like really good? Yeah, like awesome. how many players did you think like was like that's like perfect? Like maybe two um, is not great, you know, yeah. maybe because because like uh, my Joey's even saying the between round goals lose a lot of value in two player games because mm, i guess so, you yeah, instantly yeah, yeah. saw that i was going field hard or or prairie yeah. i guess it is and yeah. you were just like nah you're like okay so i'm not going to do that and that shut yeah. me down completely yeah okay um, as Molly says i think three or four is best yeah i could see that i would be interested in playing a three or four player game yeah for sure four felt a little long scenario in this game too guys just for anyone that hasn't seen the game before and just saw the game that length how long did that take us that took us over an hour i think it's that took us a while but there was bands from the beginning we we're doing rule well, stuff too saying, so like, our gameplay, it's 40 to 70 minutes, it says. Um, okay. A two-player game should go pretty quick. Now that we kind of know it, this next game will be like, bang, 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 bang. You know, we know where the birds are. Well, we're... don't don't say that because we, we <laughs> we're do We're also chatting, games, and it's, so, yeah, if you've uh, never been to Crit Camp, we take, a, we take a little while. But, <laughs> we take our time. Um, yeah, let's get into a second <laughs> game, dude. What do you say? But first, we have to do a little, uh, we have to do a wheel spin? Or I do, I owe 10 burpees. Do we? So you owe 10 burpees. There's no wheel spins. But okay. I. But while you do the burpees, I am going to take a bio break. Oh, savage, dude. All right. All right. This is for his body games. I owe 10 okay. burpees. Yeah. 
Busted it out, man. Thank you so much for that support and all that good stuff as we head into the, the giveaway here. I do want to promote as Lyle's doing that. Um, please don't forget that on Monday, we're going to be celebrating our partnership with Inked Gaming. Super hyped for this. Uh, we just signed up with them. The announcement leaked. Um, they wrote up a really, really, really nice piece um, about us and us joining their team and uh, whew, the community and the stream and stuff like that. So on Monday, we're going to do our official announcement. We're going to be doing giveaways. We're going to have a maybe special guest from Ink Gaming coming on and talking about what Ink Gaming's about. <laughs> now I'm all burned out. <laughs> And uh, we'll be showing you off, like, we're going to have a store we're building with them. Um, we're going to get you guys some special discounts on anything across the store. Uh, so come hang out, get win some cool stuff from Inked Gaming to build your awesome uh, stuff from play mats, through dice bags, through two-player mats, war gaming mats, to board game bags, uh, to mat bags. It's great. Um, yep. And we'll gaming be showing crates, off. crates, binders for your cards. Yeah, and so that's Monday Night Stream. Stuff. Monday Night Stream. We'll be, then we'll be playing some games and uh, talking about Inked and just uh, celebrating with you guys and thanking you guys for supporting us uh, and, and helping them decide that we want to partner up with us. Aaron Air says, good deal. I have four or five Inked play mats. They are good. They're great. They're, They're great. great. They're really cool. Yeah, and I will say, um, I got my hands on whew, um, their stitched mats. Like our first ones weren't stitched, but we got some stitched ones. Oh my gosh, man. The stitch mats, it's five bucks more. You can add to any mat. And it just improves the quality of the mat dramatically. It's super cool. So there's a little spoiler there. But um, yeah, come come to the stream Monday night. Come support us uh, even more than you already do. And uh, hang out and get a chance to win some cool stuff from Inked Gaming on Monday night. And from us here at Crit Camp. It's going to be sick. It's going to be a lot yeah, of fun. It's going to be sick. And, and while we're talking about future shows... Uh, we will be starting our international Keyforge sealed series right. tomorrow, starting with France. Um, oh, France. On my Euro vacation, I went to game stores in Paris, Zurich, and Florence. Got uh, me and Chris some uh, some decks in different languages, yeah. and um, we will be kicking it off with French yeah. tomorrow. France, Inter <laughs> France based Keyforge awesomeness <laughs> for the EU man. It's going to be a lot of fun. So come hang out with us, guys. Yeah, it's going to be great. Yeah, it's going to be we, good times. We, we, we. Wee 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 wee, um, yeah. So there you go. Promo time. Hype. So because you did that, I've got to go. I've got to go, dude. I've got to go. So give us five. Give us five each, and I'll be right back. I'll, I'll literally be okay. Right I'm sorry. Uh, yeah, guys. That was um, it was, it was good, man. Playing wingspan, destroying Chris, man. Feels really good. We'll see what happens this this time around. I don't know if. I wanted to do the tuck and roll strat like I did last time so early. We'll have to see what birds I get. But uh, we'll see. I kind of like this game. I think if they do a reprint and it's it's available in July, I might pick it up and uh, introduce introduce some people over here to the game. I don't have any. Wait, do I have any engine building games? I might have Splendor in a shelf somewhere. Um did you actually play any games on vacation? No, I didn't, uh, my Jay. Uh, so my wife and I, so it was like 12, 13 days with travel um, days. And we and we only spent like two or three days in each place. And we were basically running around, seeing the sights, eating a lot of food. So there really wasn't enough. It wasn't really time to, to play games. Um, although I did see people playing games in in the stores uh, that I was. What games was did you going see? on? What were they playing? Was that? Did you see? Did you recognize anything they were playing? Um, uh, well, in uh, in France, they were playing um, Warhammer. <laughs> oh, lots of Warhammer. <laughs> yeah, they were playing Warhammer. Okay, so what we, what I changed up here, guys. So now what we know is that in this next game, now we're doing game, uh, is that we're going to be resetting the marketplace every every round. So it'll be reset four times. Okay. Um. We're starting with our five food. I've now put all the in-round goals up here and randomly shuffling them. So this will be distributed out. We nice. get our five bird cards, and we get our two well, bonuses. We'll put, yeah, you put you put the birds out in the marketplace first. Yeah, okay. I think. Oh, before we draw? Yeah. Okay, so our birds for the game. Yeah. The northern shoveler. He's, oh. he's got spatula in his name. Dude, spatula? Okay. <laughs> spatula clopedia. 
Yeah, right there. The old, the old Osprey. Oh, the, oh look at that fish, Look at, man. look how vicious he Savage, is, Savage, dude. dude. Oh, NSFW. Yeah, dude. And then uh, Rose. Yeah, yeah, Osprey, oh. not just a maker of bags. Okay. Yeah. And then uh, <laughs> rose-breasted gross breeze. Uh, we got breasts here. We got a rose breast in NSFW stream now. Yeah. Um, right there. So we got some big value birds, except for this osprey, dude. This osprey only ca uh, costs one fish, dude. Whoa, but everyone gets fish for that? That's nuts. You can kind of just dude, ramp, dude. dude. Fish, fish for fish, dude? Crazy. He, dude. he good, dude. He's hunters, dude. Hunter strat. All right. Yeah, this is a rose-breasted rose uh, gross beak is, is so value, dude. Oh. I'm going to... Shuffle these up. Okay, so round oh, one. These are really good. Round one will be eggs in uh, platform nests. Okay. With eggs in ground nests. <laughs> total birds. Oh, total birds. And eggs in bowls. Eggs in, dude, this is crazy. Eggs man. in bowls. Okay, there's our eggs round. Eggs in bowls, dude. Eggs in, on platforms, eggs on the ground, total birds, and eggs in bowls. This is going to be rough. This is going to be. <laughs> these are going to be rough, dude. Yeah, just eggs. It's egg strat game. Just egg strat game. I did egg shuffle strat. these up, guys. It does shuffle them. I just want to see that it does. So they put this one out. It's different. If I do this, shuffle, shuffle, shuffle. It's different. See? So that was random. If anyone's yeah. like, that wasn't random. Chris sucks at shuffling. Okay. So we each get two cards. Two bonuses and five birds. Okay. And then uh, let's shuffle these and let's get five birds. And we each, you know, you gave us five, uh, one of each yep. food. One of each food. All right, which one do I want? And then I went first last game. Because you won, do I get to go first this game? Uh, Yeah, I guess so. Hmm. Which one do I want here, man? Interesting. Huh. Which one do I want here? I'm going to discard this. I'm going to discard this catered breeding manager this. OK. All right. And now, oh, yeah, yeah, we, we decide which ones we want to keep. Got it. Got it. Got it. Yeah. Hmm. Wow. Hmm. That's cool. Oh. Oh, interesting. Interesting. OK. Interesting. Interesting. <laughs> <laughs> We're just reading about the birds, guys. Ah, oh, yeah, yes, I've heard about this yeah, bird. Yeah, I've, yeah. I've read about this bird. Yeah, I like I like these oh, birds. I'm discarding that. I like these birds a lot. All right, I'm going to. Ooh, oh, interesting. Good, now I'm going to ditch this one too. I'm, I'm probably doing ditch, this completely I'm wrong. Ditching, uh, I'm ditching that guy. So I got to get rid of some food. I got to get rid of um, three food, I guess. You get rid of, for as many that you keep, you get rid of. Actually, I'm going to toss this one, too. So I'm going to get rid of two. Yeah, I'm going to toss this guy. So I'll get rid of one. I'm going to toss this guy, too. And... I'm gonna, I have to toss two food. Oh, wrong bag. There we go. I'm gonna toss. Okay. I'm gonna toss berry. Strat time. Time to get stratted. And I'm going to toss a fish. Okay. It's game time. So who goes first then? How do we determine? I mean, I went, I went. But you went first last time, but I won. Yeah. So do I get to go first because I lost? I mean, we can do it that way. I mean, whatever. We can just roll the dice, dude. Uh, don't, don't matter by me, man. Let's roll a die. You want, me, you want me to just get a dice? Yeah, let's toss a dice out here. Let's toss a dice. Let's keep it random. There it is. Okay, here we go. Five. Six. Oh, Yolo. with a crit win. Oh, we, uh, we haven't been giving crits out, man. What, what should be a crit? Uh, I don't know. Can you play a bird? No. When you play a bird. Yeah, we could maybe do that. When you play a bird, you get a crit. Every bird's okay. worth a crit. That would be good. Bird crits. All, All right, right, so you're first, on. dude. I'm first. I want to see what I want to do here. 
Yeah, I'm gonna play a bird. Oh, obviously. we didn't we didn't shuffle these. Okay, we gotta throw these up. Right, I'm gonna play a bird. There's your uh, I'm gonna play. I'm gonna play this northern harrier. Um, northern harriers fly low over marshes and grasslands seeking prey. Oh. Yeah, dude. Uh, and then I'm gonna play a mouse. You can. Predator. What are you playing? Oh, because you gotta pay a mouse. Right, 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 right. A mouse here, and then uh, when activated, he's a predator. Yeah, predator. When activated, I look at a card from the deck. If it's less than seventy-five centimeters, tuck it under these cards. Yeah, dude, these are the killers. Not discard it, dude. Predator strat, you're going for. Okay. Yeah, Yo, preds. Pred strat. Yo, Nash Nashville preds. Okay. okay. Um, let's see, let's see. Ooh, and you're going for your little egg land, but huh? I think I'm gonna play a bird as well. I'm gonna build a bird, build a bird warehouse. Build a bird warehouse, yeah. Uh, <laughs> eat that bird. <laughs> <laughs> Interesting. All right, so I should, I should. How many crits should I give the people for for a bird okay. play? Uh, one crit, one crit per bird, man. One crit. Every bird's worth a crit. All right, I think. I think I want to do this. Yeah, starbirds are. Starbirds are good, dude. And then, do I do this? Yeah. Okay. So I'm gonna play. I'm gonna play a bird. I'm gonna play a bird as well. I'll be bringing out the Canadian goose to the to the water. Um, so I'll be sacking uh, one grain and sacking two food here for him to make the other grain. Okay. Uh, the Canadian goose, Lyle. The Canada goose. The yep. oldest known wild Canada goose was at least 33 years old. Did you know that? There's some nice, bird points. Nice, dude. Bird crits bird. for the people. No. It's your turn. Bird crits for the people. And when activated, you discard one wheat to tuck two cards from the deck behind this bird. Um. It's Lyle's turn. Lyle's turn. I do, dude. You know what? I'm going to, uh, I'm going to draw a card, dude. I'm going to draw this. I want this Osprey, dude. Takes the Osprey. Okay. Yeah, I want the Osprey. And then, so look at a card from the deck. If it's less than 75 centimeters, I, I tuck it under. Yep. Wild Swing. Oh, it's discarded, dude. Yep. He's huge. It gets discarded. He's the great blue heron. I think you get to look at this secretly before you discard it, so I don't get to see your tuck. You know what I mean? You kind of get a look. Oh, okay. Yeah. So, gets discarded, no points for you. All right, my turn. Yeah. <laughs> Goose horn. <laughs> Goose horn. <laughs> uh, quack. <laughs> um. Uh. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> So stupid. <laughs> oh, you didn't refill. <laughs> oh, no, no, we toss, we toss the whole thing. Right? No, it's at the end of the round. Oh, end of the round, dude. Mallards and ducks for days here, dude. Uh, so we just got a mallard uh, added to the pile here. Just straight up pleb mallard, dude. Yeah, pleb mallard. He's pretty good though. Um, I think gonna... zero victory points, man. All right, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna draw cards, and I'm gonna take this rose breast goose beak. Yeah, Gross he's he, he pretty good, dude. And uh, I can't activate my thing because I don't have any um, wheat. So, over to you. Oh, what does he do? Discard, oh, discard a wheat to tuck. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Your turn. All right. We got a spotted tohi added here. <gasps> Your turn. Yep, yep. I'm going to... Uh... Value, value. Yeah, I'm going to play a bird, dude. Enjoy, Jonesy. Enjoy EuroCamp today. Dude, tomorrow will be more EuroCamp as we start the uh, Crit Camp Euro Keyforge Tour with France yep. tomorrow night. Tomorrow for the day stream. French sealed Keyforge. It's going to be good. Playing a bird. I'm playing a bird. Playing the the Baird Sparrow. Baird. I play a, a worm and a wheat. Yeah. Orange. Tell us and, about um, the sparrow before that. 
Spencer Baird was the first curator of the Smithsonian, dude. Ah, yeah. didn't know that Spencer was part of that. Yeah, dude, Spencer no. Spencer was definitely part of that, dude. Wow, that's impressive, Spence. Good job. All right, my turn then. Um, I will be gaining food. Oh, so I get this token, actually. I was the first player. Oh, yeah, you're first player. So I'll be yeah. gaining food. I will gain a wheat. And it's your turn. All right. I will be... Hmm. Oh. 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 I'm going to save my I think I'm going to... I think I'm going to draw some cards. I was going to draw cards. Okay. Um, what do I want here? Do I want one of these guys? <laughs> We're trying, Session. <laughs> if you're a bird master, we suck at these card names. It's like <laughs> reading bird names is like reading Pokemon names. Oh, look, I caught a Tohi. <laughs> I can say Mallard, though. Mallard. You're drawing bird cards. Lyle's chosen to draw bird cards. Yeah, I'm going to get this Mallard, dude. And then this guy, this Northern Harrier, I get to look at the card. Yep. Just you can just. I mean, I'll just. I'll, it doesn't matter. I'll just let you see it. <laughs> okay, he's dead. Uh, yeah. So he tucks. Gets tucked on. So what are we saying? We can. Uh, we can, can do, do that. that and just stack it on. Yeah. Oh, cool. That way you can keep it hidden because that's supposed to be like if we know the bird cards, you're kind of removing them from the, the pile. If I'm digging for some combo, you can kill. Oh, uh, Zeshin meant Euro language key forge cards. <laughs> yes. Oh, yeah, yeah. Now, well, <laughs> what's going to happen is we'll register the name, which will be in the other language, but I think once it's in our English Master Vault, the card names will transfer to English, hopefully. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay, we got the Purple Martin. Tuck a card from your hand behind this bird if you do draw one. Okay, we got the, tucks, the tuck and roll. The old tuck and roll, dude. The old tuck and roll. Um, Purple Martin. Okay, so I'm going to... Uh, what do I want to do, bro? Mm-hmm. Uh, <laughs> uh, uh, I'm going to gain food. Your turn. So slow right now, man. Dude, it's a slow... We don't have our engines anymore. Now we're all minutes slow. We don't have slow. engines, dude. You're playing birds. I'm gaining food. It's your turn. Have to gain, uh, to gain go. food, man. Play just by the card art, says Maje. You do that with Magic the Gathering. That's awesome. Okay, gained. I gained food. So okay. stupid. Yes, you did. Your, your turn. <laughs> I will also gain food. I gained a worm. Your turn. Worm. Um, uh, I will. I'm also going to gain food. I'm going to reroll everything here. That's right. We have tons of actions, but they're all small. You know, that's kind of how this ramps yeah. up, right? All right. I'll grab a fish. Oh, he's going pret. Pred strat. I can see it. I can see it now. All right. I'm going to play a bird. I will play, pay this food cost, berry and a worm. And I will be playing the rose best breasted gross oh it's coming out to dude. the forest dude and did you know lyle that the rose breasted gross beak uh, was a pr is a pretty sweet sounding bird that has the gruesome nickname cutthroat <laughs> oh, you have failed this city this is the water dancer right here water dancer all right dude i think you got you got a good you're gonna get a good engine going here we go rose breasted gross beak your turn all right i'm going to uh I need to lay eggs, dude. Did you get people crits for that? Oh, no, no, I didn't. You got the bird crits. Got to get the people. No. The bird. All right, so I got to lay eggs. I'm going to get two eggs here. Let's do one on each. Okay. Well, and then uh, this guy, roll. I can lay one egg on any bird. Yep. Uh, and I'm going to lay an egg on uh, this guy over here. Dude, you're getting eggs already, man. Yeah, I, dude. It's all about egg, dude. The egg ramp. Um, Egg, Eglin's best, dude. Eglin's best. <laughs> All right, so I'm going to gain food. Um, and I'm going to gain... 
Oof. This kind of messes with me, huh? Hmm. I guess I'm gonna just gain... I'll take this fish. And then... Ah. Oh. That kind of kills me there. Actually, maybe I won't do this. Hmm. Not gonna gain food yet. Should I gain food? It's up to you, man. It's not really helping me right now. Yeah. Dang it. Ah, man, I'm kind of in a spot, but I'll gain food. Let's gain a worm. Okay. I don't activate because there's no berries or wheat in the in the pot. All right, I'm gonna play uh, play a, play a bird. Oh, put the fish dice back. Thank you. Sorry. Yeah, Osprey's coming out. I'm gonna play Ooh. a fish and an egg. Wow. And so the Osprey are excellent hunters catching a fish in at least one out of every four dives. Damn, that's what's 25% kill rate, dude? Yo, 25% kill kill <laughs> rate? 25% K to D ratio? <laughs> that's a crit. Bird crits. Oh, and then, um, oh, yeah, so that's, that's the play. Yep. I messed up my, uh, my shot here. For chat. Messed up the shot. This is what happens when you hit the wrong button. All right. Fixed it. You're up, dude. Um, okay. Okay. All right, dude. All right, dude. Relax, dude. Um, dude, I'm not going to get that at all, am I? I think I'm just going to... Let's see here. Uh, I don't know what I want to do, man. Actually, I need to be able to see up here. Stop, right? man. Stop. I'm in the tank. I'm in the tank, guys. Mm-hmm. I'm in the bird tank. Um, gotta think of this marketplace, man. Yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna gain draw bird cards. I'm gonna take this uh, Tauhi. Okay. Uh, and then you can uh, no, I don't discard a wheat. Oh, no, you don't have wheat. I don't have wheat. Okay. All right, end of round. So we, we uh, discard the marketplace, dude. We what? We discard the marketplace. Discard this. So this gets tossed. We put... Who's uh, who's got the most? Check the end of round goals. Eggs on platform nests. I think you... I got them, dude. You're on the only one that has... Harrier. Yep. So you get it. I don't even have a platform nest at bird... So you got it there. I don't have any, so I get zero again. Oh, I'm just bad with these round goals, man. You're nuts with the round goals, dude. You just have to take advantage if you know you can do it. That's, I know. I knew you all. were. I knew you were. Like, I'm not going to go completely out of my way. Uh, you, you know, it it's fine. You know, if you want to go completely out of your way, that's cool. All right. And then we'll... Build all right. What's the market. next round goal? Eggs in uh, eggs. Eggs. <laughs> eggs on the ground. Eggs on birds with eggs on the ground. Eggs on the ground. Eggs on the ground. Eggs on the ground. Egg, eggs on the ground. Eggs on the ground. Egg, All right, so we got three new birds in the market. Cedar, Cedar Waxwing. Wax I kind of like that name, dude. I am Cedar Waxwing. Uh, California Quail. We've seen this guy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And the California Condor. Looks like a monkey. Look, he doesn't even eat anything, dude. Oh, he just comes out. What does this mean? You can just play him? You get to recycle your bonus cards or get more. Yeah, you just play him out. Draw two new bonus. Wait, so, but, like, he doesn't eat anything? Like, nope. you don't have to pay any food to play dude, him? Condors don't eat food, dude. They just eat souls. Souls, dude. He eats souls. <laughs> he's eating souls, bro. Yeah. yeah, he's a soul eater. Okay. He's got a soul, soul, soul to steal, dude. Soul coughing. Soul coughing. All right, you're <laughs> up, dude. All right, I'm up. I'm up first this round. Soul coughing, dude. <laughs> um, I'm going to play a bird. And I'm going to play a bird to my prairie. Now, this bird is the Spotted Tohi, and he's going to cost yep. one one worm. Spotted Tohi. Doesn't get me any bird points, but when activated, I gain one from the supply. Ah. 
It's pretty good. That's pretty good. Game I'll one, give you. I'll give people that crits is. for this. For yep. this bird. Bird here. crits. Crit. Bird your crits. Turn, your turn. Uh, I'm gonna. I'm gonna. I'm gonna draw some. Draw some bird cards, dude. I'm gonna grab. Uh, I'm gonna grab the condor, dude. Dude, I'm you're gonna, gonna take him. the soul coffer. Okay, you're gonna I'm take gonna the soul. Take, yeah. And then I'm gonna grab. Uh, Quail's nice, dude. The quail is nice. I'm gonna, I'm gonna wild swing here. Wild swing. Okay, then he goes right. down the line with the osprey. We the all osprey, get a fish. All players gain one fish. Everybody get fished. Yeah, everybody get fished right now. And then uh, look at the card from the deck. Try to kill a bird, dude. I killed the bird, dude. Boom, he's dead. Ah. <sighs> Dude, that Osprey kill or this Northern Harrier is just killing killing birds. Dude, he's a he's a killer, dude. Killer queen. He's a killer, dude. Killer. All right. So what am I gonna do? That's your board. Where's my board? Um. Mm. That's right, Maja. You know it. Okay. So I'm just going to lay eggs. I get to lay two eggs. Right. What's our in round? Birds that lay crap on the ground. Yeah. <laughs> like crap on the ground. <laughs> lay crap on the ground. Birds that crap on the ground. I don't think you have birds. Oh, you have one bird that craps on the ground. Yeah. All right, I got two birds that crap on the ground, dude. Okay. And then when activate, I gain one from the supply. Whoop. Your turn, dude. Um. I'm going to. Nice, my Jay. Yeah, we need bird emotes. We have to design one out of our bear, <laughs> bear birds. This, this is our life now. This is what yeah. we have to. This is it. This is what we're left with. Twitch. Yeah, I mean, you know, I'm gonna play a. Bird oh, we didn't game. refresh the. Uh, you didn't refresh the thing here. Oh, 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 oh! Well, I well, hold this. on, dude. I won't play a bird. Hold on, hold on a sec. Hey, man, that was your refresh. <laughs> I, was like, I like oh. him, dude. I like him a lot. Fish cycle. Fish cycle. He's pretty good, dude. And Higa. I want and him now. Higa. I want to like start getting some going off over here. You know what? No, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, dude. I'm gonna draw bird cards, dude. I'm gonna grab this guy. He's good. He good. Then I'm going to wild swing. Okay. Wild swings. Okay. Can we all get a fish? Oh, okay. Okay. Interesting. Interesting. Okay. Can we all get a fish? And then you get to see if you kill something. Oh, yeah, yeah. I, I get a fish. You're right. I already took mine. All right. And then, yeah, let's see. Killer. No way, dude. 142. Okay, no. Nope. Ferocious hawk. Can't kill that. That thing's a killer. I can't kill that, dude. The Harrier was like, nah. He's like, I can't kill that. No way. Yeah. Nobody kills those. All right, man. All right, that's it. So then I put uh, this guy out. A woodpecker, dude. Woodpecker? Oh, woodpecker's out, huh? Oh, the red-headed woodpecker. Pretty good, dude. No. Oh, you may cash it on this card. You don't have to cash it on this card. Yeah. He's expensive though, man. He's a expensive bird. He's a spendy yeah, butt. He is a he is a spendy bird. Right <laughs> I don't now, know if dude. I can. Ah, that's too. That bird too rich for my blood, dude. Yeah, too rich, dude. <laughs> too that rich. Bird, too rich for my blood. Um. Okay. 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 All right. So I'm gonna play a bird. I'm going to play a bird, and I'm going to play uh, one wheat and two fish to play out the horned lark to my field. Oh, so if I play any pasture birds. Pasture birds yeah. and tuck a card from my hand. Yeah. But uh, I go down here. I gain one from the supply. Oh, no, I don't. That was play a bird. Oh, he also costs an egg. So yep. I'll toss one egg. That sucks, but whatever. Getting my birds out. Your turn. 
Okay. I don't okay. activate. You don't activate on the play. Oh, man. What do I want to do right here? Dude, you have to make choices, man. You've got so many choices. Dude, I have a lot of choices right now, dude. I think you should play a bird to the prairie. I don't <laughs> well, think no, I'm going to play thing. a bird to the prairie, dude. That's not. It's not really not what I want I'm you to do right, right now. now, to be honest. That's not what that's I want you to do. That's not where I'm at right now. That's what I don't want. I'm going to. It's not your life right now. I know what I'm doing next round. Okay. I'm playing. I'm playing a bird, dude. You're going to play a bird? You're going to play a bird. Oh, did you get bird crits for my horned lark? Which, by the way, horned larks form large nomadic flocks mixing with other bird species. I didn't know if you knew that, Lyle. Oh, nice, dude. Yeah, I didn't know if you knew that. So I, get, so I gave you a crit for yours and mine. No. Oh, here comes right, the, the soul eater. The condor coming out, dude. Tell, me, tell us and about uh, the soul eater monkey bird. <laughs> soul eater monkey bird. There were just 22 of these scavengers alive in the 1980s, but now there are over 200, dude. Wow, that's a lot of soul coffers, dude. Yo, caca! No. Okay. Birds have been bought. All right, I think I'm gonna, I'm gonna lay some eggs, dude. I'm gonna lay three eggs. I'm gonna lay an egg on my horned bro, my goose, and I'll throw one up here too. On my rose bested gross beak. Uh, then we go down the line. Go down the line. Uh, that's a between turns, and then I gain one uh, wheat. Gain one wheat. Your turn. Oh, I didn't resolve the bonuses part. Sorry. Oh, when I played, you draw two new bonus new. cards. Yeah, you, keep. you get to so, you get to eat souls, dude. Burbs. Soul, soul coughing. Hold soul on. coughing. Dude, this bird is huge. Two hundred seventy-seven centimeters. Yeah. What's that in inches, chat? Go. One wheat. Uh, Will Wheaton. That is interesting. Monkey bird. Monkey bird. Monkey bird. Wow. Um. Well, is in the tank choosing what to do with his monkey bird. I'm going to get rid of this one. He's not an but... ologist or whatever. All right, so it's my turn. Uh, yeah, because you just, yeah, you were just doing that to finish your turn, yeah, and then yeah, I yeah. laid eggs. Now it's your turn, yeah, because you have four tokens. Got it, got Oologist. it. Got it. Uh, well, that's a that's a reacher, huh? Uh, that's a reacher of a bonus. It's 110 inches or about that, says it's called you. That's pretty good. What's that in feet? I'm gonna play a bird, dude. Five. Ten feet. Play a bird. Ten. Play this boy. Wow, that's almost ten so, foot wingspan. That's nuts. So I rock an egg. Like nine and, and a half fish. feet wing, wingspan. Oh, you played a bird? Played a yeah. bird. Played a bird. What'd you play? I played this uh this Oh yeah. And Hinga. So this bird is called Snake Bird. It swims with only its head and neck above the water, dude. Ooh. What? Scary. Crazy. Snake bird. Snake bird. No. All right, my turn. Hmm. Okay, so I'm going to... Um, hmm. Oh. Okay, so I am going to then draw bird cards, dude. Bird card draw. I get one bird card. What do I want, though? I see what you're going for, dude. You're going for most birds in round three. <laughs> Is that what I'm doing? Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Um. Hmm. Oh, I don't know if I like these birds, dude. Like, what am I going to do with that? Like, what, what, what even? What even do with that? I think I'm going to wild swing. I think I'm going to wild swing, dude. I'm going to wild swing for my bird. Do I want to pay an egg as well to wild swing? Um, I might... Do I pay an egg to get one more bird? What are you, what are you deciding? To pay an egg on a bird. Because I can, because I'm right now I'm doing, I'm gaining food, or no, I'm, uh, I can pay an egg. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I can right, pay an egg yeah. to get another card. Do I care about getting another card? You know what? I'm going to do it right now. Uh, I'm going to sack this egg. 
to draw another one, random card. Interesting. Ooh, no. Savage card. Okay, so then what I can do is I can activate my goose. So I'll do that, meaning I'll pay one wheat. Mm -hmm. And I can discard one wheat to tuck two cards from the deck beneath this board. board. So then I just tuck these two bad boys under there. I could look at them, I guess. Right? Yeah, you could look at them. Take those two. Just see if I'm sad or not, you know. Okay. So then I'm going to tuck these under my bro here. And it's your turn. See, if we do that, we can't do our stack look. We're going to have to pull the cards off to look at our stacks at the score. Yeah. That's the only reason we'd like to keep them face up. I am going to... Let's gain food, man. I need, I need food. I was going to get some food, dude. Um... No, 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 no. Do I want no, to no, do no, that, no, no. man? No, no, no. What's loud? What do I want to do? Hmm. This is hard, man. It could be hard. Be hard living this life, you know. Living this hard. It's hard living life. this life, dude. That hard bird watching life. It is. It is a hard bird watching life. You know. That's 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 for damn sure. Yeah. Um. No, I am gonna gain food. No, I'm not. Damn it. What are you gonna do, Lyle? Lyle's in the tank. I'm in the tank. Lyle's quickly falling into the tank again. No, I'm gonna. I'm gonna. I'm actually gonna draw some cards, dude. All right. I'm going to decide to... Man, I like that guy, dude. I like him, too. Let's get in on these birds here so that people in chat can see kind of what's going on here. When I zoom in here, yeah, you like that, guys? Uh, I'm going to grab... Are you gonna take this I'm going to grab this guy, Ooh. and I'm going to wild swing. Woodpecker wild swing. Yep. Oh. That's interesting. That's interesting. All right, now I can uh, roll all dice uh, not in the feeder. Roll all dice not in the bird feeder. See if you get any fishes. Yep. Nope. No fish life. That's a miss. Uh, all players gain one fish. Get a fish. Then I uh, wild swing here, see if I kill something. And I do. Got him. Got him. Got him, dude. All right. All right. You're getting things going over there, man. You got things going on. I got things going on, dude. You got it going on. So with this Canada Goose, when it says discard one wheat, I guess you can only, when you play a bird, cash two to get one, right? It can't cash, like if I had two other things and no wheat, like I can't cash two to make it a wheat for my activation ability. I don't know. No, think. you have to discard you have an to actual discard wheat. wheat. Yeah. I actually have to discard a wheat. Um, hmm. hmm. Let's see. Uh huh. Uh huh. Uh huh. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Yeah. I guess I'm just going to lay some eggs, man. I'm going to lay some eggs. Okay. I'm going to lay three eggs. Put an egg there. Put an egg there. Put an egg there. And then I'll gain one from the supply. Chink. Okay. All right. I am going to... Lyle's turn. Back in the tank. Back in the tank. I'm like, blam, 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 blam. Yep, yep, yep. Back in the tank. Back in the tank again. Hmm. What are you gonna do in the tank, Lyle? Dude, I, I'm going crazy, dude. I'm gonna, I'm gonna, but this got uh, replaced. Yeah. Um, I'm gonna draw some more cards, dude. Oh, a raven. Yeah. Oh. All right. So discard one egg from your other birds. Gain two. 
from the supply. Wow. I think you want that. I think you want that real bad. And because of that, I think I'm going to take it. Why would I want that, dude? Why would you take that? And then I'm going <laughs> to wild swing one. Hate draft. Hate drafting. Hate drafting. Okay. Okay. And now I uh, roll some dice. Roll all dice. Roll them bird dice. Yo, fishies oh, all day. Got a fish. Cash it, I, dude. Uh, you cash gain it on one me. and cash it on this card. You gain one and cash it? Oh, my God. That's no, nuts, no, no. Dude. I think it's gain one and cash it. Yeah. No, you gain one and cash it on this card. Yeah. So you, you just gain one and cash. Yeah. All right. Cash and it. then I uh, I gain a fish. So we all do. And then I see if I kill something. Uh, I don't. Because that guy, <laughs> that that guy, guy is nutso. way too big, dude. Yeah, he's nuts. He's nuts. And refresh it. Refresh. Okay, man. What do we got? Oh, the grackle, dude. Oh, I hate grackles, dude. Dude, so many grackles up in, in they Austin, They messed up Texas, my brain. Dude, so many grackles in New York. These things are nasty at yeah. Westchester. They bully other birds, and they make a mess of your bird feeder. Oh, they're so annoying. They're gross. I hate grackle, freaking dude. grackles. Crackle's Crackle worst dude. bird. Although they got a cool shiny coat, but they're awful birds. Yeah, snap, crackle, pop, dude. Awful birds, dude. Um, mm, 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 mm. I don't know what I'm doing in this game, man. This is mm, this is very interesting. Mm, I think, dude, I don't want to do that. What do you have over here? What are you doing? Okay, what's our end goal here? We got eggs on the ground, eggs on the ground, eggs on the ground. Yeah, Ooh. eggs on the ground, dude. Okay, I think I've got eggs on the ground on lock. So I'm not too worried about eggs on the ground, eggs on the ground. Uh, that is just not benefiting me right now because you're being a butt. So I think I'm going to draw a card. You stole that card from me. You suck, dude. You suck. But this grackle... Yeah, this grackle, though. This grackle, though. Okay, so mm -hmm. I'm going to, I guess, draw bird cards. I'm going to draw bird cards. I'm going to take this grackle. Uh, and then I'm going to discard my wheat. Mm -hmm. And tuck two cards. I want to see what these were. Did my wild swing? Was I stupid? Might have been a little stupid. Oh, that's crazy. Crazy abilities. Crazy abilities here. <laughs> Just something new. Just something new. Whoop. Just sit over here, duck. Or goose. All right, man. I cash two under there. Or tucked. All right, your turn. Your last action for this round, dude. Last action. Last action hero. I think I'm going to... What do I want to do here, man? <laughs> Draw bird cards? <laughs> <laughs> That's like your strat now. It's just Draw bird cards. Hope you get fish. Kill a thing. Yeah, I'm going to draw bird cards. <laughs> Let's refresh this thing. Weird. Ooh. Yeah. Painted bunting. That's beautiful. Is there a hand size limit? I don't know. I hope no, there's not. no hand size limit. There's okay, no I hand size say, limit. I certainly hope not. Uh, I know that from the other night, and also that there's a bonus card that says if you have eight or more cards, you get a certain. So you can just can stack your hand with cards. I am going to. I'm going to do wild swing. Give me, cards. give me them fishies, boys. <laughs> Okay, He's, uh, you got your two cards, okay. Okay, now I'm going to roll these dice right here. Yep, hope for fish. Hope for fish. Oh, rats. Oh, rats, dude. Rats. We both get a fish. And if we get a fishy. Dude, so many fish. <laughs> yep. And then try to kill a thing. Fail. Dude, why can't I kill anything, man? You, could, can't, you can't eat a cormorant. Right, that's the end of the round. We uh, discard these. End of round. Okay. You are first place on eggs on the ground. Yeah, who's got the most eggs place. on the ground? Eggs on the ground. I've got the most eggs on eggs on the ground. I've got three. You got two, yeah. right? Yeah. Sweet. So I actually won in round thing. Yeah, man. Woo. Everybody gets one, Lyle. Everybody gets one. Okay. New market. Oh, a bunch of little what birds. We got? What we got? What we got? Bronzed cowbird. Oh, when another player takes the lay eggs action. One this bird lays bird. an egg on another bird. With yeah, baby. Bowls. Do you have any bull birds? I don't think you have any bull birds. Oh, no, I don't have any bull birds. Dude. Yeah, you're going to have to get bull birds. Yeah. When played, gain three from the supply. What? Fish, dude. 
Who's first? Oh, you are. Suck. Oh, dude. What is oh, here's happening? Here's that bittern dude? again. Here's that bittern. It has the oh, water. Gosh, dude. Ooh, do I, I like draw some cards right now? Do I draw? Do I draw? <laughs> All you do is draw cards, dude. All, All right, you no, no, no. Do is draw I'm cards. going to. Uh... Hmm. Okay, then. Oh, a new round goal for chat is total number of birds, dude. Total number of birds. We're tied right now, right? No, no. You have one more bird than me. You have five birds. I have four okay. birds. Yeah, no, I'm going to play a bird. I just, I just need to know which bird I'm going to play. I have, I have so many options here. I don't know where um, i do it. Mm. No, don't want to do that one. That one's pretty good. Mm, 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 mm. Hmm. Hmm. Actually, this guy is pretty good. Yeah. At least drown, at least drown cards can be exchanged for one food. What, what do you mean by that, Iskaldu? The drown, the drown god. You mean tucked? What do you mean you can you can exchange cards for one food? Is that a rule? You can discard yeah, what? cards. What 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 action would that be? Because you only have four actions in the in the game. Drown? No, you can't do that. Second on the food line. What? Second option on food line. Oh oh, I see. If you have the second thing unlocked, he's saying. You oh can, yeah, yeah, yeah 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 yeah. Okay yeah 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 yeah. You're right. The bottom portion there. Okay. Yeah, I'm going to yeah. play a bird. Totally. I man. just don't know which. Sorry, I misunderstood what you were saying. <laughs> okay. Yeah. I'm going to play a bird. Here comes a bird. Here comes some crits. All right, boom. Here's a bird. Here's my boy. Here's my boy, Blue Jay. Yeah, it was my boy, Blue Jay. All right, so I'm going to use two fish for a wheat. And then I'm going to. And then I can do one of anything. So that's going to be a fish. And I have to play an egg. Tell us about the Blue Jay, dude. That's it, and I'm going to give... Uh... We don't know anything about Blue Jays, though. You can't just play a Blue Jay and not tell us what this thing is. Yeah, this Blue Jay... Uh, hold on. Blue Jays can carry up to five acorns and will store hundreds for winter. Whoa. Yo, pack rats. No. He fits five acorns inside of himself, huh? That's pretty nuts. Yeah, dude. Those things aren't very big. Um, he took my blue jay, man. That's savage. That's straight savage. Savage, dude. savage. That's straight savage right now. Um, I think I'm gonna draw. Oof, how do I want to do this? Play a bird? Do I draw a bird? Um. Hmm. Hmm. I hate that I can't get this going. I know this is this is this okay. is hard, dude. I need to gain food. I'm gonna gain food. Is what's gonna happen. All right. And this is how I'm doing it. I'm gonna gain one of these stupid food I don't need. Take this. <laughs> you get yourself fish, dude. A fish. <laughs> and then I'm gonna discard a card. I'm gonna discard my purple Galaloon one to draw oh, yeah, another this, food. That's pretty, dude. But because they're the same, I'm gonna return these in here. And re-roll yep. them. Nice. Yo, grab that fish, dude. Um, <laughs> yeah, that's exactly what I need. <laughs> uh, and I'm actually going to gain a wheat for my food. And then I'm going to go down the line here. And down the line says I can gain one wheat or berries from the bird feeder if there is one. Um, I think I'm just going to stash my wheat, dude. Give me a wheat. All right. Wheat, wheat, wheat. Do I want the wheat? Yeah. Okay. I'm good. Your turn. Wait, do we go new round? Oh, no. that Your first turn took forever. I see. Okay. So now it's your second turn. <laughs> oh, so wait. Did I go first or it's would your you turn? First? What up, Keyforge Jupiter says, what is this? This game is called Wingspan. Wingspan from Stonemeyer Games. It's, it's a great, beautiful engine builder. Just came out a little bit ago. Take the wheat tokens, Chris. What? I didn't yeah, take I the gave, wheat. I gave them to you. Oh, I you, took the you dice. Took the wheat dice, but you I took the white the dice. Yeah yeah, 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 yeah. So we're using an unofficial mod for it, though, Keyforge. But yeah, this is Wingspan. If you're into nice yeah. engine builders and bird themes with bird uh, facts, what do I want to do, I'm man? Learning all about the birds today. We're still getting good, though. We're still getting good. So, 
If you have any questions, though, don't feel free to ask, for sure. It's Lyle's turn. Four actions. Yep, 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 yep. Just give me a sec. Give me a sec. We have to wait for what Lyle's going to do. Let's see what birds we have up here in the... Uh... All right, yeah, I'm going to gain some food, dude. Lyle's just going to go food, dude. Yeah, we're going to grab this mouse. Takes a rat. And we're going to grab this cherry. Berries, okay. Cherry berries. All right. Yep. And then this guy is gain uh, gain one wheat if available. There is no wheat available though. I took so. that, dude. No no wheaten in there. I know you took all the wheat. And then your soul eater doesn't do anything. So get yeah. wrecked. There bro. is a there is a solo variant, uh, Eric. Yes, it's right here. Ataman Atarama, right here. Yeah. And is um, it good, I, Eric? Yeah. Says. This is only my second mm -hmm. game I've ever played, so I've never played. Yeah, this we solo. don't know if the solo mode's good. Uh, I see people on Board Game Geek have said they dig the solo mode. Um, when Lyle and I have to do a solo stream one day, I might do like the Automa, or maybe Lyle will. And you kind of just play against the thing. They actually have a whole appendix down here for the Automa rules, Eric. So uh, there's a whole separate rule book in the box when you buy Wingspan um, rule book right here uh, that has all the single player rules in it for sure. Okay, um, it's my turn, huh? Where mm -hmm. am I in this idea? Um, that's not going to help me with anything. Ugh. Let's see. I kind of want to do that. Um, dude, I'm gonna I'm gonna go hard, dude. I'm gonna I'm gonna draw birds. Okay. Draw bird cards. So I'm going to draw one, and then I can pay an egg to draw another one. But I'm definitely taking this American Goldfinch. Uh, I'm not going to pay to gain any more birds. I've got enough birds right now. Maybe I should. Maybe paying eggs for birds at this moment is not a bad idea. What's our end goal? Most birds. Most birds. Um, I'm going to sack an egg and draw another card. Okay. Um... <laughs> like, do I just go random swing or do I want this American bittern? <laughs> just, 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 it's like so stupid looking. I don't know if I want this thing in my in my village, if you will. Yeah. Um, I've been getting so many fish from you, though, that it's like easy plays for days. And then later on, we want bull birds, right? Later on, we need some bull birds going on here. All right. Bull birds. Bull birds. Um, I think I will take this bittern. Ugh, I don't really want this bittern, but he's coming. He's coming to the camp. <laughs> he's coming to the camp. All right. And because uh, I have my Canadian goose, I can discard uh, one to tuck two cards behind this bird uh, from the deck, not my hand. So I'm going to discard one wheat. And then these two cards come to my hand. Uh, and get tucked, so I don't even get to keep them. Savage. Oh, man. That sucks. <laughs> it sucks yeah. seeing these to tuck and not being able to grab them. Right. I'm like, oh, I would much dude, rather have Dude, your tuck game is, is real good, dude. I should have just wild swinged that. Yeah. Oh, God. Okay, your turn. All right, I'm going to... Oh, did I not I'm put gonna, my token? I'm going to gain food, dude. Did I put my token? What? Yeah. I, we should both be at three actions left, right? Yeah. Okay. You're gaining food? Okay. Are you going to take that fish, dude? <laughs> All right. I'm going to I'm gonna, I'm gonna choose to re-roll this, dude. I'm down two birds? Oh, crap. I am down two birds, aren't I? All right. I'm going no to worries. grab... No worries, my jay. When my blue jay lets me grab a wheat, right? All right. I'm going to grab a... Right. I think I'm going to grab a wheat. Oh, do I want to get another one of these? You're right, Maijai. That's right. He's got six birds to my four. He's going to go for first place up there? I don't know. We'll see. I'm going to grab a wheat. Whoops. Oh, he almost pulled a Chris. Yeah. And a worm. Worm. Oh, almost, pulled that. almost pulled a Chris again. Wheat and a worm. And then my blue jay lets me gain a wheat from the bird feeder. And cash it on him. Cash or you it. may cash it on this card. So you don't have to. But you can't. Oh, I can, I can. I can put it in my supply. You can put it in your supply. It says gain dude, one. I'll take, I will take it onto my supply, dude. But you could cash it if you want. And this guy does nothing. Yeah. Right, my turn. Uh, yeah. Okay, I'm gonna play a bird. Um, I'm gonna play out. 
my American Goldfinch to right here. So I have to pay two wheat to do that. So there's one wheat and then two fish for the other wheat. Uh, by the way, the American Goldfinch. Goldfinches breed late after the milkweed and thistle have gone to seed, Lyle. I don't know if you knew mm. that. Got it. Yeah, just so you know. And then uh, because I played that there, I have to also pay an egg. No. So I'll pay his egg. Splat. Um, and then I get three for when played. Gain three from the supply. One. Wow, two, dude. Three wheat. Will. Dude, wheat. that was good. All right, your turn, dude. Um, I'm going to... All right, dude. Nice. I got to lay some eggs, dude. Yes. Each card tucked under are, is a point per card. So eggs are a point per egg. As you can see, eggs that are stashed on our birds. Uh, tucked cards are worth a point. Cached food, which you see here. Cached food just means placing food on a card is worth one point at the end of the game. You can see our crappy scoreboard up here, but these are all the things that are worth points. Yeah. So it says amount of cards and one point each section here. So eggs, food on cards, and tucked cards are all worth one point. And the amount of cards, bird card. Each bird has a value on it. This Burly yeah. Jay is worth three. Bonus cards, like this one in my hand right here. And end of round goals, which currently the the end of this round goal is how whoever has the most birds. All right. Uh, so I'm going to uh, delay You can get crits eggs, for the bird play. Two eggs down. I'm going to use for the bird play. Bonus this all card one crit. another egg. For the bird play. Uh, you... And then... Oh, you're laying eggs? One, two? Yeah. And then... Um, this guy lets me, when activated, lay an egg on any bird. Lay an egg on this guy. Okay. You're up, dude. That's it. You just laid some eggs, bro. Yeah, I laid some eggs, man. Um, so you've got six birds, huh? Hmm. Six birds. What do I want? 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 Interesting. Okay. I think I'm going to play this birdie butt out. I have to decide where, though. Hmm. Only there, huh? Do I want to go that strat? Or do I need to go another strat? Um, man. Okay. That's the strat I'm going with. Okay, so I'm going to go... I'm going to play a bird. I'm going to play a bird. Mm -hmm. I'm going to play the common grackle. I hate the common grackle. But in winter, grackles roost in large flocks that can include millions of individuals, Lyle. Bird points for the people. Okay, bird points. So I'm going to play him to the water, though. So he can go in three different places. You go water, fields, or the forest. He's going to come into the water, so I have to sack an egg. Um, I will sack this egg plus a wheat and an anything so a fish and a wheat that brings him out and uh that's it your turn got the common grackle all right is this I'm going an all-inclusive to... game um meaning what exactly keyforge is it like oh do you mean like you don't have to collect anything else there's no exclusive yes it is a one purchase game Yep, all this is included, if not more. There's actually an awesome dice tower it comes with. Uh, no, it is not a collectible card name. This is just a... It's a engine-building board game. Everything's included. All the pieces. And like I said, this is a mod. This is an unofficial mod, so it's not showing everything, but pretty much all this is included. You get... Instead of this crappy uh, scoreboard up here, you get a cool pad. You get lots of cool ways to display it. And our bird feeder over here is actually an awesome dice tower that is included in the thing. Oh, it's totally great for uh, Keyforge for kids. And families because the artwork all is right. amazing beth sobel and all that good stuff I'm gonna, I'm gonna play a bird oh lyle forgot to put a cube token last turn oh yeah you did you need to put whatever you did last turn what did you do last turn you laid, laid eggs. eggs so you should time. have you, you shouldn't have one more turn because you went first so you you forgot to put a token somewhere this should be your last turn because it's my last turn oh really mm -hmm. all right so i didn't play three birds but okay yeah, well, whatever you did, it's just as long as we know you have... This is your last Are action. you sure you, that you didn't put an extra block on yours? No. Played a bird, last turn. Played a bird, the turn before that. I think we're good. Lyle just caught you. Yeah, Bill, oh, did no, I put Bill an extra? says I think you put an extra, but that's fine. Did I put an extra? All right, I'm going to play a... I guess we're just going to have each one less action this turn then. Um, so <laughs> I'm going to do this Western... Damn Hanger. it! Right here. Is that true? 
Uh, I'm going to pay an egg. <laughs> Thanks for asking, Keyforge. I mean, I think you can click through the links down below, but we don't have any sort of... Uh... If you can get a copy right now, they're kind of... Uh... The third print is being made right now, so you can reserve them. I'd reserve them at FLGS, Keyforge. Uh, that's probably your best bet in getting a copy if you want to wait on Amazon. What did you say, Lyle? It's not going to be out till June. Late July. Late July to get a copy yeah. of this Keyforge. I, I lucked out at my FLGS getting a copy at Keyforge night the other day. Right, so what did you do? You were... I played this Western um, Tangager or Tanager. Yeah, or tell us about whatever. it, man. These flame-colored birds are hard to see because they like the canopies of evergreen forests. Ah. But when, when activated, I get one uh, one worm or one cherry from the bird feeder. Nice, dude. So there is one. Nice. Nice. Um, okay, so it's my turn, huh? So you're at seven birds now, and our mm -hmm. round goal is to have the most birds. Dude, you're f trying to force me into playing birds, dude? Is that what you're trying to, trying to push me into bird dude, play? Dude, you can do whatever you want about playing birds. Dude. You're trying to push me into bird play. You get six points and I get three points? What? I can't be having that, dude. Dang it. I don't think there's anything <laughs> I can do about that, though. That sucks. You're going to try to steal away the, the freaking six first place on that? And I got zero here? It's I can't let you have those points. That's a swing, man. Shoot. Hey, man, uh, you didn't take an extra action. I mean, we could get another action here, right? <laughs> I want that other action if I screwed myself earlier now. Well, no, I mean, this is this is, this is the world you live in. You you made a point to be like, you oh. made it, you did it wrong. <laughs> Dang it. You could have played that in the field, man. Why didn't you do that? Dang it. That sucks. Okay. Um. Man. All right, I'm just going to have to push for the end game, huh? Is that what is that what you're pushing me into, dude? I'm not I'm not pushing you into right, anything. So man. I'm going to I'm going to draw bird cards. Oh, we didn't refresh the market here. What do we got up here? A snowy egret. Old dice in the bird feeder. So for fish, I could go fish strat like you. Fish strat's That's not it's not the best. <laughs> <laughs> When another player takes the lay eggs action, this bird lays one on another bird with a... <gasps> Yoink! That was an easy one. And I get to take two. Um, Dude, that's a nice card. I'm just going to take... I'm going to wild swing for this one. Woo! This bird's a little rich for my blood. <laughs> All right, here. We'll take tuck a card from your hand underneath this board if I do lay an egg on this burra. Um... Yeah, I'm going to tuck this bird underneath this bird. Okay. And I get to lay an egg on this bird. Mm-hmm. Get laid. All right. And then when he's activated, I can discard a wheat to then put two cards underneath. Yeah. To see what I'm missing out on here. Okay. 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 You know, I don't want to look. I don't want to look anymore. It just makes me sad half the time. Yeah, it, 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 yeah. I'm like, why don't, didn't I just wild it, swing, just... dude? Why didn't I just wild swing earlier? All right, boom. All right, All right that's that turn. That's it. So end that's the round. end of round. End of that round. That's right. All right, Lyle takes first place because you've got seven birds. I've got yep. six birds, so I'll, I'll take my second place token. Look at this. Look at this round swing, huh? Sack these two birds. Dude, that bird that I just got out of the market, though. Come on now. Come on now. Come on now for Here's last bird, round. Dude. So for the fourth round, guys, the bonus round goal is most eggs in bull nest birds. Yep. On first player. All right, take the first player bird. Let's refresh the market. And let's see what's in the market. What do we got in the market? What do we got in the market? We've got a white-breasted nuthatch. We've got a blue-winged warbler. This dude doesn't even have any abilities, dude. He's just a big eight. Dude, yeah, well, that's that was like the wild turkey, dude. Anyone that's like eight points is just like it is what it is. Dude, this is just a a crit bird, dude. This is yeah, just a bird. Just <laughs> he's just like I'm a bird in the pie build. He's greed. like I'm a bird right now. Draw two if you do. Discard one from your hand at the end of your turn. Oh, cycling, dude. Yeah. There we go. There we go. Did we get a bird fact? Yeah. Who played the last bird and get a bird fact? I think I gave my bird fact. I gave mine on we the western. We got lots Western's of bird uh... facts. Tangager? Yeah, I think the last Nager. bird... I didn't play a last bird. Yeah, you gave your Tanger. Yeah, we've been yeah, giving yeah, our bird facts, yeah. man. If we miss a bird fact, you definitely uh, you definitely let us know, man. That's a that's a major loss. All right, so I'm first. Ooh, I want this bird, Lyle. 
I want this bird real bad. <laughs> but I also like this bird that I got. Mm -hmm. He's going to be a spendy bird for me, though. We want birds with eggs and bowls, huh? Am I going to play a bird? Can I do it? No. Okay, so maybe I just gain food. Yeah. I think I'm just going to gain some food this turn, dude. Yeah. Gaining food. I will gain this fish. Actually, I can take this, and then I can re-roll on my second. Yeah, 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 yeah. So I'm going to take this berries, actually. Okay. I'm going to take the berries. I'm going to discard a card. Uh, I'm going to discard this American Bittern for my second portion here. Uh, to re-roll re these, because I don't want fish, dude. And get a another food. <laughs> you, don't, you don't want fish, dude? I don't want fish, dude. You give me fish for days. Um, I can take something from this. I will take this for the worm. And then I'll go down the line. I get to activate my breasted grosbeak, which will gain one wheat or berries from the bird feeder, if there is one. So does this count as a... This is a worm or a wheat, right? So I could take yeah, this as a wheat. Yeah, it's a worm or a wheat, yeah. So I'll take this as a yeah, wheat. Yeah, you can grab that. I'll take that as a wheat. All right, man. Your turn. Gain food, dude. Get food. Thanks for the follow, Keyforge. Oh, welcome to the camp, dude. Keyforge Jupiter, guys. He's uh, streams uh, Keyforge. <laughs> I, I took Keyforge Jupiter on, actually. Uh, what was that? Last week, Keyforge? We played a nice, tight game when we did the community help me pick a deck get it ready and actually that jupiter i took that deck to chainbound on friday and went three and zero with it um at a local event so it was pretty fun dude worked out pretty well that was a fun that was a fun battle man you had a crazy deck screaming cave and all that you kept cycling on me with uh <laughs> that was savage at the end there keyforge just grinding me out <laughs> all right i think i'm gonna gain food that's what i want to do get some food bro yeah, I'm going to get some food, dude. Um, I think I took your wheat, though, didn't I? You did. You get berries. So you get to pick two, and then you can get it down to cycling. You can recycle it since you get two. Right. Scre hold on, hold yeah, Screaming on, Cave on. is crazy. Wait, wait, hold on. Maybe I don't want to do this. Maybe I want to... Uh... Yo, I got so much food, dude. Food, dude. I'm gonna draw cards, dude. I'm drawing cards. Oh, I was gonna draw some bird cards. Okay, hold on, hold on. What do I want here? Um, cycling, but he's sort of the end game. I don't need to cycle. Should I get this, dude? Do I want the warbler, dude? It's your life, dude. Take the stupid warbler War if you want. The warbler is so good right now. <laughs> um, no, I'm gonna wild swing both of these, man. Ooh, going double wild swing. Okay. Now you go down your line here. Yeah, hold on, hold on. I want to look at these guys. One worm or berry from the bird feeder. Okay. So you get that berries, dude. Free berries. Oh, no. Roll I'm going dice. I'm going down the wrong line. Yeah, let's get us some fish, dude. <laughs> oh, he All gets right, a I fish. I got me a fish. Cash. Cashed. We get a fish. And then uh, all players get a fish. We all go fish. And then go killing, dude. Back to the beginning of the yeah, game. Yeah, here we go. Back to, back, back to killing, dude. No, too big. Too big, stork, too, too big. Too big to kill. Dude, you can't kill a stork, man. Tay Warbler, or the Warbler. <laughs> <laughs> What's that? The Warbler looks like a house. I know, man. We were calling this, oh, we got rid of House Finch. Was that a different game? Yeah, he's game. That yeah, last game we had House game. Finch. That was funny. This guy looks like a monkey. <laughs> All right, my turn? Yep. All right, what are we doing here? What am I doing? What am I doing? I need to start. Oh, we're last rounding it right now, dude. We are last rounding it. Wow. Okay, I gotta do this now or, or never. Um, I'm gonna play a bird. I'm gonna play a bird. I'm gonna play out the bronzed cowbird, which cowbirds lay eggs in other birds' nests and often Whoa. break or push out the host bird's eggs. What? Oh, dude, super savage. <laughs> no. Okay, so I owe a worm and wheat and i owe two eggs right yeah two, two eggs. eggs so i'm gonna toss this egg and this egg 
he's an expensive one to get out there. All right, man, your turn. Trying to think here. Trying to think here. Actually, what did I pay? A worm and a wheat? Instead of that wheat, I'm going to ditch two fish. Okay. Because I had the two fish for the wheat. All right, carry on. You can When you play birds, guys, you can exchange two of any kind for one of any kind. Oh, dude, totally dark crystal, right? This is totally a dark crystal bird. The babe, the power. Oh, no, that <laughs> I started thinking of the, <laughs> the lap. Yeah. The babe, the power of the babe. <laughs> Sorry, I went David Bowie on you, Keyforge, not dark crystal. My bad. I think I'm going to do something crazy here. I hate when I go Bowie on dark crystal people, you know? Don't you hate that, dark crystal fans? Skeksis. Yeah, that's the right session. <laughs> Oh, you're going to go draw birds, dude? You're thinking about... Wait, hold on. Draw birds. You think you're going to draw Try birds? To figure out my next plan. Draw birds. Draw birds last round? Wow. What's he going to do, guys? Yeah. This is, this is a little weird uh, wild swing here. Um, I'm going to grab this guy. Okay. And this guy. Wow. Okay. And then I'm going to roll dice... Roll the outside dice. Oof, it's a miss. It's a miss. Both and get then I'm going to get a fish. And then I'm going to go hunting. Goodwill hunting. Murders that little Got guy. Got him. Murders the loggerhead shriek or whatever his Got name is. Got him. Damn, kills him for a point. Okay. My turn, huh? Yep. Hmm. I think, Lyle... I think it's time. Okay, we have three actions left. I think I'm going to draw bird cards. I think I'm going to draw bird cards. You didn't refresh our market. We got Mississippi Kite. Mississippi Kite. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> it's the Mississippi Kite. Uh, I'm going to take the Blue Winged Warbler. Okay. Do I want this Mississippi kite? He does come with a cool song. No. Wild swing. Okay. Great. Um, and then I get to go down here. Tuck a card from my hand beneath this board if you do lay an egg. Uh, I will tuck this bro. Whoa. I thought I tucked an egg. Oh, yeah, I did. And then I can lay an egg on that bird. Get laid okay. on. Get laid. And then here I can discard a wheat to tuck two under this bird. Mm, what are you going to do, though? I might not do that. I think I'm not going to do that, dude. I'm going to sack those two points. I don't. I don't know what you're going to do. I don't know what you're going to do. At this next, it, it depends on what you do next turn. Oh, I'm talking thank you Fedora. so much. To be Get laid on, he says. Thank you so Get much. Laid on. Let's spin. Let's spin that wheel, man. Let's spin the wheel for talking Fedora, and it's 13 months, one more than a year. Myjay's pushing me to do it. Myjay knows what I'm thinking right now. <laughs> dude, if I do it, Myjay, I don't want to be mad at you, dude. I don't want to be mad at you. It's it's either or. I could do either or. Do I oh, sack it? Oh, be... bean for Lyle. Suck it down for the best fedora talking hat in the in the world. Your son loves the wheel too, Keyforge, dude. Xbox Mayor spoiled, in our chat. Spoiled milk or coconut? Oh, spoiled milk or coconut? Keyforge, uh, the wheel won out over Ryan's toy review. So if your gamer dad like it's us, coconut. yeah. Oh, coconut. Lyle wins that one. So if your gamer dad, knowing that your stream won out over Ryan's toy review, it's pretty good. Lay eggs action is worth at least four points each action. Yeah, but that's that. That's the lay lay eggs action. That has nothing to do with my choice that I have to make here. Um. Oh, I can do what I need to do. No, I am gonna sack it. Oh, wait, I was miscalculating in my head. Okay, no, I'm gonna do this. So I'm gonna tuck two random cards. Yeah, there's no point in me doing that. There's no point in me not doing this. I don't know why I'm looking at these. I said I'm not gonna look at these anymore, and I did it. Okay, now it's your turn, Lyle. Okay. All right. Turn done. We lay some eggs. Ooh, Lyle's laying eggs. I trigger when a player takes the eggs action. This bird lays one on another bird with a bowl nest. That's one, two. I'm also going to pay a... 
This guy's a bull nest. I'm going to pay a thing to uh, pay a food to lay an additional egg. Okay. And then uh, this guy's right here. And then you. Uh, and then lay this guy says, "Lay an egg on any bird." Any bird. Larry Bird. Larry Bird. That's it, dude. Okay, my turn. Um, I uh, will play a bird. Um, can't believe I'm doing this. Okay, I'm gonna play this bird here. I think this is a long-term play. This is my long play. Oh, no, I do screw... I did screw myself out. Oh, I can't do this. Oh, I miscalculated. <laughs> I thought I could do it. Whatever. <laughs> I have to... Ah, oh, crap. Dang it. Oh, I totally... I was calculating correctly, and then I overthought it, and then went back against my thought, and I took the risky play <laughs> that... I did what Maijay said to do, and it didn't pay off. Dang it, Maijay. I told you it was a bad choice. Okay, I'm going to lay eggs. So I get four eggs. One. Dang it, man. Oh, he can't lay eggs. One, two, three. It would have been so good. Two, four. Mm -hmm. Okay. And then uh, he doesn't do anything. That doesn't do anything. And then here it says gain one from the supply if there is one and there isn't. So, okay, your turn, dude. All right, I'm gonna play a bird. Crash and burn, dude. I'm gonna play a bird. I'm gonna play. <sighs> which one is it? Play this guy. And play pay a fish. And two eggs. Wow, you're just bailing on the eggs. Yeah. Um. Yep. So there's that. So uh, let me let me give crits to the people and like let me read the uh, the flavor. Whoa. Yeah, you gotta read it. We gotta know what, what, what we gotta know about the black turn line. Oh, thank you so much, Bill. I am. Bill, I am with two months. Thank you, dude. Um, so the black turn, these um, these build floating nests out of marsh plants, guys. Whoa, floating nest, dude. Water world bird. Waterworld bird, and for that bird, Yo. Lyle, let's spin the wheel for Bill. I am. Yo, here we it go. It is two Bill months so. Thank you so much, Bill. I am Will. I am Bill. Bill took me on in that same day. I think the Keyforge Jupiter Day on Friday, and uh, we had oh, a nice. great game against that deck as well. Ah, oh, push-ups for a while. Push-ups. I'm getting wrecked in the in the late late stream. Okay. So because I took the MyJ play and I'm getting punished for it, this is all I can do now, Lyle. This is my life. I have to live this life. I have to, I have to live my best life by laying eggs. So I'll lay four eggs. Uh, one, two. Three, four, and there's no wheat, so that's the only thing that activates. Your turn. Uh, I'm gonna play a bird. I'm gonna play a bird. Yeah, I know. It will make sense later. Not okay. Not okay, Lyle. There it is. Pay a fish. Two eggs. Play one of my bonus point eggs. Unfortunately, get sacked. Yeah. That's it. The pie bill grieve. Tell us about the pie bill grieve. We heard about a different grieve earlier. Tell us Wait, about the that? Grebe, dude. You can't play a Grebe without telling us about the Grebe. Everyone's here to learn. Keyforge Jupiter's son's watching. He wants to learn about birds. Tell us about the Grebe. Birds. Tell us about the Grebe. Lyle's not going to tell us about the Grebe. just laying eggs. Lyle's totally ignoring me. Hello? 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 Can you play? Can you read about the Grebe, dude? Oh, the Grebe. I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm like talking to you. Like I, was, I was reading chat. <laughs> pie, pie build Grebe. Uh, pie build Grebes create a floating platform nest with plant material. So the, so oh. the last two birds I, I uh, did are about, uh, all about marsh plants. Yes, marsh nests plants, marsh, marsh birds. <laughs> Fail, failed to inform Musty to Bean. Exactly. We're here to all here to learn. We've got kids watching. They're water world birds. That's right. That's right. Okay, so it's my... That's the end of the game? End of the game, dude. Dude, end of the game! Woo! All right, so we're going to the scoring round. So we start up here. Yep. And we're going to start with our bird points. So this is bird. This is feather points on all birds. Well, how many bird points do you have? All right. I got one. I got four, 10, 13, 16, 21, 27, 31, 31 points. 31 bird points for Lyle. Oh, we didn't put our names up there. You gotta put her L and yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Guys, next level, 
this is what you guys this is what you guys get here at crit camp all right so we've got 6 11 14 19 22 25 25 bird points for me okay 25 bird points okay oh we didn't put our uh we didn't put who came in first and second on our uh, round in ending round so eggs in bowl nests how many I do have, you have three eggs in bowl nests i have one two three it's, it's 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 the amount of eggs dude one two no no it's no you have to have eggs isn't it no i think amount it's most eggs in in bowl nests i think it's just per egg i don't think it's number of eggs i think it's egg as long as you have one egg on a bowl nest bird right am i right with that I don't know. I think somebody in chat said that it was like number of eggs. Oh, yeah, because this one here says bowl nest birds with eggs in it. That's what I'm thinking yeah. of. Okay, so it's so number you actually of have eggs? more than you have one, two, one, two, three, three, four, four, five. You have six. Yeah. So it doesn't matter. I still have. I'm first. You're second on that, right? Yeah. 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 Okay. Okay. Cool. Okay. All right. Crit nose, dude. So. Bonus cards. Did you accomplish your bonus? Reveal your bonus okay, card. Yeah, I accomplished two bonuses, dude. Two? Oh, my gosh. What are you, nuts? Yeah. So the first one was I have four birds that eat fish. Wow. So I get eight points there. And then I have bird cards in hand at the end of the game. I have, oh. I have nine cards. Oh, you have nine cards in hand? Nice. Yeah, I have nine cards in hand. Uh, so 15 bonus so points. I get dude. 15 bonus points from bonus cards. Wow. So I'm over here. I have Prairie Manager as my bonus. Uh, birds that only, once again, Prairie Manager. Yeah, I had this last game yeah. too. Two to three. So how many birds that only live in the marsh? So I have one, two, three. So I only, I make the three point bonus. That's it. Three points? Yeah, if I'd gotten one more. If uh, dude, you were so close. Yeah, I didn't get it though. Didn't get it. I'm not nuts. All right. So into end of round goals. goals. Uh, I got four, five, six, 12, 16. 16. 16 total. 16 for you. I'm at five, eight, 15. 15. So that was close. That was pretty close. That was close. That was close. All right. Now, how many eggs do you have, Lyle? I only have two eggs, dude. Oh, three eggs. Three eggs. One, two, three. Yep. And yeah. I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve eggs for me. Holy crap, dude. Twelve Look egg points. Egg points. All right. You have the food, though. Food on cards. I think I have two of them. Yep. Just two? I thought I had three. One, two. Yeah. Do you have any? Nope. None. All right, here. This is this is where you went crazy. You went you went tuck. Tucked cards. How many do you got? Uh, hold on. I think it's only that one card that I have. Your yeah. killer. Four cards. Four four points. Four tucked cards there. Okay, so this dude. Is my big yeah, that boy. guy got a bunch. He's dude. got ten, plus oh. twelve. I have twelve. Twelve total. Two here. Ten here. Yeah. And I think that's it. Yeah, so 12 points for me on tucked cards. 12 Jeez. tucked? Okay. That was pretty good, dude. All right, now we add them up, guys. Now we add them up and see who who's the winner. <sighs> oh, my God. So what I have, I have 62, 65, 67, 71. All right, 71 points for Lyle. Pretty All right, close, so six, six under what I had before. 38, 43... 55. Oh, I'm only at 67. Oh, close game, oh, dude. dude. Oh. It was my bonus. It was my bonus at the end. <laughs> no, your double bonus is so good. Dang it. Dang it. I also think it was the round two where I messed up and couldn't. Like, we were so close, like, with this. And I was like, I messed yeah. up my turn. Like, I could have... This was at five. That's not that. It's like a two-point, three-point swing. Dude, so it, it literally was... It came down to me playing this one bird that gave me an extra five points on my fishery manager, dude. Because oh. this bird gives me no points. Yeah, my just J, the bonus. My Jay's right. It could have been a lot closer, maybe just as close uh if i'd taken an eggs action but i misplayed that turn because i thought i was going to be able to get the blue winged warbler out yeah because i thought i just needed one more food and if i took the action i did and you did like the fish action i just needed you to get me a fish yeah if you'd given me a fish i could have done my tuck 
and then played out my Warbler because I would have had enough food to get the two worms. Yeah. And that would have been an, uh, a big four-point swing too, dude. That would have been a big point swing. Oh, man. But thanks, dude. Oh, good game, dude. Oh, that was close, dude. That felt really good. It's like two I actually thought I was going to lose that one because I was going so crazy on this, like, draw cards thing that I was doing. Yeah, yeah. Ah, oh, man. Well, we got to see a lot more birds that game because of uh, the cycle. We actually played that rule correctly. Uh, it was a lot of fun. A bird, <laughs> Bonnie says a bird in the hand is worth exactly zero points. Exactly. Yeah, zero. Dude. Yeah, but hey, it's not worth negative points. So that's good, too. A lot of crit nose today, guys. A lot of crit nose. Actually, bird, bird in hand, nine birds in hand was worth uh, was worth uh, seven points. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> but thank you so much for the follow multiplayer. The, uh, it's great to have you joining the camp, guys. And thank you to everyone for hanging out with us today for the, the awesome. Oh, there he is. Blow! Thanks for hanging out with us for the day stream and playing some Wingspan. We hope you guys liked it. Uh, check it out again. Tell your friends. Um, it's fun. It's fun. I think I would like to play this on stream with more than just two people. Like maybe get a yeah. I think three. so. I would like to play with like yeah, at least one other person. Yeah. And see it and see how that changes the game. Yeah, it definitely it definitely is a lot better with a uh, three four player. When I played four, it was amazing. Somebody can't wait for Pax Unplugged. Me too. Yo, it's Pax Unplugged. Exciting. That's right, guys. Tickets are going to be on sale on thursday or tomorrow tomorrow, tomorrow yeah packs you tickets yeah, go tomorrow on sale tomorrow guys so be sure we'll be there uh, we've had fun the last two years it's been amazing as Madi's definitely going to be there that was a lot of fun we'll be playing some one deck galaxy right as Madi? yeah one deck galaxy one deck galaxy and they're tripling their booth size let's talk as Wait, are you serious let's talk your fit booth us in was there. huge fit us in there already fit us in there <laughs> wait your booth was already so big dude Dude, is Madi? How, the... how But how many more? How many more uh, cardboard cutouts are you gonna bring? Yeah, I know exactly. Is he gonna? Like, he could. He could. You know, have us come up and hang out in his booth with him, but he's just gonna fill it with cardboard cutouts. Yeah, <laughs> like a whole yeah. army of plumplins. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, guys, come to Pax U. It's gonna be a lot of fun. Uh, check out Wingspan. Had a blast. Tomorrow we'll be kicking off our EU tour. Lyle just got done from his EU tour. We're gonna play a different KeyForge deck from a different country, in our next three KeyForge episodes starting tomorrow, right, Lyle, with France. Yeah, that's correct. So Lyle will be playing a French Keyforge deck. I will be playing a French Keyforge deck sealed from Lyle for my birthday. This was his birthday gift. It was a super awesome birthday gift. I can't wait, dude. It's going to be a lot of fun. So we'll be starting that tomorrow at 11 a.m. Eastern time. Come hang out for the French battle of sealed Keyforge action. We, 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 we. It's going to be amazing. It's going to be a lot of fun. Something different we can do while we wait for Age of Ascension to come out at the end of the month. And then also join us on Monday night as we just signed on with Inked Gaming. Yo, what up? We're going to be celebrating our partnership with them. Uh, we're going to be doing some awesome giveaways, maybe have special guests. We're going to be playing some games on some new equipment uh, provided by Inked Gaming. Um, and all around just celebrating you guys, supporting us enough to make this possible. Uh, so come and get a chance to win some cool stuff and bro your board game, play some, get some awesome mats and all that good stuff. It's going to be a lot of fun. Um, we, 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 we baguette. <laughs> <laughs> we, we baguette, yeah. <laughs> Dude, Keyforge, my birthday's on the 11th. I got more May birthdays, man. That's awesome. So nice, dude. Yeah, I've got to figure out what I'm going to do. I was going to do Keyforge, but it's not going to, I don't think it's going to work out. I my, think my wife Casey's birthday's in May as well on the 23rd. Dude, May birthday's best birthdays, dude. May They're birthday. pretty good. Yeah. May birthdays are pretty good, That's dude. It. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's going to be great. It's going to be great. Um, all right, man. So we'll be signing off, guys. Go enjoy the rest of your day. Thanks for hanging out with us. Check out. Wait, I have, a, I have like 20 push-ups to do. Oh, yeah. God didn't get away with it. That's yeah, right. Okay, yeah. 20 push-ups to do for Lyle. We, we can't let him get away with this. Yes. Go, Lyle. Push him up. He's got like a 20 of them. But uh, yeah, this is going to be sick. It's going to be sick. Oh, my Jay's in May too. Awesome, man. We should have a showdown. Exactly. Yeah, we'll definitely meet again, Keyforge. We'll definitely meet again. When are you going to the LGS next? Uh, I'll be there. Oh, it's Charmander. What's going on, dude? That's right. I just, just flew over my head. Uh, I'll be there maybe Friday night for some more... Um, some more keyforge dude that's right charmera it goes to the lgs well done right lyle killed it you killed it it hangs out there so it's awesome part of the local community the chimera yeah man how you doing man how you doing <laughs> sorry we're just signing <laughs> off and my head's all birded out uh but awesome sweet sweet uh we'll see you then maybe we'll see you friday maybe we'll see you friday night uh that'd be a lot of fun because my wife's gonna let me maybe go again because it's my birthday on saturday so we'll see <laughs> but now nice, we can dude. sign out officially for wingspan Right, ka, 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 ka. Well, guys, we'll see you tomorrow for some Keyforge action. It's going to be a lot of fun. See you to you, Keyforge. Cheers. Peace, good gaming, Lyle. Peace, good gaming. Peace, good gaming, Bye. everyone. Check out Wingspan. See you later. Bye.